What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Bridge West is outside. She didn't get part of the intro. You guys don't got to worry about that. First things first. Today, Grandpa's coming over to meet Felix. And he thinks it's a dog. I've been messing with him, making him think that I got a dog named Felix. So he's going to come meet the dog, Felix. And he'll be pleasantly surprised when he learns that Felix is a cat. However, that aside, today is... Loot Crate Day. That's right. I just opened it up, but I don't know anything that's inside it yet. I just had to rip it with the tape. So here we go. Okay. So the first things first is I'm going to take out the shirt. We'll look at that last. So then, first of all, the box has all this writing and drawing in it from the villains and stuff. It's really, really cool. Are you losing some weight? What? You look thin. I've gained massive amounts of weight. Look. I'm gaining weight. You look thin. This is a Star Wars keychain, Darth Vader. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have a car. <laughs> I can't drive a car. You put this in yours? No. Oh, all right, I'll do it for you. Ooh, these. Socks? Yep. Give me. These are, can I show them the camera first? Yes. These are Marvel com comic socks. These are Deadpool. Oh my god, I want to wear those right now. Deadpool socks. So Bridget will put those on before the end of the video. Deadpool. That's pretty cool. Villain socks. That is cool. I'm starting to like Loot Crate now. Oh, you like Loot Crate now? Yeah, I got socks out of it, so. This is a magnet for King Koopa. Ooh. From Mario. We can put that in our fridge. I want you. Yeah, let's not. Yeah, we'll put it on the side of the fridge. Yeah. This right here, this says... Necessary Evil, Super Villains of DC Comics. This might be like some sort of computer game. Trash. It's a game! <laughs> I think. I'll check this out in a few minutes. <laughs> Let's see here. Of course, as always, we get the little issue of Loot Crate magazine that explains what everything is and little games and stuff in it. So I this like is, that. It's pretty cool. I'll be amused by this later. <laughs> Okay, this is some sort of print. Let's check this out. All right. I can't see it. Oh, it looks like a cross between Obama and the Joker, but it's, a, it's the Joker. It's the Joker and Harley Quinn. Cool. Of course, we got the pin. Loot Crate, July 2014 villain. It's got Darth Vader and Harley Quinn. Looks like it might even have the hobgoblin on there. Of course, I will say, of course, I've never seen this before. This is a variant edition. Looks like Guardians of the Galaxy, a Loot Crate exclusive. It's a comic book. I won't open this. It's probably not going to be worth no money, but why open it? It's rare. It's an exclusive, so don't open it. Let's we'll see here. You can get a better shot of the box. You got the Joker and Batman and all kinds of writing inside there and stuff. That's so cool. I like that. It's a really good box this month. And, of course, the shirt, which looks like it's Joker. It's mine. Mine. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what that is. This is a cross between the Joker and Loki from from Thor. So it's Jokey. Cool. They always have, the, the, these shirts alone make it worth the box, you know? These things are only like 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Yeah. And it comes with a shirt usually. As Every month I've had it, I've gotten a shirt. And socks. Shirt and socks. I need those socks every month. So, Jokey shirt. So that's what we got this month. We got the Jokey shirt, the art, the exclusive comic, the villains issue of Loot Crate magazine, the Deadpool socks. Give me. Mario Magnet. The Star Wars keychain. The button. And this thing, which I'm going to check out in just a minute. Awesome Loot Crate this month. You want to check out Loot Crate, the link is below. This isn't any kind of promotional thing. I don't get no money off of this. Just click it, check it out, look at Loot Crate. It's pretty awesome. Mike, I appreciate you washing my shirt. That ain't washed. You didn't wash my shirt! No. Damn. So everybody knows, we are currently in the process of getting some more shirts made. That'll be in the next couple of weeks, next, not next month or so. Yeah, yeah. You can have those. I, I, I'll steal them!
Well, I'm giving them to you. I don't want them. So we're gonna have. What this shit? Huh? That's just a bowl. Them dogs don't drink out of that. It's a tiny dog. He's like a chihuahua. I will see him. Where's he at? He's a little chihuahua. Hold on. Okay. Wait a minute. I want to tell them about the shirt first. So the shirt will be this on the front, and then we have the pinwheel eating bit shirt with the back says the angry grandpa show. Can't say pinwheel eating bit. I, I, we're not getting that. We're not getting that no more. You understand me? Dad, let me talk. That was crude and rude. I agree. I told you from the beginning we shouldn't have done that shirt. I told you we should have done it. Anyway, Bridget is in the process of getting Felix. <laughs> Hold on, sit down. What? Sit. Eyes closed. Reach out. <laughs> oh, Felix. Ah, oh, goddamn! Scratch me! What the fuck? Damn! Felix! What kind of goddamn dog you got scratch me? We're, we're Where Felix. is Michael, Felix? Michael, look! Look, Michael! Felix? What kind of goddamn dog is that? He's gone, dude. He ran upstairs. What the <laughs> fucking dog? Get rid of that dog! Go get Felix. <laughs> Holy crap. Damn, that hurt! It's under the couch. Damn! Yeah. Alright, Dad, here he is. Hey, what's this shit? <laughs> That's my goddamn cat! I had to tuck him. Get that fucking grind! Oh, you're scaring him. Damn! Open the door to that motherfucker out! Come here, Felix. <laughs> Please let that motherfucker! No, that, that's Felix! You said it was a dog! Yay! Grab Felix. Then. I ain't grabbing shit! Ah. Oh, hell, that motherfucker clawed me! He attacked me! He's part of the Walking Dead! Oh! You're scaring him. You're scaring me! Okay, Dad, grab Felix. If that son of a bitch claws me? I that's thought you had a heart for cats all of a sudden. I, I do, but not with me. I'm a nice kid in here. You lie. Hug him! I. Get the guy, he's gonna claw me! He's gonna claw me! Please take it! Please take it! Please! Please! Please take it! Ah, oh, goddamn! I'm gonna make it! Look! Look! Oh, she's done with you! Holy crap! Hey, I'm gonna get him now. That's a Pee Wee Gaskins cat! <laughs> well, Grandpa's met Felix. I'm going home. Look! Dang. And Felix don't like me! Yeah. Dang, dude, you all right? Well, give me something. You gonna let me? Oh, is it... <laughs> you gonna let me bleed you down? You gotta give this to the shirt guy. I don't give a damn. He gonna get it like this. Yeah, you started to catch on. You said this little cat food. Smell the cat food. Uh, Smell it. No, got that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was Felix. I'm so disappointed. And that's Cat. God damn it! <laughs> okay, stop. Stop. I'm gonna throw up now, don't do that. Why the hell does this dog get a cat? He you. Cute. You got three fucking dogs. You inspired us to get a cat. Your love for the cats. That was the prank. No, it was not. Yeah, that you're taking it back tomorrow, right? Dad, did you play that you bring a cat home overnight? Dad, that wasn't, first of all, that wasn't the prank. That is my cat, Felix. You, you take it back tomorrow, right? This is all part of the prank. Look at the scratching post. Yeah, no, this is the scratching post right there. Look, there, there. That's the scratching post. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go in there and tell Dad that we got some pot. This is some good stuff, Dad. For the cat. You can't tell nobody we have this. What you got? Oh shit! Hell yeah! It's not a lot though, man. No, no, this is. How long you had it? This is medicinal. The, That's the, what medicinal smells like. What well, roll is it doing? We just got this from Colorado where it's legal. Oh, the hey, we go smoke some. Okay, yeah. roll, roll me a joint. That right there is enough to get you high for days. You ain't supposed to eat it. Tastes funny. It's marijuana. I've tasted marijuana before. I don't taste like marijuana. <laughs> You've not tasted marijuana before. I grew up in the 74. What the fuck? Anyways. Hey, really? Yes, sir. All right. These are these are cannabis crispy treats. Yeah, they do. They smell like it, dude. You can't even taste it in there. That's no, the man. Yeah, that's some good shit. It was working. I lie, man. <laughs> That's good shit. <laughs> I know. 
Oh, I was yeah. flying high. Why don't you give me the address so I can order some of this shit? This comes from, what's it called? Market Pantry. It's like a cover name. <laughs> yeah, that shit's good, man. They, see, they call it Confetti Crispy Bar. You can't even taste the goddamn weed in here. You can't at all. Oh my god. When you start, when you, I know you start token. How long have you been token? I'm cool like that. Roll the joint, man. We're out of paper. We oh, we don't need paper, man. I, I take a cigarette. Okay. Oh, I ain't got no cigarettes with me. Fuck. Let's find a piece of paper. I'll be right back. I got some in the van. Hang on. So. This is really embarrassing. Dad. This oh is, my God. It's goddamn catnip, bro. <laughs> God, if Dad smokes some of this, I can call it Grandpa Smokes Catnip. Oh my god. So while Dad is actually out there looking for his cigarettes, I am just checking to make sure you can smoke catnip. Because I don't want to get Dad hurt. So let's see here. Okay. So what I just read said that you can smoke it. It's safe. It's not dangerous. You probably won't get high. There's barely any, you know, effect at all. So I think hey, if he wants to do it, I'll let him. All you do is loosen it. Why don't you do it this way? Then you don't loosen it. What you doing? Then do it the right goddamn way. Give it here. You gonna do it? Please do it right. I ain't never seen it done this way. What are you doing, motherfucker? Oh god, you didn't do anything to it. Let's see, keep this up over here, this is good shit. Damn, where did you lose me? Don't, don't put that back in here, man. Why do you think they got them in these containers? Oh god damn, look at this man, man. Oh. look at man, you spread it everywhere! Dad, this don't is my, this is my stuff, you won't get shot? You get killed in people's houses for this. You no, know, people don't want you to waste their shit, man. I can't even see the goddamn. <laughs> That's some hard shit, man. <laughs> Damn, Michael, that shit tastes nasty. Jesus Christ, Dad. Here, here. Uh, I don't smoke catnip. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> man. Are you mother? <laughs> oh man. Man, I thought that was good. <laughs> Shit. At least you got these. They came from Target. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, Dad! You don't know that was marijuana? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you were finally getting getting wise. <laughs> That's cat water! <laughs> yeah, 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 cat water! I ain't never coming back over here again! Never! You wanna take any more stuff with you? <laughs> Dad's in the bathroom right now, and every time I gotta use the word now, I'm gonna say meow. As in a cat meow, um, stealing it from the movie Super Troopers. How you doing, meow? So, we'll see if Dad catches it. Feel better, meow? Ha ha ha! Beat your fucking ass. How you feel, meow? I'm going home now. I forgot my shirt. Where's my shirt? All right, meow. Stop that. Just say, meow. What am I saying, meow? Where's my shirt? I don't know, meow. Please stop that. <laughs> Where's my shirt? Man, you so high that you lost your shirt? <laughs> Cat, ain't gonna make you high. Make the cat high. Where's your shirt, Meow? I really don't know. I want my shirt. I gotta go. Dude, where's your shirt? Where's oh, your shirt? Oh, I left it in the van. Oh. Ah, oh, Kiyama's shit being me getting me out of Goodbye. All right, Meow. Bye, Grandpa! Bye, Meow. See you later. Well, it's Wednesday, and as promised on Monday, I'm doing a weigh-in. So here we go. Way in Wednesday, doing this one pretty late because I got the loot crate and the dad came over and I lost track of time. So I've already eaten my dinner, so I'm gonna weigh myself after eating, but doesn't matter. 
gonna weigh myself anyways. Weigh in Wednesday. 335.0. Well, uh, everything's all red. It's like I'm in a boiler room. So anyway, wow, 335. The last time I weighed myself on camera, I believe it was 338. Um, last week I weighed myself and I didn't air it. I weighed 341. So 335, that's pretty good, especially considering that I've been eating everything, you know, because of the medicine I was on, I was going crazy. So not bad. 335. So getting this diet stuff back on. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Uh, to answer a couple of questions that you might have by now, no, Grandpa didn't get high smoking the catnip. He didn't have any trouble getting home. Uh, he left about 30 minutes after everything happened. Uh, we just sat and talked for a little bit. So there was a, about a 30 minute break between the time that he smoked the catnip and went home. So you guys don't gotta worry about it. Grandpa wasn't in any kind of danger. And I looked at the website to make sure that he would be able to take it. And I checked out YouTube videos and all this stuff. It's, a rel it's relatively safe. People do it. I don't do it. <laughs> but dad smoked some catnip thinking it was marijuana. Why'd I do that? Dad smoked some catnip. So anyway, that's gonna be it for the day, you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Oh yeah, Bridget's not here again. She's upstairs. Favorite. And that's it. What's going on, you guys? Kibiani Camera here. And today's vlog is starting out pretty early. It is about one o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm about to go on Boogie2988's uh, Twitch stream. Uh, it's his birthday today. So I wanted to say happy birthday to Boogie. Happy birthday, Boogie! I think it tells you it was yesterday or today. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be really rude, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Here we go. See if I can get my. Come here, you stupid robot. God damn it. Now, that'll have to be good enough because it's caught. Fuck, okay, here we go. Here we go. Hey, guys. Kid behind. So, get behind a camera here, and so I was talking to Dad earlier today, and as you know, he and Bridget have not been getting along lately, and I think it's because they're hate-fucking. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm so sorry, I don't think they're hate fucking. <laughs> this menacing laugh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> he says I am recording this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's the first time in my life, Michael, I've ever done an impression uh, of somebody to their face, and so I'm so grateful that you don't hate me over it. <laughs> Even though that got really weird. <laughs> uh, oh shit, King Crush! Fuck! Okay, so what are these? What does it look like? I don't know, it looks like a freaking... They're look. wristbands, you retard! Oh! I thought it was like something like the motor of a car. You just go ahead and look at me, you damn joy. Oh! You, you want one? Grandpa's army. You want one? Yes. Give me three dollars. If you're part of Grandpa's army, you got to have one. Well, that's pretty cool, man. Well, here, I'm gonna put mine on. You gonna fit your arm? Get your arm if it is by the arm. Damn. I like it. I do too. I think that's cool. See? It is cool. Show your love. Yeah, but we don't have no shop or nothing set up. How do they get one? I got a P.O. box. They got $3. Send it to me. And $3 you... includes shipping too, Bob. Yeah, because I know you could ask that stupid question. Okay, so the, hold on. They send you $3. Yeah. And you send it to them. Right. I'll send them one. 
Okay, that's pretty neat, actually. I paid a postage. Uh, that way you don't damn deal with PayPal or nothing. Hell no, just... Hey, cash or carry? I get the cash, I'll carry to your ass. Okay, so the way this works is send a letter to Grandpa uh, with $3 in the envelope. They, they you should write on the envelope for this pay. I was about to say that. You should probably put on the back of the envelope no, or I'll something. Buy a pack of cigarettes with it. You should probably put someone on the envelope for wristband, and he takes the three dollars. I can't talk. He takes the three dollars you send him, and he'll send you a wristband. This is pretty neat. Now, if you live overseas, you send me four. Cost more sending across the pond. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. You know, you better look into that actually. If it's any more than than the bug, I'll pay it. But if, what if it's like five? Then I I just said I'd pay it. You lose two dollars. I will lose two dollars. So I got a question, Dan. What? Smoke any catnip lately? Fuck you. <laughs> that was really funny. That was not funny. That was. I saw that shit. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> I was getting high with that goddamn marshmallow shit, not that catnip. The marshmallow shit? Yeah, the shit you got from Colorado. That shit was good. Damn it. Good God, man. Those were Rice Krispie treats from Target. No, they were, man. They had cannabis in them. No, they didn't. <laughs> They got me high, shit. They were confetti balls. They got me high, they were real. Oh man, you were just clinging on with everything now, ain't you? I ain't gotta talk to you. It's a placebo effect. A what? Placebo? That's what it is, it's the placebo effect. What's a placebo? Are you serious? I'm serious. Placebo effect is like the doctor can give you a sugar pill and tell you it's the medicine you need and you'll feel the effects of it thinking it's working for you. Nah. It's, it's all in your head. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, nah, I don't buy yeah. that shit. I don't buy that yeah. shit. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. It's kind of like a hypochondriac who they feel. You're the hypochondriac. I didn't say you were one. I said it's like a hypochondriac. But you're the hypochondriac. Yes, and that's why I'm identifying it with you. I feel like symptoms of shit that I don't have. I'll give you some sugar next time you're sick and tell you it's real. That doesn't work. Only the placebo effect only works on you. No, that was real. As can't... proven yesterday. Hey. Or the shirts today. They'd be in next week. Oh, you order the shirts? They'd be in next week. That's awesome. I'm excited. Me too. Me too. I get one. Well, you no, you, know, you go pay for it, bitch. Give a piece of bread and cream for a treat for completing it. Not a whole one, just a piece. So Hannah just used the bathroom, and we're gonna give her a little graham cracker. <laughs> you wanna do it? Yeah. You wanna give it to her? Good girl. Good one. Good hand, a nice job. Good girl. Nice job. Oh. What are you doing, my goddamn dog? Take it off her bathroom. Well, she been didn't come back. She knew she better. So if you guys are wondering why she's hooked up like this, we have her hooked up into my chair. That's because we don't want her running off. Hey, sweet girl. Look, she grabbed that and was playing with it. Oh. Hey there, Hannah. I got a question for you, Dad. What? How much lab do you think that weed whacker can get over there? That's a loud <laughs> motherfucker, is it? Is that Tina? Oh, I know. You hear the loud weed whacker, Hannah? Well, I, today is Throwback Thursday, which means I'm going to tell another story. Another one? I tell one every Thursday. Oh. At least some, not every Thursday maybe, but a lot of the Thursdays I tell stories. Most of them are lies. No, none of them have ever been a lie. God, be is a lie. So I got a question for you. What? Do you remember when Aunt Charlene gave us those puppies? And she only gave us a bunch of puppies that were in like her, her barn. You and them goddamn Hannibal Lecter fucking puppies? Yeah, the ones that ate, yeah. Damn! I'm going to tell that story when we walk inside in a minute. They ate the goddamn dog's guts out. That's right. Damn. So in a few minutes, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to tell you... Time do it, dude. Let me do my little segue. So you know what? A segue. What's my segue? Segue is what professional people call... I don't know what it is. <laughs> a segue is, is something that leads into the next thing. So the segue is just me talking about it. So uh, 
we got a dog. We got a we had a dog uh, that we loved. It was our family pet, and our aunt Charlene gave us a bunch of puppies, and they turned out to be killers. Animal letters. And we'll tell that in just a minute. Take a sip of your coffee. Man, screw you. Let's go inside. So what are you doing? Can't wait to tell my youngest start sending me their picture wearing my damn armband. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see people wearing it. I do too. So if you get the armband, send us your picture on Twitter, Facebook, and we'll show everybody. I want everyone to see you wearing the Grandpa's Army wristband. Remember, send me... Yeah. So, it's Throwback Thursday, which means it's time for another story. So, as we established outside... You know, did you know that? So anyway, as we established, my aunt gave us a bunch of dogs. Now, here's the, full, here's the full story. We had this loving little dog named Coco, and we loved it. He was the family pet, and we let it sleep inside, and when we had to use the bathroom, we'd take it outside. We had a little fenced-in backyard, and it was the family pet. We had it for, what, three years? What named that dog Coco? Mom. Because it was, like, cocoa-colored. Okay. So, uh, how long did we have Coco? About three years? About three years. So we had Coco for three years. And then my aunt calls us. Uh, she goes, Charlie, I need you to help me sell some puppies. Uh, we got to get rid of them. We found them in the barn. And so dad's like, oh, shit, we go to the flea market every week. Let's do it. So we thought it was a great idea. We're going to get rid of these puppies, man. She gives us the puppies, and it took us two hours to realize why she got rid of them. So grandpa decided for dinner the night we was going to have Chinese. We got, we got them new puppies. We're going to get some Chinese. I don't know what the correlation between the two was. So we got Chinese food, dad went to go get it. Meanwhile, we decided to let the puppies run around the fenced in backyard with our dog Coco. And we we're like, oh, they're so cute. We were watching and the little puppies, ah, ah. they were really cute little things, you know? Who knew? Fucking the gremlins. <laughs> they, they were gremlins. <laughs> so we go inside, we're like, oh, that's so cute. We go inside, we start watching The Simpsons. Dad comes home, I got Chinese <laughs> with Coco at. Because dad, every time dad would get Chinese food, would take out like a piece of chicken and throw it to Coco and he would catch it. And it was cute, with Coco at. Opens the door, the dad, ah! I'll never forget the look of terror on dad's face. The dog, had the dogs, plural, had only been out there. What in that goddamn guts hanging off his mouth? It had only been out there for, what, an hour? hour? 45 minutes? It wasn't very long. It was just long enough for Dad to go get him. We decided to let him play. And meanwhile, we went inside. Walk outside. Coco is laying on its side. His stomach is ripped open. And these dogs are crawling inside him like an infestation. It's like... The dogs were in its stomach and they were crawling around, blood... <laughs> They had blood on their paws and mouths and teeth. The puppies had eaten our dog alive. Do you, I, I still, that's the memory I don't want. That is probably one of the craziest things that we'd ever lived through. I was like, what the fuck? What the shit? Yeah, what the fuck? You fix it. What happened? You broke it. How did I break it? So dad runs down the stairs, picks Coco up by the leg, because it's dead, you can see he's dead, and we chuck Coco over the fence. There were still puppies inside him. There's Coco dead, we had to sling it over the fence. Meanwhile, these other puppies are turning to us now. Dad ah, runs upstairs, puts up a little baby gate, and we just stood there in silence. This motherfucker stood there, the goddamn baby gate, went, ah, 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 ah. I was like, what the fuck? You know what I got a baseball bat? It was a major major moment around it was the most insane thing and you might be wondering what we did with the puppies we still saw them at the flea market dad sold the puppies and he told people it's not like he didn't tell people they were killers we told him straight up yeah they 25 dollars they killed our dogs so you know these some killers and them goddamn people right that place man they like them kind of dogs because they were trained to goddamn hunt and shit jesus so we went to the flea market, gave him full disclosure. We had a dog last night, got eaten alive by these puppies. They 25 a piece. And they bought them. And they still bought them. So, so pretend I'm one of the customers. Hold on. Oh, these are cute little dogs. Hey, look at that one looking at you. Look at the way that one looking at you. Oh, oh I see. He wants it. to go home with you. Oh, yeah, that's your little puppy. Oh, oh my. I, I, well, you know, I washed all the blood off of them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. You know, I dragged out all the blood off of him and everything. And I, blood? Yeah, you know, from eating our dog, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that funny, Michael. Is this what you really, what you said? Yeah. I think it just pissed my pants. I said, but this dog just wants a good home. The guy said, dog's a killer, huh? I said, yeah, that dog. I said, you take him in the woods hunting with you? That dog will find them deer. And it's by the dog, bear, 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 bear. And they buy the dog, they gone, shit. That was a good little story we told today. Yeah. Poor, poor little Coco. Poor little Coco. Anyway. So you heading home now? Yep, heading home. Well, have fun. How much fun can I have? Thanks for the free bracelet. Yeah. The free, yeah, y'all stole them. <laughs> don't forget, buy my, don't, it's, it'll be on my Facebook. Yeah, it's pretty you, cool. You can put the link here. To your Facebook? Whatever, I don't know. No, if you want to buy the bracelet, the address for the P.O. Box is in the, the description. Click read more. Uh, the address for the P.O. Box is below. They're in, it's in the description of every video. You send $3 to the P.O. Box. Write on it. That is for the bracelets. And I'll mail it out to you. I'll even sign something. You gonna sign something? I can be fit my name on it. Saying so, thank you from AGP. So Grandpa's gonna send you a letter that he's gonna sign. And that, you send three dollars, and he's gonna send you the bracelet and a letter. Bye. Now leave. Where's my letter? What the one that says "Get fuck Michael." <laughs> Michael? You talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it was well, here. That's not the intro. I want to reshoot it. Oh. Back up, let's try it again. All right. Remember how long it took last time to do this? Yes, it was so funny. Ready? Michael? I don't like my pose. All right. Michael? Wait, say it again. Michael? You're saying it too quickly. All right. <laughs> Give it a second. Michael? You talking to me? How's that? That was good. Kid behind the camera. What's going there. on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here. New glasses are right here. Bridge of us here. Just to let you know, a lot of people have said they miss me, so... Three people have said it in the vlog. <laughs> That's enough for me, huh? Bridget, I miss you, and then they DM me on Twitter. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, so... Bridget West, here. Right here. And favorite, and share, what are and... You talking about? Give me this thing before you hurt yourself. Oh. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera Bridget here. West, here. And I got new glasses, as you can see. These are some Sean John. I picked them <sighs> out. Mm, the man is hot. I got some good taste. Give me that kiss. Suck my kiss. <laughs> what? So, uh, I picked them out actually. No, um, actually I did. <laughs> um, you said you couldn't even see them. She's on the other side of the counter. Try these. Um, no, look I, I looked at them on the counter. Then I opened the counter from the back and grabbed them. I was like, Michael. Put these you couldn't on. tell I was mouthing the word liar. So and I was like, oh my god, I like those. Well, right now it is about 8 o'clock at night, and I'm just pushing the time, waiting for dad to go to sleep. Why? I'm gonna hop on pop. Can I do again? Two? Someone's gotta film. It's true. So this is Hi Jimmy Kimmel, I hopped on pop again, and thanks for not using the first video. So anyway, I'm gonna hop on pop tonight. Waiting for it. I talked to dad about 10 minutes ago. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm thinking about going to sleep early tonight. So he is going to sleep soon. Fingers crossed. We're gonna be checking around, making sure he's asleep, and then I'm gonna hop on pop. Ooh, I can't wait. Hopping on pop tonight, babe. Oh, kiss me. Nope. What? How come you don't kiss me on camera? It's funny. What? Kiss me again. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes, I kiss my girlfriend. He kisses me off camera. I don't know what this is about. There's a bumblebee on your face. Hey! Ew! Michael! What? You killed bugs with that! Ew, she's on a liquid coming Dude, out. there's a bug on that! Ugh. I'm not taking it to your dad to do this. But I can't drive. See, this is what she does. She knows I can't drive and she rubs it in my face. <laughs> and I rub this in hers. Uh, I'm not taking you. I'm not taking you. I'm not yes, taking you. you. Take no, me. I'm not taking you. Oh, yeah? <gasps> um. You know what? I could do better. Drive. Hey! <laughs> Michael. You're talking to me. How was that? 
That was good. Let me do it. Let's pretend I'm walking back inside. Ready? Oh, I'm just going inside for the first time. Oh! <laughs> Damn, Bill! Oh, no, that was lazy. It was lazy? Yeah, that was lazy! Bill, I need you. <laughs> no! God! That hurt. I felt like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it, man. That was pretty bad. Bell, can you let me know when Grandpa falls asleep? No? That was a no. They're <laughs> lazy. They're all sitting in lazy standing. God! <laughs> Her whole body is twitching. She loves it so much. Look at Bella! Oh my god. Oh. Look at this. I know. I want to see your face, Bella. Well, I'm about to go to Dad's house. Do hop on pop. Uh, first things first. Uh, assuming the video goes right, I'm going to put it up tomorrow night. And... I didn't really explain it in the intro. I was watching my intro from this morning for the vlog, and I didn't really explain it. I got Dad a new bed frame. Uh, the one under his bed is just totally screwed up. You know, I noticed that when I did the video the first time, the mattress and the box spring and, you know, the bed itself, you know, nothing really happened to it. It was just the stuff under the bed. So I'm figuring, why not go break it again? Because I'm going to go get him the stuff tomorrow. So why not destroy the shit under the bed again? Oh, yeah, these are my wrestlers behind me, by the way. I was playing with them in the kitchen. <gasps> I'm a little kid. So anyway, yeah, why not? Well, it is 1230 in the morning, 1242 in the morning to be exact. I just did the hop on pop again. As I said... Damn, how can a truck get any louder? I know, right? I know everybody's sleeping, but let's go ahead and drive as loud as we want. So I know that I said my goal was to replace the stuff under the bed. Then I was going to break the other stuff, but now he's destroyed the whole fucking thing. Let's go back in. You run us out. But... I told you to leave! Now get out! Let me take this and you can sleep on the mattress on the floor! No! I'll do it tomorrow, I'm tired! I gotta get up and I gotta get up! I gotta get up! Tomorrow, I mean, you should go look for a bed. Hmm. Why? I am. Me and you. I don't want you to go nowhere with me. Why? Leave. No. Leave. No. Come on, dude, no! Leave! I'm serious, man. Go, because I'm mad. Let me fix this. I'm mad. I'm going to bed now. We can probably tape it back together. I got your tape right here. Get out! Let's tape it. Tape what? <laughs> okay, let's tape. Yeah, okay! Tape that. You got some goddamn Elmer's glue? <laughs> <laughs> we can at least situate it for you. Get out! Let's lift the beds and let's get this wooden frame. Just go. I gotta do it myself. Here, Bridger, grab the camera. Get away! I'll hit you with a goddamn. Dude, You're not gonna hit me. Yeah, I will. Ah! <laughs> I won't hit you, motherfucker. I won't hit you, motherfucker. I'll get you out of my motherfucking house. Get alright! Go! Yeah! Bridget, for God's sake, go! Ah! Oh! What are we doing this? What was you thinking? This fucking thing is heavy. You're lucky Michael's helping. You're lucky I don't bust your fucking ass. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You broke it. <laughs> okay. Like this? Where's it go? <laughs> now you can wake up with a goddamn bite. Get out of my fucking way. Oh.
I hate you. <laughs> Damn. What time is gonna call the cops? I'm gonna throw it next to it. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna bust your head with this goddamn piece of wood. No, you're not. I'm gonna bust your side No. Get out of my way. Love me, Dad. Love you, my ass. All that jumping was exercise for me. Oh, look at that. Where'd the pot go? Rob, what the hell? Come on, get this stuff and get it out of here. Come on, man. I thought we were doing this tomorrow. No, we should go home. Let's go home. All right, let's go. Go walk out and leave me with it, huh? Okay, go <laughs> Not really. You just jump on those. Look at this motherfucker. Huh. Can we get this shit out of here so I can go to bed? Okay. My shoulder is fucking killing me. Is there a 24 hour McDonald's version? Because I'm getting some on the way home. Yeah. I have burned some calories. And I got nothing to eat. And I got a. <laughs> you want to get you some McDonald's? No. Are you sure? Positive. Do you fucking want to help me? I want her to grab the camera. Why? Because I want to film your new situation. <sighs> Can you. You know, that's not bad. Ow! Man, forget I'm leaving. Pick a goddamn! Goddamn, my shoulder. <laughs> now I swear to God, it gets pulled. Well, leave it alone. This is good. And pull the thing back. That's perfect. That's good. I'll live with that. Good night. Don't you? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm too tired to do it. You ain't hot popping on top. Oh, no, I'm going to sleep a little bit. Get out of my room. Where's your weight? Give it two. No, I'm gonna go home. I'll give you two. One. Yeah, we'll see. You ain't going to Make each feet off a goddamn wall! Yeah! Ah! Get. Yeah. Wake me up at two. That's two. Get out. Get out of the room where I can sleep! I'm going. I'm going. Let's go, Michael. You want to see my new glasses? Fuck your new glasses. I took them off on the counter for you. Get out! God damn, that's cold. So you consider that my revenge prank? I got you coming you, up. You kept asking, that's the prank, that was the prank. And I think we should get him back. And I think I'm gonna get you good. What well, Bridget? Oh, I got her plan too. What's wrong, what's wrong with your shoulder? It hurts. Why? I wonder why. I got a bad shoulder. Would you mind leaving my house? I really have done that. I'm too cut, cut up. All right, Dad, before I go, I want to get a couple shots of your face. There's this, there's this website called that'smyface.com. They make, I'm getting you made into an action figure. Oh, good lord. Shut up. Okay, so what I need is I'm gonna get some shots of your face. So, straight head, just straighten your head out. There you go. Okay, turn to the side. What is this, a goddamn mug shot? Just turn to the side. <laughs> Do I need a number? Other side. God, do I need a number? I'm five, I'm five, four, three, two, nine, six. <laughs> Wait. Okay, let's try to do the back. The fuck? Dad, they make an action figure of your head, of your face. There we go. So I'm getting you made into an action figure. Can I go drink my coffee now and go to bed? Well, I'm leaving Dad's house right now. Um, if you were wondering what I was doing at the end there, taking the pictures of Dad's face, uh, there's this website called that'smyface.com. And what they'll do is you send them the pictures of your face and they'll turn it into like a doll's face. And you can also get it onto a body and stuff. So I'm having an angry grandpa figure made. It's not going to be a sales item, like we're not going to have it for sale or anything. This is just something for me to have. So I'm having a figure made, but if you want to check them out. Are you going to play with it? Hey, I didn't think about that. <laughs> you should get a princess and a pick -a boy made. I'm going to have an anger grandpa action figure for my toys. I wasn't really going to have it for my toys, but now I will. <laughs> so, having the anger grandpa figure made. Uh, it's at that'smyface.com. The link is below if you want to check them out. They're really cool. I saw a lot of really cool stuff on there. They had like, uh, you can get like life masks made of people and stuff, and they look real. And it's like, 
it's awesome. So check out that'smyface.com. I can't wait to get my figure. I don't know how long it's gonna take. And so pretty soon on video, you're gonna see the Angry Grandpa action figure. Well, we just got home from filming the Hoblin Pop. His bed is completely destroyed. Now, he screwed everything up. He shrewded it. He destroyed it irreversibly. The idea was just gonna be that I was gonna destroy the frame underneath the bed, which initially is all that happened. And of course, his reaction is to destroy everything. The wood surrounding the bed, ugh. Shaking my head. Shaking my damn head. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, that's going up tomorrow night. It is late. I gotta, oh, it is late. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. I got it, these today. I got another pair coming. I ordered two pairs of glasses. Yeah. Awesome. So, that's gonna be it for today. Like, subscribe. Favorite. She's serious about it. If you couldn't hear it in her voice, she's serious. <laughs> so, favorite. And that's it. Why did I do you see it went? That's it. Mm. My tongue came all the way. That's it. Okay. I'm like I'm like a I'm like a family guy character on the first season. Hey Lois. <laughs> People only real family guy fans will get that one. So anyway, like, subscribe. Favorite. Favorite. She's totally serious. She's Vladimir Putin over here. <laughs> so, no, no cracking of a smile. Favorite. <laughs> like, subscribe. Favorite video. Thank you. Yeah. Like, subscribe, favorite. That's it. Yep. I get last word. Love you. I get, I get last word on vlog. Love you. Love you. What's going on, you guys? Keep behind the camera here. Nope, Virgil West not here. She is outside. Now then, if you didn't see my video yesterday, new glasses, check those out. Also, if you haven't seen it, the Hey Jimmy Kimmel, I Hop Don't Pop Again video is below. I tell you the link is below because some people may not click the video because they may think that it's a re-upload of the other video. So it's important that you guys check it out and share and get it out there so other people can see it because they might think that it's a re-upload. You see what I was doing? I kept going like jerking. <laughs> anyway, what's going on you guys? Keep me on the camera here. And tonight, uh, tonight Bridge and I are going to the movies. I think we're going to go see 22 Jump Street. There's nothing else that I wanted to go see. Not going to see Hercules. <laughs> I'm not going to support The Rock. Uh, I wanted to go see the movie Boyhood. It's not playing anywhere near me. So I can't see that. I was really looking forward to seeing that movie too. But can't go see Boyhood. There's nothing else really that I wanted to see. And we wanted to go to a movie. So we're going to go see 22 Jump Street. Haven't seen it yet. But the ratings are just as good you know, for, the, for this one as it was for the other one. So we're going to go see 22 Jump Street. How she look? I can't tell. She's just so cute. What did you do that for? Thanks. Woohoo! Hey, Bella. Aww. There's a little too much tension. Whoa! No. What happened to you being so sweet, Bella? I think she's caught. <laughs> Oh my god. What's going on? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? 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 Uh, first opinions? You, you know, there were some funny parts, you know, that I, I really enjoyed, but, um, yeah, that's it. You know, going into the movie as a huge fan of the first one, my biggest fear, and I get they probably did this on purpose, but it still didn't work. My biggest fear was that they were going to try to go too big. You know, like, oh, the other one was good, so let's do this. And that might have been part of the joke, like, oh, let's go too big on purpose. But it didn't work because they relied on that stuff for the humor. Now, there were some really funny parts. 
and there were a lot of really, really bad parts. So, yeah. it, I would give it a 4 out of 10. Yeah. You see, because the, the really funny stuff wasn't good enough. But, like, I will say the funniest part of the movie to me was the very end credit scene where it, you know, it starts, spoiler alert, although it's not really a spoiler or anything, but spoiler alert, the end credit scene starts showing all the, all the hypothetical 21 Jump Street, you know, sequels, 23 Jump Street, and it shows a preview, 24 Jump Street, 25, 26, 27. That part was, I was crying in the theater because it was so genuinely hilarious. At one point it was 26 Jump Street Veterinary School, and you see like animals with like monkeys, kind of like Zookeeper or something. Like, that had me genuinely crying. But, uh, other than that, the movie wasn't that good. The first one still remains you know, really high on my comedy list. Second one, not so much. But anyway, now that that's over, we just got back. It's 10 o'clock. There were some uh, some stuff that I didn't put in the vlog yesterday because I wasn't sure if I was adding it to the main video, which I didn't use. So, whoa. You guys are excited to see us? You missed it. That was the cutest thing Kai's ever done to me. Can you mind? Those are my shorts on the floor. <laughs> hey, Belle, that's my wrestling ring. So there was a lot of footage that I did not use. Uh, the reason being is, you know, I did the vlog, but I was like, well, what am I saving for the main video? So I edited up the main video and I had a lot of excess stuff. So here goes that stuff. The deleted scenes from, what's that called? Oh, I hopped on pop again. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel. I'm like dyslexic. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel. I hopped on pop again. So here's some of that shit. Shit. Stuff clips okay dad give me the bat yeah here you did the bat give it here i was dead jesus what is that thing get your goddamn sword out what get your goddamn sword motherfucker we're not sword fighting dad don't play around with this thing Okay, Dad! I'm not joking. Please put it down. Please! Hand me to me. No! Dad, I don't want you playing with this. Give it here. I hate you! Dad. I got you a goddamn man now! I was buying you a new frame tomorrow. Now what the hell are we gonna do? You don't got anything no more! You owe me a bed! I don't owe you nothing! Uh. That ain't really like a goddamn knife! I wanna get you like yeah. a goddamn fish! And you let me come here and do it! I wanna look at it now! Sleep on the floor tonight. Obviously. How about I come get Joe's goddamn bed? No. I want that goddamn flea infested fucking bed anyway. We don't watch what time is it? I don't know, 12.30? Well, thanks, Mike. Your hop on pop. Just put pop on the fucking floor! Get out of here. Come on. Get 
You know, really, this ain't quite so bad. Get your goddamn fat out! Oh my goddamn dead! You goddamn pizzle! Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell that matter? It's already broke! Maybe you shouldn't have broke my glasses. And Maybe I don't give a fuck. You wait, motherfucker. I got something for you. I wait got, a minute. I got something for you, so. It was her idea. No, it was his idea. I got something for you, motherfucker. Dad, for her. I got something for you. No, for, for I him. definitely got something for you, princess bitch. I'll help you with him. Somebody told me that you are a princess bitch. You know what? You are a princess bitch. Got something for both of you. You got nothing for me. Except Watch, for mother. Except an apology. Watch, bitch. Watch. Like my little grandson says. Watch and learn. Let's get Michael together. How about this? Then how about I get you tomorrow night? How about you? Come on. Shoot him up. How about we get it on right now? Come on. What are you doing? We, you make make about that more. I. We'll do it right now. We'll do it right now. Do what? Hey, we we tap. We tap. Come on. Square up. You want to fight? Square up. Dad! Let's have a goddamn ladder match! No, come on now. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! sorry. I go to jail hitting dumb animals, so you lucky. Now I got no bed. Well, what can we do about this? There is nothing you can do! I have to sleep on the floor! Like a fucking dog! Sleep on the couch! Ugh. Wait a minute, what's wrong with putting this on the floor for tonight? Yeah. What? I look like a floor dweller to you. I ain't the people under the stairs. No, you're the grandpa on the floor. Yeah, for probably about a week or two, I had some money. I told you. I was... You ain't gonna buy me nothing. You did. You done had me a bed. And you do that goddamn uh, Jimmy Kimmel's. I'm gonna beat his ass. He didn't ask me to do it this time. I just did it on my own accord. Get out. And I never said I was buying you another bed. I was going to be buying you a frame. But now you got to buy a bed. Frame. Hey, I tell you what, I'll buy my own bed. goddamn bed. Let me ask you a question. This, uh, this, all this wood and shit, was that necessary for the bed? Or can I just buy the stuff underneath it? I want the whole enchilada. The, you know the, what? You know what? I don't want you to buy me nothing. The metal and stuff under it. I, I am through taking stuff from you. Oh, boy. I am done. We'll see. Tomorrow. You know what? I no longer have a son. I turn my back on you. What does that mean? You don't need you goddamn. <laughs> oh, get out! Well, look, it's only twelve forty-one. It says. Get out of my house. Twelve forty-two now. Get out of my house. I don't want you here no more. Why? And don't come back tomorrow. We got. I'm gonna help you disassemble the bed. No, I'll do it my damn self in the morning when I wake up. I'm going to bed. Well, that's gonna be it for today. My glasses are fogged up like the lens is gonna be in a second. So, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Where's Lazy? So, 22 Jump Street. Hop, don't pop. And that's gonna be it. Like, I can't get over my glasses here. Are they gonna ever unfog? That's the question. No. Let me turn on this light. <laughs> oh, look at this. Man. I'm like, hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> see, I can't even see it almost fell. So, like, subscribe. Favorite. And click on. Bridge West here. Bridge West is right there. Click a like. And share. I was going to give them an option. Oh. Click like if you hate Bridget. Oh. <laughs> so. Click like if you love Bridget. Click like if you're excited that Bridget's prank is next. <gasps> it might not be next, but it's coming. I'm going to get you, though. You're not going to get me, bro. Oh, honey, so, I will. <laughs> like and click that like if you're excited for Bridget's prank. Subscribe. Favorite. Favorite. And that's it. Last word goes to me. Favorite. No. Yes. Love. You can't keep saying just words. You can't do that. Thanks. Love you guys. <laughs> Thanks, you love guys. Love you. And I love you. Love you all. You gotta stop. What the fuck is Bridge that? Bridge here. Oh! I'm here, right here. Who is it?
Clyde gets the last word. I got it. Clyde. No. Yeah. Dad, this is enough. I win. <laughs> I love you, Clyde. Stop talking now. <laughs> Michael. No, Bridget. <laughs> Forget it. You win. I got it. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on a camera here. Keep us here. Good morning, everyone. Doing a little bit of this. Camera's moving with me. That was Bridget's finger. So anyway, what's going on, you guys? Keep me on a camera here. And this camera is actually dying. What? I didn't car charge my camera last night. So, camera's dying. Gotta go see Dad soon. Uh, we didn't get together this weekend to record the Monday Mailbag video because I was just sleeping. This was my sleep weekend. So I slept a little bit. So, going on my way to Dad's house pretty soon. I guess I gotta take the other camera because this one's dead. So, on my way to Grandpa's, we're gonna do the Monday Mailbag video. Maybe I'll check in on his bedding situation. Bella, what you doing? Get out of the filthy laundry room. Billy, get out of there. She's like, I smell so much filth in here that I love it. Ew. Hope you watched and enjoyed yesterday's vlog. It was game night. It was game night in the greenhouse. Bella. So, uh, I beat Bridget in several games. No, you didn't. I cheated and still lost. So anyway, that's what's happening today on my way to Dad's. Wrestling tonight. I'm excited. By now, the Monday Mailbag video will have been up. So click the link below to check that out. Now I'm going to... You don't touch camera. You don't touch camera. I can do what I want. Oh, what does it say? It says I have zero... Well, we just finished Mailbag Monday. Yeah, that's just not have an envelope. It's crazy, man. I gotta look through all these envelopes, shit. Yeah. So, all of those are for wristbands? Wristbands. They're part of the army now! Going out in the mail tomorrow. Okay, so tell me about this. You're going to be drawing a picture for each one of these? Yeah, would you please not throw the shit on the floor, Michael? Please. Mind your business. Yeah, I'm drawing a picture. Everybody gets an armband, and they're part of the army. I'm drawing them a picture. See, there's a picture there. Picture there. Pickle Boy. Fat. I, you know how fat you are? I wrote Pickle Boy. Oh, you're fat. There's a picture of my hand with an armband on. Yeah, you said, Grandpa, you said it was going to be Grandpa's army, so I said Grandpa's army, not his arms. There's different pictures. I'm with everybody can get a different picture. And I get to practice my art. What is that? That's your big fucking belly. Oh, that's Princess. I was how fat she is. God. Wearing pink. That's my dog. Remember, you know my dog? Yeah, I remember your dog. That's my dog. Well, this is pretty cool. So you're giving everybody a drawing. Everybody gets a drawing that orders a wristband. You want me to, should I sign any of these? Yeah, go ahead, you can sign some. Can you write? Hey. But yeah, everybody can get one, and then the, their arm band will be taped to the picture. Well, that's cool. So join the army! I want to sign. Give them to her. Take, take it down there. Don't come by me. I don't want you near me. Fine. Where's you're, my lighter? Is my lighter? You're in the jailhouse now. Where's my lighter? You're in the jailhouse now. You steal my lighter, Michael? Well, I told I you once or twice. Well, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Would you like this goddamn do it in blood? No. So I should ask for a pen. Well, if you can't tell, I am using the other camera right now because my other camera is not charged. Why is it charged? Because I stupidly left it out on it. Stupid. Hey, Dad, you want to film real quick? Film what? I want to go scare JC awake. Go ahead. Well, you gotta. I can't. You gotta film it. I don't know how to use that camera. Just hold it. I think I just tried to. I don't fucking want to do it. Well, you're gonna have to. Hey, just saves me. <laughs> you didn't scare shit. I know I didn't. Give me hugs, Jay. Tired. Last yeah. one's on the night, boy. What's up, Johnny? Hi. What you playing? I'm on my phone. What? Yep. <laughs> Mommy gave me. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Mommy gave me his phone. Oh. This is Uncle Shelby's. <laughs> oh. Ew. Oh. 
We gave Hannah some deworming medicine today, so we have to have her in the cage for right now. So she is being dewormed. Yeah, did you take yours? What? Don't you have your Oh man, that is the most repulsive smell I've smelled in a long time. So show me that that knife somebody sent you today. Give me the sword. It's less of a sword, less of a knife, more of a machete type thing. I got quite the collection going on there. Point it to me. I'm just trying to get some like 3D. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Please don't use that. On oh, you, yeah. Are you happy? I appreciate you coming to do a mailbag Monday. So I just took some cool pictures of you. Thank you want to? What would you think about getting those printed up and we sending those out? Yeah, well I was gonna do that anyway. I want to. I want to get some autographed pictures, of people. That's cool. We'll put them in the stove. So let's get rid of that shirt. I may be fat, but I have a huge cog. Game cocks. So. Oh God damn! You know what? He loves me. What are you doing? Got like a hair in my mouth kissing you. Kissing you like eating a goddamn vagina spider. God! Love you too. Bye, Michael. Damn it, the cat moved. Just a minute ago, the two dogs were eating, and the cat was just like sitting in between them, like looking around. You're a brave one, cat. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm done, I'm gonna go chew up this bowl a little bit. Hey guys, Bridget West here. Well, <laughs> what? I just looked over at you. I can't look. It's funny. Okay, so Bridget West here, and there's, <laughs> there's okay. There's some watermelon. <laughs> Bella. Wait. What? Woo! <laughs> you get the first bite. I'm scared, actually. <laughs> Throw it, man! <laughs> Take it! <laughs> Damn, that was horrible. I'll have to use my paws. <laughs> Just one of the dogs. I have the worst aim ever. That was real. Like, I can't throw. I don't know what it is. Here. All right. <sighs> that was my snack. <laughs> is that it? Is there more? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I was joking. And Lazy's piece. <laughs> Just A little it. piece of crap piece. All right, Bill. <laughs> that didn't work. No. Oh. Hey, you still got it though. Oh, okay. I was like, it should have been a while since I had some watermelon. Oh. You're so cute. Alright, you guys. I'm waiting on my next piece. What's going on? Oh. Set it in my mouth. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Guys, 
some lazy bell cries? Well, it is quiet. It was really loud earlier because it was raining seriously heavy. <sighs> well, anyway, that's going to be it for today. I'm a little pissed off. Uh, I was switching the, you know, I did that other camera today because stupidly I didn't charge this one. And that one, the, the camera sometimes has a problem with saving clips, which is the case that happened today. I had a lot of good stuff at Dad's house today. I went to his bedroom and we did some shit and he was bitching at me and I think, oh, there's a reflection in the mirror, creeped me out. Anyway, um... I did a lot of good stuff in there, and Dad was yelling at me, and I don't have any of the video. The camera didn't keep it. It was totally disheartening, because I, I really enjoyed the footage. I thought it was great. I was like, oh, it's going to be a good vlog today. And it's still a good vlog. I enjoy the vlog, but I don't have the stuff that I wanted. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. That's going to be it for today. Happy Monday. Clyde says, have a safe and happy Monday. Right, Clyde? Clyde, look at me if you want them to have a safe and happy Monday. Damn, we want you to have an unsafe and dangerous Monday. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. Nothing from Bridget? Favorite. Favorite. I knew she'd jump. God, it's like someone laying on the horn. Ooh, want to know something? I signed a lot of pictures. Oh, some of y'all who got, who got bracelets are going to get Bridget's signature. You're going to get mine as well. So, anyway. So, anyway, you're going to get our signatures. You're going to get Dad's signature. Dad likes to do his little drawings. He really enjoys doing that. Every time people get stuff, like before, when people would order the shirts, he'd make a drawing for everybody. And to, and to me, I would be find it cooler to get that than getting the shirt. You know, I, I think that stuff's pretty cool. So, anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Oh, I already did this. Thanks Save for watching. Why? Why is God punishing me? I don't believe in you. Subscribe. Oh, I gotta walk away from this. <laughs> Bridget just turned the light off on me, as if I don't have a light on this camera. Oh my God! However, will I act because the light is out? Oh yeah, I'll turn on the camera light. So anyway, thanks for watching, Subscribe. you guys. Click like if her doing that bothers the shit. I love you. Thanks for watching. Hey. I get the last word. No, no, no. Oh! oh! You whore. Bridge just popped open this apple cider vinegar and it spilled everywhere. Uh. Hey, dude. <laughs> 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 Bitch just rubbed it all over me. <laughs> Kick him to No! Stop. We all know I don't change for weeks. <laughs> <gasps> smell like Bridget's vagina. <laughs> I smell like Michael's penis. <laughs> and when those two come together... <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite. That's it. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on a camera here. Oh! Oh, my God! Blast back! Dude, we cry out of your the ass. Last bag. Well, I'm here at Grandpa's house because I'm taking my nephews to the house for a little bit. Get them out of my hair. While Dad writes out and sends out the wristbands. As they come in today, they go out tomorrow morning. So you already sent some this morning. I sent a whole. I sent God about seventy something this morning. I got all these to go now. Look at I done done all that many. Yeah, let me throw you a bone. Ugh. Damn, don't look at dog bitch doing that motherfucker. Alright, let me do it. you want? I'm gonna do a couple of writing on this. No, you need writing on this. This is this, this army book. Okay, well, where's the damn. Jesus Christ! I gotta do more too. Yeah, I need a break. Alright, well, let's get a look at that. You can draw some pictures for me? They don't want my pictures, boy. I'm just gonna do a little bit. You have to add to every one of these. God, I gotta fart again. Nope, that ain't gonna fart. I ain't even gonna try to force that. What are you doing? Huh? What, what does that say? Eat what? I drew a picture of you. 
I win. <laughs> Yo, you, I'm not sending that word. What if it, what if it turns out to be a 13 year old kid or something? I wasn't saying you know something. You ain't got no respect for the young kids. I was. What is your problem? You know, young people don't need to be seeing filth like that. You know, I'm tired of you coming to my house to destroy my crap. I didn't destroy anything. You come right here and start all this trouble. I'm tired of it. Well, how about this? I'm gonna keep doing it over and over and over. How about, how about I cut you? you hey, do? look, Bridget, he's gonna stab me. I think. You don't think I'm gonna stab you? No. Oh, come on. Ah, Bridget, ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, do it. Does me again. I'm calling the fucking cops. Bridget, come on. Call you I'll stab you next. Bridget, come on. Wait, what the fuck? Die. See what you caused? Why'd you do that? Which call me one, seriously. I don't have my phone with me. And you ain't using mine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Did he stab me? You're blowing him out, you dumbass. I told you to give you a bunch of little times. Fuck you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Grandpa. <laughs> I like putting shit on you. You're easy. <laughs> You're easy. Shaking my head. Oh, Michael. Yo, oh, you got Michael. I feel so bad. <laughs> People want proof that I want fake blood on my lip? This shit stains, man, and it don't come off. That wasn't even the good one either. Oh, nah, either. we ain't doing that. We gonna get her to the bed. We, gonna, we still got you coming, baby. Please. I'll, get, I'll get you. We just I'll you. get you. We just got you with that. If, 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 that was yeah. simple. I literally thought that 35 30 seconds Yeah, ago. I mean, really. I just walked down to the bed. Hey, let's get Bridget pretend to stab me. We got some fake blood and that was it. And you fell for it. Hook and fish. Fish. <laughs> yeah, that was good. No, it wasn't. And more coming. Grandpa stabs me. Yeah, for you. <laughs> I, I, you can't do nothing. Blaze. I got something for you, Blaze. Yeah, so do I. I know where you live. I hope so. You bring him here enough. You didn't know where I live. You'd be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're enough luck. <laughs> me and Dad are friends. Yeah, and we're, we're not friends? We're against you now. Yeah. Dad's not even gonna prank me back. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I am. I gotta go play. I thought we were good. We are good, but I'm still gonna get you. For what? Because I can. Well, let's go take a look at Dad's bed. Still on the floor. Still I waiting on you. Okay, Dad, here's a couple of questions. What? First of all, why is there a computer mouse on your bed? Second of all, why is there graham crackers? I see Dad's probably just like laying back in his bed naked, eating graham crackers, <laughs> surfing the internet. Ew. Hey, darling. Oh, my girl. Yeah, my girl. Oh, my girl. Yeah, my girl. Yeah, get your daddy. You got a little harness? Yeah. Her got a little harness. Her got a little walkie walkie. Her got a little walkie walkie. She's so sweet. She's a loving dog. Thank you, baby. Huh? Yeah, Papa, love you. Man. Anna, you want to you help me trick Grandpa? They know we gonna bite you. I'm not gonna touch you. Yeah. Bella, how come you don't want to come out? Yeah, you do want to come out. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so, just sitting here with my nephews. We've been playing, playing some video games. Watch South Park. Uh, played Last of Us Remastered, which I got that today. Looks beautiful. I purposely stopped playing that game on the PS3 because I knew it was gonna come out for the PS4. So I said, screw it. I'm gonna wait. It was hard waiting, but I'm starting to play it now, and the graphics are just beautiful. You playing patty cake? Well, we are at Chick Fil A right now. JC's holding the milkshakes. We we ordered a lot of food. We're gonna take it to Grandpa's house. I feel like strange people are watching me as I vlog. They know how to it's a cow. That's the joke. A cow spelled neighbor. Because what it is... The joke, Johnny, is that uh, a cow is what burgers are made of. So the cow is telling you to eat more chicken. 
because it doesn't want any more cows killed. They want, they want the chickens killed instead. <laughs> what a repulsive campaign, huh? Pop, we are back with the kids. I don't know if you whacking it, so I'm knocking. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Jesus, you could use your chair, you know. I could use a new bed, too. What are you watching? I don't know, some old fucking movie. Well, brought the kids back to you. I thought we were cool. We ain't cool. We aren't? No, my still people on the floor. Well, let's work on that, man. You work on that! I don't got no van. You got the van. I'll look on the Oh, like I, can put a, like I can put a bed in my van, you dumb man. What do you want me to do? Nothing. You want me to rent a U-Haul? I want you to get out of here. Okay. Please just put it over your shoulder. What? Nothing. Say hello to my vlog. Hello, vlog. Tell you to give me a bed! I'm going to work on getting you one. You want some Chick-fil-A? No. You sure? I want Slim Jims. I don't have any Slim Jims. Don't talk to me. I can't talk to you if you get them until you get Slim Jims? If you get Slim Jims, I'll talk to you. Till then. God, it's warm out here. It's supposed to feel real good tonight. And then go home, I'll feel it. How come you left yet? Because I wanted to say goodbye to you real quick. Well, goodbye. Why is there like trash over here? I want to make a thumbnail. What? I just want to make a thumbnail. But what's a thumbnail? The picture they see when they click the video. I don't care. Make a weird face. That's an angry face. Yeah, I like it. I'm not using it for the thumbnail either. I just wanted you to make a dumb you face. Motherfucker. Here, make another video. I'll use that for the thumbnail. Weirder than that. Try to cross your eyes. I'm not using neither, neither one of those for the thumbnail. Get Thumbnail's going to be me on the ground covered in blood. Get out. Love you, Pop. Love you too, son. I ain't scared about that. Can't hear you when they're passing. Oh, really? You picking your ass right now? Yeah, digging my ass there. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? It smells like the TNA women's locker room. Woohoo. Yeah, now Brooke's there. <laughs> 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 TNA, it has been a couple of years since I talked about y'all. You still don't make no money. You still got Hulk Hogan, bravo! And you don't even pay your wrestlers nothing. They gotta be on food stamps. You left the amusement park for bigger dreams. You had dreams, you had grandeur of touring the world and, and putting TNA on that pedestal. You're losing money. You can't even afford the fucking gas to drive your trucks back and forth to the arenas. You better go back. You need to say, come on boys, let's just crank these vehicles up and go home and drive back to Florida. You hired Hogan. You got him to hire his daughter. What's next? You gonna hire a son to drive the bus? Come on, we know how he drives. I mean, that's like asking Jeff Hardy to sign his own prescriptions. Kurt Angle, last month was Father's Day. Who'd your kids buy the presents spend the day with, you or Jeff Jarrett? The smartest person in TNA is Eric Young because when he gets his food stamps, he ain't gotta spend it on fish, he goes out and catches his own. Cause I'll tell you one thing, more people watch his show than watch yours. TNA done hired Rampage Jackson. <laughs> two years too late. You got the same people running wrestling and doing the wrestling that you had two years ago. Haven't you learned by now? Pretty soon, you're going to be going back to Universal Studios with your head tucked between your legs, trying to make it, trying to sell the peanuts at the door to try to make the extra money, trying to make them half-shit shirts that y'all are getting made up for a dollar or two and want to sell for 50. You're going to be a has-been, used-up federation that nobody's going to even remember the name. They're going to say, you remember ever watching TNA? TNA, huh? Sorry, I can't remember that one. Oh, I wish I was in Land of Dixie. You need to go home. Go back to Texas and play on your farm because TNA's gone. Close the doors, sell the furniture, sell the ring, 
and move on because you're nothing. You're dead. Bye-bye. Rest in peace. Oh, Jesus, Dad. Got my reason, did I? Well, what's going on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here. Uh, yeah, I'll take some Reese's. Fuck you. What? You wouldn't have to get in my box! I called you over here to help me get- You brought my goddamn key off! You picked me up! You brought my fucking key off in a box! So dad calls me. Oh my god, Michael, I need you to get to my house now! Please! So I get to the house, and it was because his safety deposit box, is that a safety deposit box? Your safe? A safe. His little safe wouldn't open, the key wasn't turning. You I, know why I got the motherfucker? Well, I see now. The key's bringing it out of it. I thought all this time you've had freaking money or something in there. You've had candy in there this whole time? And Slim Jims. I love Slim Jims now. So what's the deal here? You're going to get a new one, I guess. I got it. Well, I got to get one. I ain't got no key now. Oh, man, Dad. Why did you put candy in a safe? To keep Bridget's fucking hands out of it. I don't want that. We don't touch your candy. You're a liar. She always dealing my candy. You want to go buy her candy. You want to come down? No, because you're going to take it from me. No. I'll be back. What? Okay! Stop! Dad, stop it! Dad, you're fucking candy. I just threw it at you. I got pulled back. Oh, yeah. We never said anything about that yet. We will. I'm eating Reese's. Boy, do we got a story for you. That'll be in a little bit. Jesus Christ, Dad. Thank you. We're coming to doing nothing. You can't talk with your mouthful? Yeah, I had nothing to say. I'm going to test for you to your God. Well, if you haven't seen it, the video's up by now. Click the link below. Grandpa's unsafe meltdown. I'm going to call it that because you destroyed the safe. That was unsafe. So. Oh, man. Dad just destroyed the safe and he cut it with the, with the freaking, whatever that thing is, the saw. And you took everything to it, didn't you? Yep. Well, anyways, uh, we're still shipping out wristbands. Oh, let, yeah, you're right, we are. What were you about to say? I am being overwhelmed with order for fish. Fish, fish bands? Wristbands. Wristbands. I'm reading every letter and I'm drawing every picture. It's taking me some time, so be patient. I promise you. And they're coming. Be patient. You're going to get them. And I'm making another batch out this uh, Tuesday, and then I'm making another batch out Friday, and then I should be all caught up. Well, a lot of people are writing me, showing me that they got theirs. Yeah, I know. They look good on them, too, don't they? Yeah! Yeah, they do. Grandpa's Army! Grandpa's Army! You helping me clean? No, like you always never help me. I didn't destroy this thing. You know, you did my bad ass shoulder too, and you weren't even helping. Here, give it to me. I'll take it. No! Dad, I'll take it. I want to hurt. You want to hurt? Yes, yeah, so I can think of your fat ass. What are you, emo now? Hey, Dad. Get out of my way. Break my goddamn thing like that. I didn't do anything. It wouldn't have broke if you hadn't broke the damn key. Well, how come you couldn't get into it then? I could have, we could have fixed it. But no, not you. 
Why out. Where do you keep that saw at? None of your business. You don't even need to know. I'm gonna find out right now. Oh, damn it! So, you're probably right about that. So, oh man, that was crazy. So anyway. Look at the mess. You got a broom? I'm gonna sweep my stuff. When'd you do this? Rub all my pants. It looks good. Hey, when you give me a bed, man? Be a surprise. So I, I still got to on the floor. Maybe for the next three months. You mean right? Yes, we. You know you made the biggest goddamn mess. You did this. Would you mind not cracking it in there? Man, this is enough. You're cracking all in my living room. I'm sorry. I think you did that when you took the box through. Big ass, big footed bitch. You did this. How would I, why would I destroy my own house? Hey, Hannah. Oh, how you doing? Whoa! <laughs> Are you there? You just woke up, didn't you? Well, sitting here with Hannah, the dirt house. Dad's over there mopping. <laughs> you regret it? Okay. You regret destroying your little box yet? Yeah. No, I couldn't get in some of it. I ain't no damn Mr. Fix It Man! What does that even mean? Now I gotta work put my. I'm glad Bridget ain't here. Why? Because she'd be touching my goddamn candy right now. Don't you take her none either. She doesn't want any of your candy. She's a candy thief! Freak, thief! Freak! I don't Candy freak! Candy freak! Would you do that goddamn thing off me? Alright, Dad, so tell them the story about last night. Last night I went to Italian. And they got some tables and chairs outside. So I went inside, ordered, and I came sit outside. And I was, after I ordered, I was talking, I, I was texting. So I went to see my order was ready, it was ready, so I left my, set my phone on the table. I went inside, got my food, and without thinking, I went and got my van. I got ready and left. I got about to the end of the driveway, oh shit, my phone. So I turned around, come back, and my phone wasn't on the table no more. So I jumped out of my van, this fella come from outside. He said, that was your phone, right? I said, yeah. He said, well, there was a couple, a, with a, a pregnant woman and a guy pushing a baby, and he picked your phone up, and my little girl told me about it, and I told him, I said, that's not your phone. He told me to go fuck myself. He said, but well, they went towards Kmart. So I went into Kmart, and sure enough, there was a woman with a stroller, pregnant, and a guy. I asked the guy, I said, oh, can I have my phone back? He said, I don't have your phone. I said, no, you were ID'd that you're the one who took my phone off that table. He said, I ain't got your fucking phone. I said, man, just give him a phone, man. I said, just give him a phone, I'll walk away. He said, I don't have your phone, fat fuck. I said, look here, man, just give my phone. I tell you what, I'll give you twenty dollars finders fee for getting me. Just give me my phone. He said, man, I'm gonna beat your ass. I don't like being accused of shit. I said, who? I ain't gonna get no trouble. You know, people coming up, you know, I don't want no trouble. So I left. I got outside. I called Somerville police. This time they come out the door, and they're walking, and they're like leaving the property. Somerville police comes up, and I tell them, I said, officer, and this one, she wasn't even there for that. That also hadn't gotten there yet. I said, thank you for coming so quick. She said, what are you talking about? So I told her, where are they? I said, that's them walking right over there. 
So she pulled up behind them, pulled them over, and they started giving her lip. Um, she, another police would come up, they pulled, they jerked the man, put him on the side of the car. Sure enough, my phone was in his pocket. And he done threatened to beat my ass. He done, him and his girlfriend done threatened to hurt, bodily harm me. She said, well, he was real nasty with us too. What do you want to do? I said, well, I'm press charges. Somebody stole my phone, wouldn't give it back, then lied about it, then threatened me. I want to press charges. Some of them said, well, would you mind getting in the car? Just ID him. They went inside, talked to the fella. He went to, and he ID'd him as the one that took my phone. Well, the fella went to jail. Somerville, they helped me with, they, they showed me what the paperwork to fill out. They led me through it. I got my phone back. Would you mind pointing the thing at me, please? Hey! <laughs> the dog was being so cute, though. Anyway, I want to shout the, the, the Somerville police, fantastic job. They were professional. They were courteous. They got the job done. They led me through it. And they did everything that they were, they were trained to do. Somerville Police Department, I've dealt with North Charleston Police, City of Charleston Police, Hanahan Police, Charleston County Police, and now Somerville Police. And I put the Somerville Police Department as number one. Good job, guys. You helped our grandpa. You got his phone back that Michael gave me. And I appreciate it to that citizen who stood up and says, you're not going to steal this man's phone. Thank you to his little girl who poured everything out to the dad. Thank you, little girl. He, oh, by the way, he's military. He's Air Force. Go Air Force. Thank you. That's all I got to say about it. And there's now, and there's my phone. I'm happy. It looks like Hannah's happy, too. Yeah, Hannah's happy. I give her a bone. Hannah, give me a baby. Give me a Jordan. Give me a Jordan. I'm a girl. Give me a girl. Give a... I love my Hannah. Yes, I love my Hannah. Her's a good girl. Her daddy good girl. Yes, her is. Her is daddy good girl. Yes, her is. Okay, go get my coffee. Well, Grandpa's taking me home. Ah, oh, damn. Making a mess. Is that my fault? Yes, it was. How? Because if I take you home, I wouldn't spill the shit. Always caused me problems. You picked me up. You just showed up at the house and picked me and, oh, Michael, I need you. Because you wouldn't. And you were going to break my shit. You broke your own shit. Because you couldn't get it open. You broke the key off. You know, you're not much of a son. That was an accident. You're not much of a son. What did I do? You're not much of a son. Why is that? Could you let me break my shit? You broke your own shit. We could have probably fixed it with the key in there. I don't think so. No, I got no way to lock my, my candy up. You don't need to be locking candy up anyway. I, I do, because the British man should leave it off. Okay, Dad, I gotta film this dog over here. You see it? Damn dog just sitting there. Uh, that can't be safe. Dog, every day he is, save you, do what he's doing. I couldn't really film it well enough, but we were just driving by a truck, and there was this dog just like standing on like the, like the back of the, like, look, he had a toolbox in the back of his truck, and the dog was just standing on it. I didn't see any chains or rope or nothing. He was just doing it. Holy crap, is that safe? It's time for some word association. I'm not doing that shit, Mark. Okay, first word. I'm it, not doing it. Do the word association. I'm not doing it, Michael. Okay, first word is. What are you doing? I'm going out of goddamn window. Why? I don't want to do it. Okay, Jesus. What's going on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here. Bridget West here. Sick Bridget West is right there. She is sick. She's got a cold, which means I'm going to get a cold. Thank you. Now, what you do it to me? I'm taking every risk I can. I'm gonna take a page out of <sighs> I'm gonna take a page out of the Michael Jackson handbook and start wearing a medical mask around. This is that anyway. I've had some people asking me why I have to wipe off the lens like I do. It's they said is it a new camera? It's not a new camera. It is the humidity. You know, the humidity here during the summertime is crazy, so I come out and just <whistles> fogs right up. So anyway, today is Sunday. And I'm not doing anything. 
I'm gonna sleep and listen to music all, literally all day. And hug me because I don't feel good. But this is like a chore, and I didn't want to do chores. I'm not kissing you. I'm not getting sick. He'll kiss me off camera. I'm not gonna kiss you off camera. I don't want to get sick. So today I'm gonna answer some Twitter questions. We're gonna have to give the dogs a bath. That's gonna suck. And that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna do today. Answer Twitter questions, watch the dogs, listen to music. And that's it. Maybe watch the WrestleMania special on the NBC because I've yet to watch WrestleMania 30 because I was there. So I haven't watched it on TV yet. Of course, it's on the network, but I haven't really watched it. But anyway, that's my day. Let's get it started. Bridget's sick. Keep away from me. No. And that Yeah, I said yeah. <coughs> so I'm actually wearing my grandpa's army wristband right now. I like to wear it. It's, it's actually pretty comfortable. When Dad told me he was getting wristbands, I was like, I don't know about this. But here they are. I really like it. Now then, over a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, I can't remember, when Grandpa destroyed the microwave over Eric Garner, that day we decided to take down his weapon wall. Grandpa decided he didn't want to have it up anymore, and I don't know if anybody's noticed it, but the weapon wall was gone. This is before we did the Hey Jimmy Kimmel, I hopped on pop video, so the bed is still there in the video, and anyway, check this out. This is Grandpa removing his weapon wall. What are you doing? Well... I got them four grandboys. Uh-huh. And I'm afraid they're gonna play with this, so I'm gonna move it. Where are you gonna move it to? Uh, I figured they don't go in my room, so I'm gonna start me a, a, a wall of weapons in my room. Sure. Oh. I had to I had to sneeze. Bless you. You almost got hit. Because of a sneeze? I got scared. That's what I got last week. Get your hands out there! Sure. Come on, man. I, I got some sneezes. Look at her. She wants to play with hit him. Hit him. Bust him in the head. No. no. Anyway, I'll take them all down. When the next week, I'm going to put them all up in my room. You help me? Yeah. Okay. Now go home. I won't play that game. You want to take it to the room now? Or are you going to put it up now or later? Uh, I'll put it up later. Let me take the room. I'll, gra I'll grab some stuff. Get your head off my shit! I was going to help you. I don't want your help. This is all my shit. Your attitude is getting increasingly worse. Maybe they didn't increase my- Oh, God damn! You close it on your finger? Mm -hmm. Damn. Now you want some help? No. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, they went off! Right. Come on, dude. Do it! This is gonna get down. That thing is the most- Okay! Hey, Dad. What? Batter up! Cut your head off. Don't do that. Oh, um, I told you I touch my tools. I was helping you. We done. Go home. Hey, Hannah. Aww. Oh, you're so cute. Hannah, Hannah, burger help. Hey, get away my dog. I really want to take her home. Get away my dog. That's my dog. Come here. That's my dog. Ain't you, baby? You know, this dog has really made me happy. Grandma's Good. a little angel. She is my angel. Oh. All right, give the leash. We we'll take her home with us. What are you going to do? Take her home with us. Come on, Hannah. God damn, that's going to happen. Come on, Bridget. <sighs> Get her quick! I'm trying! Sorry, Dad. Hannah's ours. Oh, God damn. I'm still going to goddamn these guys. Oh, fuck. Come on, get her. Come on, girl. Oh! We're out of here with Hannah. Come on, damn dog. We're just taking her for a walk. Well, you better. Ooh! That part's stuck. Oh, no shit. Or all shit. Ooh. My stomach's gonna hurt. Well, Mike, I'm glad you come over to see me today. I appreciate, appreciate everything. Wow. Okay, it is time for some Twitter Q&A. So, I'm going to look at your questions on Twitter and I'm going to answer them. I guess that would was defined when I said Twitter Q&A, wasn't it? When I said I'm doing Twitter Q&A, you knew immediately what I meant? Duh. 
Aren't you sick? Go back to bed. So. Drew says, are you still rapping? Please answer. I love your music. Love to you, Bridget and AGP from India. I'm a psychopath running with a knife and bag Stucking in the gutters with the white Michael Myers mask Killing little girls at night and grab a shopping bag Don't grab a face, apply the gag and drag her to the woods to stab Should've took a nap and said you met a dude who had a sucker in his pocket That you wanted and you tried to grab Then a snatch, put your little ass into a bag Tie the top of rope I had behind the tires for it flat Stop talking back, bitch, I think I'm gonna smack you in the mouth Before I smash your skull into the fucking dash uh, yes, I do still rap. I don't record it really much of the time. I just write a bunch of lyrics all the time and save them. Because, you know, uh, sometimes I don't have the time to record them, but I like to write. So I just write I just write lyrics sometimes. Sometimes they're a little fucked up like that one was. I, I write a lot of fucked up lyrics. But, it's you know, it's just something that I do. So I write, I write crazy lyrics. I write shitty lyrics. I write, love song for me. No. I thought you loved me. Caitlin asks, what is your favorite System of a Down song slash album? That is probably an impossible question for me to answer. Um, I don't know that I have a favorite anything from System of a Down because they're my favorite band. Uh, System of a Down and Death Cab for Cutie are my favorite bands, and I don't have favorites from them. Now, if I were to choose an era of System of a Down songs that I like less, I would choose the Mesmerize and Hypnotize CDs, and that's probably going to be blasphemy to you because I see you have Darren as your avatar, but...
What's going on you guys? Bridget West here and I told Michael I was gonna like clean the yard and um, I found a rat, a dead rat and he is so freaking scared of rats. Now, the rats aren't our fault. We live really close to the woods and apparently we found this out when we moved in that rats love woods. And I also heard that towards the fall, rats come close to the house. So Michael's probably gonna wanna move, but we're not. I don't wanna do this by the way, but it's gotta get done. <sighs> I managed to do it with a little help with that and um i told my breath it stinks so bad oh god oh nothing just just chilling. God, there's some trash in the yard, man. I think there was some stuff left over from the 4th of July. Oh, there was. Dad's bitching at me because of the bed. He, I know he likes it. Yeah. Please don't, I swear, I'll flip this puppy. I'll flip it, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please, that's what do you need from me? What do you need? <laughs> I want lots of love. What does that mean? I don't know. I just want more affection. Well, okay, first things first, there is some extra footage left over from the video, which you can see below, by the way, uh, the Grandpa's New Bed video that I was talking about yesterday. The link is below. Here's some extra footage that I didn't use for it. Okay, here is Dad's bed. Where are we going to put this? In the middle or in the pillow? Um, what do you think? Just sit in the middle, see how it looks. I like it. Yeah, it matches. Well, Dad, hope you're happy. I know he will be. I mean, this is a nice bed. Yeah, he'll be happy. Oh, yeah. So, this is Grandpa's new bed. Lay down. God damn, I need a ladder to get out. Here. I'll get in there! Help me out! Hold on, I'll get you the ladder you need. No! Ah, oh, yeah! On my back! Oh my back! Oh, my, my back! I thought you said you needed a ladder. My back! Oh, God! Now that I want my back, I gotta get a ladder! I need one of them steps to put up next to me. Here! Look! Fuck you! I need one of those steps. What are you doing? What do you think? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh God. You just farted in my face. My foot hurts. 
and you wear it on my butt. I'm gonna try you, fat fuck. If you didn't want to cook, if you didn't want a queen, why did you say you wanted a queen? Get out of here. He likes it, obviously. Get out of here. Better. What? Get out of here! You look at that face. Get out of here! Get out of here if I kill you! Take your goddamn bitch with you, get out! Get out! If you say thank you, I'll go. I ain't saying thank you, I don't beat a shit. You need to. You, you want to put this back in your closet? Yeah. Michael, don't do it. I'm not. What are you doing? Pop, pop, pop! Come on, bad boy! <laughs> Now then, you might be wondering why I'm terrified of rats. And I Michael, thought I got you back. Just wait, dude. Oh, oh I've honey. had a prank planned for you and it's honey, coming. You just wait. That was just a little prank. So, I got a little one for you. So What is it, your dick? I'm cutting that out of the vlog. Oh my god, I'm just joking. You got a big dick. So let's not talk about this. Okay. So anyway, the reason I'm terrified of rats, I figure being that it's Throwback Thursday, I can tell the story. Around 2005, we lived in this house, and I knew there were rats. Uh, I brought a girlfriend of mine over, and we were sitting in my room. I lived in the garage at the time, and you could listen, you could hear it from the roof. It was loud, it echoed. We all knew something was up there. And then we started to see sightings. The first sign of an infestation is sighting. So the first time I saw, I was watching The Sopranos. I'm just sitting there, we just got an HBO, I'm like channel surfing, yeah. Two o'clock in the morning, ran by me. <gasps> I stayed in position for 10 minutes, I didn't move. I'm like, holy fuck, we got rats. No, I didn't say rats, we got fucking mice. I was scared. And a little, little here and there, we'd see them, I'd be terrified every time. And then, it was about 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, I was on the computer. And at the time, and I don't know why I'm saying this because it's not necessary to the story, I just want you to get a picture. The computer monitor we had, we had at the time was the size of a TV. It was like a fucking 64 inch computer monitor. And it was one of those, it was weird, like the screen would go green sometimes, you have to press down on it and you could see again. It was a piece of shit. So I'm sitting there on the computer, I'm talking, next thing I hear. And I look across the room, and I see that the living room blinds are moving back and forth. I'm like, oh fuck, there's one messing with the blinds right now. And then, the motherfucker starts crawling up the blinds, and he's standing there, and then leaps off. And this thing was the size of one of dad's shoes. It was gigantic, and that's not including the tail, it was three times the size of the one that was there. It was like a fucking sewer rat. I wouldn't be surprised if that rat grew up to become Splinter on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This thing was enormous. I was terrified, I screamed, and I ran out the door, and I ran up the street. Woke everybody in the house up. Good day, Michael! I see lights in the neighborhood coming on, people are starting to wake up, but I'm terrified. I'm genuinely afraid of rats. We're living with them, I'm seeing them now, they're crawling up the blinds, they're scaling the fucking house. Screw that. Then it climbs up the fireplace and goes behind the pictures that we had, and one of the pictures falls off and breaks. It was terrifying. So dad wakes up. Get your goddamn rat, Michael Jesus fucking Christ. He grabs a broom. He opens up one of the kitchen cabinets where we heard it, opens it up, and this rat, shh, dad, shit his pants. Literally. Dad was in the living room. <laughs> The whole house stunk like shit. Dad shit his pants. He denies it to this day. I wasn't scared of no rat. You scared? You were scared shitless. You shit your pants. There was shit on the kitchen floor. Oh, Dad's, Dad's like, God damn, who shit on the floor? You. You shit on the floor. So, 
That's why I'm scared of rats, because we lived with them. And those things are dangerous, scary, and terrifying. Happy Throwback Thursday. What's going on, you guys? Keep behind a camera here. Bridget, where's here? She's inside. Oh, I heard her yelling. I don't know if you could hear that. So, here we are. Saturday. Huh. It's a good Saturday. Dad right now has pink eye. So I am not going over to Dad's house today because I'm not getting pink eye. However, we are considering making homemade cookies and cake today and taking them to Dad saying, Get well soon, angry grandpa. Get rid of your pink eye. So... This will be the first time Bridget has ever made homemade stuff. You, I was like, let's make Dad a cake. And she's like, okay. And she goes to the kitchen and grabs like a boxed cake mix. Like, no thank you. We're going to do flour and milk and eggs. And so we got the stuff. So we're going to bake Dad a get well soon cake. Yeah. And I might just leave him like top of his van and speed off. Hopefully he finds it. Cookies. Not really. I'm not going to leave him top of the van. So get well soon, Dad. I tried to call him. I couldn't tell if he was faking it or not. I called him. Oh, what? You don't, you don't sound like that when you get pink eye. Maybe you do. I haven't had pink eye in a long time. So anyway, it is Saturday. Raining. I love sitting out here in the rain. It's beautiful. So it's raining. It's Saturday. Grandpa has pink eye, and we're gonna make him some cake and cookies, homemade. So Bridget is just sitting here watching the vlog from last night while the cat. Is just I'm a fan of you. Well, the cat is just sitting there Salt chewing on Bridget. <laughs> it's, it's really cute. You should see this. Sausage Look at that, Bill. You see all the stuff? <coughs> so we're getting all the stuff together to make our cake with. Or Grandpa's cake with. So, this is a lot of stuff. You'll see it as we go. We'll be telling you what's what. What goes in what? This is our first time baking a homemade cake, so this could be horrible. So first, we just added two sticks of butter to this bowl. And now we're going to add half of a cup of shortening. You should try that. It tastes like basic vanilla buttercream frosting. Really? Mm-hmm. Get a big glob. What the fuck, Michael? That's just vegetable shortening. <laughs> This is my grandma's favorite white cake recipe. Well, let's hope we don't ruin her favorite cake. I know. Now you slowly add three cups of sugar. Here going. Next up is five eggs, one at a time, slowly, making sure each one is absorbed before adding another egg. <laughs> I was just sort of dancing around. The dance of the egg yolk. And we just added the fifth egg, and we're letting it mix together now. So we would do I really don't know if it's supposed to be spinning like this, but if it does, it does. So we're gonna leave that alone for right now. Now we're gonna add three cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. Better make sure this is exact. This right here is a half, so we're gonna do four of them. So this is a half teaspoon. So four of those and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Now she's gonna sift that together. So just sort of mix it around. Okay, the next step, half of a cup whole milk. Now half a cup buttermilk. I love buttermilk. Ew. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're doing the half again, so this is four of those. All right. Now here comes the fun part. What? First, we turn this on. 
I can't wait. Okay, start off. Now let it do its thing. Put that bowl down. Oh, okay, this is the part. Yeah. The, the harder part. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you can pour a little bit of the flour mix in, then a little bit of the water, or then a little bit of the buttermilk, milk, vanilla extract, then flour, then milk, then flour, then milk, and you're gonna finish off on flour. Okay, add a little that. And we're just gonna keep doing this until it's all in there. You gotta taste it. Is it good? Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay, it's gotta go in these now. Spread them evenly across the three. I'm surprised it's so white. I know, right? Like I wanted the we we It's a white cake recipe, but we didn't add egg whites, we added the eggs. So I thought it was gonna be like, you know, a yellow cake. All right, we preheated the oven to 350. Now it's time to put them in. Now it says to bake for about 30 minutes or until you stick a toothpick in it and it comes out clean. So I'm just showing the shot of the cake as they bake. They look and they smell so good. This is looking good, Bridget. Oh yeah. Bella wants some of that mess. So we just took the cakes out of the oven. Bridget's over there cleaning up everything. We're gonna let these sit because we're not putting no icing on these yet. We are going to first let them sit. Then we're gonna take them out of these and then we are cutting off the top. That's right. We cut them because we layering the layering. <laughs> and we're gonna layer the cake. Now then we need to cut off this part so it's flat. So now we're making the frosting. So that is a half cup butter. Okay, so four and a half cups of confectioner sugar, which is powdered sugar. This doesn't need to be exact, so just pour it in. So this is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, one fourth a cup of 2% milk. Okay, now there's butter, milk, sugar, vanilla extract. And so now we need to get a little hand mixer and mix this buttercream frosting up. Oh my god, that tastes so good. It's fucking frosting, bro. This is the first time we've ever done this before, but here we go. By the way, he's icing because I am truly the worst icer ever. Not that I'm better, but. Oh, no, 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 honey. Mine, my, I made a cake one time and it looked like scrambled eggs on the top. I remember that. Yeah. Listen, you try to ice it too early. No, I didn't. Yeah, you do. Bridget takes it out and starts icing and starts melting and shit. <laughs> Shut up. Oh man, I'll take a little piece. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. Oh, okay. How's that look? Really good. Hold this. Hold I'm getting a fork. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Okay. Here we go. It's good. Alright, Dad. You weren't feeling too well. Baked your cake. What are you, Betty Crocker now? Get well cake. I baked it for the most part. I'm baking cock hard. Betty what? Cock hard. <laughs> oh God. Turn it all down. Is it clean? It's clean enough. Michael, look at all the edges. Well, you brought me a get well cake. Where's the other half? We gave half it to Bridget's mom. Is she sick? No. What the fuck you give my cake for? You wouldn't have eaten. Cause it was homemade. You know what it looks like, Dad? Why do you? Why are you gonna go perverse? Perversive. Looks like cake. Man, I don't know if Dad owns a spoon. 
What's wrong with it? First place, the sugar is still gritty. It's powdered sugar. No, that ain't powdered. That's grit. It's powdered sugar. That is powdered sugar. Watch the video later. Dad has just embarrassed himself because it can't be gritty. Hey, it's gritty. That's how it's supposed to be. It is powdered sugar. It ain't gritty. You're lying now. It's sweet. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, take a bite. Okay. I don't give you that big piece. It's just a couple of layers. Are you gonna feed me like a goddamn baby now? I was thinking about it. Oh, bad wiper, Chunky. Man, I'm sick of Dad's insults. Oh, he's just mad because he can't bake like that. I lose my breath, but I'm dry. No, it's not. I was thinking it might have been a little dry as well. It it's is dry. not dry. It's a little dry. I think we overcooked it a little. A little dry. Wait a minute. Dad's got pink eye. I'm not eating none of this after him. Oh, God, that's right. Oh, that's dry shit. Really? Is it dry or not? It was dry. We overcooked it. It wasn't dry though. Now, would you enjoy your get well cake or not? <laughs> Take it all. Maybe it's better if like you cut it. Maybe it might be better if you go start over. <laughs> it's a good cake. Eat the cake. It's dry. I can't eat dry cake. It's not dry. It's like snaggle tooth. <laughs> you can't go that. that ain't funny. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm actually choking. Dad. <laughs> uh, I'll kill aside. That's the worst goddamn cake I ever tasted in my fucking life. You are such a liar. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't eat that shit. <laughs> Take it home. God. And, and, how about. Clean the motherfucker next time, man. Maybe it was just a bite you had. I ain't gonna try that bite now. Cut him a bite from the middle. Yeah. Look at me. Look, I got this sugar, got him hard moderate for a year. There you go. This will be a better bite. Just as fucking dry. No, it's not. I... Well, Dad hates the cake. That sucks. <laughs> Take well, it home. Well, you get used to it. This is your new friend. We're leaving it here. Yes. Oh, no, you're leaving yes, that motherfucker here. Are. We're leaving the whole thing here. That's the whole... That motherfucker's sucking up all the air in the goddamn house now. <laughs> that motherfucker's sucking dry in Park Cave, Arizona. Take off your glasses. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is what he did. This is what he did. This <laughs> you lying, sack of shit. He's, Look. <laughs> Look. He's lying. I am not lying. Look. Turn on the light, Bridget. Ew. He's lying. No, he's not lying. I don't know. I'm saying I'm getting the fuck out of here. Look at this eye. You always want to hug me when you leave. The I have video. sanitizer in my car, Michael. You miss your kitchen chair? We don't talk about that no more. You I, me I haven't uploaded that video yet. Oh. Well, the other day while I was at Dad's, uh, I decided to break his kitchen chair because he called me fat. And I did. I guess you're right, I do gotta lose weight. Let me get up. Ooh, you fat fuck! No! Put that thing down! Ah! Michael! Uh, okay, just promise me you'll eat the cake. Alright, I promise I will eat the cake. Every bite. Every bite. Now, can you mind leaving? Alright, I'll go. I'm waiting out in front of dad's house because he says he's eating the cake and I'm like a hundred percent sure he's gonna throw it out What baby? What are you doing here? What the hell? You didn't even throw it in the trash can? Oh. Uh, Mike, it's not my hand. I come out here to eat a piece of fortune. Fell out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were leaving. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we might as well take a cake sandwich. You? <laughs> oh, you left a little bit. You can have that cake if you're uh, gonna... you want to. Drink that with your, eat that with your coffee. Was it that bad? Michael. I'd really eat dog shit.
but I, I couldn't help but fall out of my hand. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Pretty much here. Pretty much there, and angry grandpa there. Just sitting here with dad. We just finished mailbag m m m Tuesday. Monday! It's Tuesday. We always announce it. Mailbag Monday. Just because it's Tuesday, we're still calling it Mailbag Monday. Yes, I know. Oh, God. I'm not saying it's it's not Mailbag Monday. You're right. It's Mailbag Monday. You got it right. All right. Calm down. You were stupid. Win the liquor. So I see you have the Paul Heyman DVD. Have you watched it? Oh, my God. Yes. He is so awesome. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Something warm ran down my leg when watching it, man. It just is amazing. I don't even have a copy yet because I ordered it on Amazon and it said it can take up to a month. I gave Phil's money with the Kmart won't ride out with it. I haven't even seen this yet. Get your hands off my damn. I want to look at it. No! I've watched the documentary portion, but not the special features. You know! I want to see what it looks no! like. No! Okay, take the disc out. No! That's my copy! You. Tell Paul to send me a copy. I wouldn't sign it. That's pretty cool. He is so awesome. He was like so fantastic on Raw last night. Oh, he rapped. Nobody can outdo Paul when it comes to a microphone. I don't give a damn who they are. It's true. And that Hulk Hogan, who gives a fuck? Bring out old goddamn, that, what, a fucking orange door? Hulk Hogan, who gives a shit what you turn? They were fucking idiots to bring you back to WWE to start with. They, you, know, you know what I think about you, goddamn Hulk Hogan? <laughs> That was for you, Hogan! <laughs> oh! Princess immediately got up. Jesus fucking Christ! I'll be outside. That was for Hulk Hogan! God! Oh yeah, that stinks. That's the stink I got to move my way on. So what was what you taught you called me the other day? Dad called me to tell me he farted so bad that it gagged him. And then he got off the phone. I just moved out of my chair, didn't I? Let's Damn, I hate that Japanese cup got broke. <laughs> yeah, somebody sent Grandpa a Japan cup. It had it was a white mug with the the rising sun on it, and it got broken through the mail, and it sucks. It I didn't broken. break. I didn't break that one. I didn't say you did. You're accusing me. I was not accusing you of that. I was just saying it was broken. I would never break nothing a fan sent me. I didn't say. I don't you. appreciate you accusing me. I didn't say it. you did. You did. You just did. Did. I'm tired of you accusing me of shit. Are you done so you can leave? Yeah, I'm going to take this with me. I'll be going down here. You ain't getting it on. Put the motherfucker right now. Now. Neither why I take a Paul away from me. Look at that boy. Look at that Japanese right That says. Oh my god. I'm going to cut your dick off, Michael. YouTube Bridges. Is that what that really says? Yeah. You can literally kill us right now. Hey, Dad can kill us all with it. Bridget, come here, my pretty. Stop. Come here. You don't like that one? Hacha! Don't play around with that thing. So in a few minutes, Dad is going to give me a bloody nerve. What do you think about that? Yeah. Can I do it for real? No. Please. So the thing is, you're gonna have to shut that door because I'm gonna have to get Bridget behind the camera, and she can't because obviously I have fake blood on my face. So anyway, in a few minutes, it's uh, we gotta figure out how this is gonna work, but it'll work. How about, you, how about you just let me cut your nose? Maybe that's another video. Why don't we put that down? All right. Me and Dad are gonna play paper rock scissors. Hey, wait. Did you just ask how you play paper rock scissors? I don't know what you oh my this? god. I really don't. I forgot. Yeah, I don't know. Are you Wait, joking? You're just a liar. Paper, rock, scissors. You came up with pa rock, paper, or scissors. Here, come up with one of those. Paper, rock, scissors. I covered you. I win. I beat that. Paper, rock, scissors. I beat him again. Are you just going to keep doing rock? All right. Paper, rock, scissors. I beat that again. Paper, rock, scissors. I win again! I dare you, Gamer! Ah! Hey! Hey! Ah! Yeah, you got me! Hey! You 
hitting my fucking oh, boyfriend. I'll hit your boyfriend, you goddamn boyfriend. Michael, what the fuck? He, it felt like he pressed my brain up into my nose. I'll do it again. Ah, God. How that feels? It feels bad. Michael? Michael! What the fuck? Don't you bring my tub! I'm choking her blood. Don't Help! you bring my tub! Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> bitch! Michael! Stop! I'm joking! What? It's a joke! You've been pranked! But that ain't your prank. Oh no, that, that's why I was in my fucking prank. Oh. You're stuck, bitch! You pulled my goddamn shoulder out, you fat bro! Would you help me up? Fuck you! Help! I can't stuck in this thing! Good! Oh shit! Hey, uh, For real? Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? That was really funny. That was funny. <sighs> you got pranked! But not the big one, not the big one. Oh no, that's obviously the big one. Well, Dad, thank you for breaking my nose. Tricking Bridget. Yeah. We, we literally planned that, Bridget, like, while you were using the bathroom. <sighs> yeah, that was good. Screw you guys. You, you, you wait. You wait. Dude, trust me, you wait. Trust me, you wait. You too, Grandpa. The prank that I planned for Bridget... <sighs> I'm out. I don't know what's going to be worse, that fart or the prank we got planned for Bridget. The, the prank we got planned for Bridget. I just need the fart because it's not happening to me. I can't hint what it is. I can't hint when it's going to happen because she'll be prepared. It's going to be good. It's coming. It's coming. We're getting... Woohoo! Good lord! I'll tell you, boy, that rotten. Something crawled up my ass and died! Yes, it certainly did. You ready to go home now? In a few minutes. I'm ready for you to go right now. I thought we worked as a team. We do. Team's over. We're time to go. You're getting pranked too, you know. So are you. You got nothing. Wait. I got, some, I got a plan for you. He is that's coming. He? You have something planned with somebody? No. I wouldn't do that. Tell people to get their armbands. Be part of AGP's army. Oh, it stinks in here. Smell your upper lip. I ain't had supper yet. Home. What you buy me? What you want? On my chair. You asked what you want for dinner. I want my chair back. You want some Chinese? You want me a chair. I'm not, I don't know where to get this chair. I looked. You know, goddamn shrimp fried rice does sound good. I got stuck eating old goddamn bologna sandwiches for a while. Eat some shrimp fried rice. I love shrimp fried rice. Get her, girl. Get her, girl. Get him, girl. What are you trying to use Hannah to scare us off? Get him, girl. Come on. Get him. Get him, Hannah. What are you doing? Hannah's making sure you get the hell out of here. Hannah's not gonna do nothing. Get him, Hannah. Get him. Get him, Hannah. Bye bye, Hannah. Leave your hands off my dog. She loves me. Get your hands off my dog. Later, Pop. Bye, Michael. I get a hug. Oh, God. I'm... Oh, no, don't kiss me. Don't kiss me. Oh, my God. Later, Pop. Goodbye. Love you, Pop. Keep that witch home. Leaving Dad's house right now. So, prank Bridget into thinking Grandpa broke my nose. That was bullshit. That was good. I didn't record it, but I apologize for nudging Grandpa. Nudged him? You nudged him? I nudged him. I thought he hurt you. So anyway, we are on our way home now. Monday mailbag was cool. Tuesday mailbag, I mean. Tuesday mailbag. And I guess Dad was trying to sick hand on me. That dog would lick me to death. I get that from Mom. Yeah, I'd probably lick you to death. <laughs> so anyway. We'll be back in a few minutes going home. Hey, Felix. How you doing? Huh? I can't tell. Well, that's going to be it for today, you guys. We did Tuesday mailbag today. Pranked Bridget and I think Grandpa broke my nose. That was good. Good day. Uh, still got my cold. Uh, I've been coughing a lot. Uh, my throat doesn't hurt as bad, so recovering. I'm thinking about tomorrow shaving all this off. I got weigh-in Wednesday tomorrow, so that's exciting. And I'm thinking after I do the weigh-in, getting rid of this. What do you guys think? If you think I should shave all this off, including the unibrow, click like.
and I'll do it. I'll shave it. In fact, I'll have Bridget do it. I'll have Bridget shave me, and that's painful. She always drags it into my skull, and anyway, click like if you want that to happen. And that's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. As always, you know, thanks for the support. Like, subscribe, kitty. Cat was going around my feet. Oh, yeah. Felix is awesome. I work some pretty hectic hours, so I'll be up late. And Felix will just be right there watching TV with me. <laughs> just having fun. So, me and Felix are hanging out. And that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. This is the second time I've said this. Bridget is asleep. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. So, night, Bridget. You can hear me down here. So, like, subscribe. I was waiting to see if she screamed favorite. She's been asleep for hours. I didn't think she would. Favorite. And that's it. What's going on, you guys? Okay, behind the camera here, Bridget was here. She stole, did you hear that? Hmm? She hear it, she stole my intro. And your Paul there. I don't pay no attention. What would it be like if Dad does it? Dad, hold the camera and say what's going on, you guys. Keep behind the camera here. Hey, you guys! Hey, get behind the camera here! Get that out of your mouth. I don't <laughs> smoke. <laughs> get behind the camera here! Damn, I'm a good looking man. You look good, boy. You just wish. You just wish. Here, take your take the camera. Grandpa here, and I had to. I gotta watch my blink because I took a shit in it last night. <laughs> look at this, Dad. Jacob put a uh, the grandpa sticker on the Ravens hat. Did it really? I mean, it looks good too. Angry Grandpa Ravens. That really looks good. I know. We're taking over other people's merchandise now. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Look at me. You five. I got two in hand. You. you want me in the video, Jimmy? Yeah. You want to hold the camera? Yeah. There you go. Hi. Jimmy, get the camera and say, keep behind the camera, yeah? Hi. Talk, go ahead. I'm behind the camera here. Hold it. Hold it. Film, go film Je Jelly. Jelly, Kai. 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 They can't see it. Her? This is where it's filmed. What behind it? Right here. Wanna show me car? Car. Car. Whoa, what is this thing? Did you <laughs> fart at the same time I said that? <laughs> <laughs> you hear grandpa fart? <laughs> Dad? I had a gas attack! <laughs> Who are you? Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fart like that. <laughs> See, you doing it, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you a good looking boy! You a good looking boy! You look like, you look like your Uncle Michael. <laughs> you know, wasn't that the mask one of the kids was wearing on the Halloween video? I don't take my mask off for nobody! <laughs> well, what's up? Plenty of shit. I don't know what this crap. You gonna take me with. You know, you look just like me, you know. I can see the resemblance. Wait a minute, that means I'm insulting myself because you're wearing a mask. You look like the mask. <laughs> I don't agree. You look worse. <laughs> we'll see if Hannah recognizes you. Hannah! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh. Give me a baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Look what somebody sent you. You want that? Uh, you want your. Somebody sent that? Yeah. Oh, snatch it out of my hand. Bird, bird. Well, a bird is a word. Well, a bird, bird, bird. Say a bird is a word. Well, a bird. A bird. A bird's a bird. Well, I don't want you. I heard about the bird. What well, everybody talking all about the bird? What do you want? Oh, have you heard? Have I heard what? The bird? Yeah, I've heard the bird. Oh, you, you know the joke. No. Well, have you heard? Heard what? The bird is the word. The bird. The bird. Bird is the word. Hey. The bird. Bird. Bird is the word. What's the reason? 
I don't know. Put the birds in season. Well, that didn't seem necessary. Huh? Seemed necessary to me. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. Guess they, why? Oh, by the way, they moved yesterday. Who? My bowels. Oh. Is that what this is becoming? A battle of... <laughs> I'm out. I'm already out the game. A battle of the one-liners? I got nothing left. Oh, by the way, Michael, they got back together last week. Who? The Chiefs Bridges ass. Ugh. <laughs> huh? Gross. What? You're dumb. You don't, you're blonde. Did you hear that new Marine ca uh, cadence now they do when they are uh, out doing their jogging every morning now? What? About Sergeant Smith. What? Yo, yo, Sergeant Smith is turning green, honey, honey. Sergeant Smith is turning green, babe. Babe, Sergeant Smith is turning green. Somebody pissed in his canteen. <laughs> what the hell? Somebody catch that bird. Why? Can you tell that goddamn birds that start chirping all over the house? You're not even cooking nothing. I don't get why they're going off. Can I make me a pot of coffee? It's probably getting the... Maybe there's a ghost in here. Probably. You bring your ghost with you! For that damn box you listen to? Yeah, I did. Oh my god! Yeah, I did. <coughs> it ain't right. If there's a ghost in here with Anchor Grandpa, reveal yourself to us right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Michael, we gotta go. We gotta go. What'd you bring in my house? I'm scared. I did bring a poltergeist tracker. Let's get out of here, Bridget. Well, y'all ain't leaving me with the goddamn thing! Sorry. Hell no! It's been haunting us for weeks. You're not pretty good. You're leaving, Jay. You're you? No, no. I'm serious. No, it's fine. Well, guys stay here. Hannah, did you, did you see a ghost in here with Dad? Hannah, you better not see nothing. Wait, what? Hannah, jump around if you see a ghost. <laughs> All right now, Michael. You need to stop. I'm getting scared. Poltergeist moved something blue. Poltergeist got me deal. Okay. I right, goddamn had it. Get out of my house oh my now, Michael. God. Dad, that wasn't me. Get out of my goddamn house, Michael. That wasn't me. Oh my God, time. you put him on God. My God. I look like him. What? Do I look like him. A little bit. So do you believe in ghosts? I've seen your grandmama. Oh, you liar. I've seen my daddy. When? In your dreams? No, I've seen them. They talk to me. Just wait until October. Well, I was on some bad dope too, man. <laughs> yeah, you're probably on an acid trip. I was on some bad weed, man. I've seen everybody. Johnny, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Do you do? Have you ever seen any? No. Nope. Well, look behind you and you might. Johnny, do you hear voices? Yes. What? What? Yes. What kind of voices? What kind of voices do you hear? Saying you're dead to me. Okay, this might be getting, we might need to call somebody. This might be getting more than I want to hear. Well, that we are leaving. Good. How does it feel that I'm leaving without having to have you throw me out? Good. That was weird. Some guy just rode by and, rode by and waved to you. Good. Is that all you're going to say? Good. That's good. You're not. Good. Why is your dog here all over you? Because I've got dogs. You can't do something about that? You know, you look ridiculous. Is it evident? It's very evident. Huh. Well, give me, well, give me your shirt. Give me my goddamn shirt. Yeah, you can have it. I'm just... Thanks, Dad. Bridget, can I have my shirt, please? Oh, you wanted to wear it. Hey, Bridget, get up here. Me and Dad are going to play paper, rock, scissors. No, we're not. You do. What's wrong with paper? Yeah, I'll play it again. I'll play with you again. Ready? Yeah. Paper, rock, scissors. <gasps> oh! Ow! Ready? You know you can do more than rock. You can either choose paper, rock, right. or scissors. All right. Ready? One of them. What is that? Paper. A scissors. I mean, it's a C. Scissors. <laughs> These are scissors. C for scissors. S First of all, scissors with an S. Scissors start with C. S. Scissors. You make the scissors. All right. Paper, rock, scissors. You know what that is? 
Ain't no fucking way you gonna win that motherfucker. <laughs> he blew away. <laughs> God damn. Paper, rock. <laughs> What's that? That's a goddamn rock. Give me hit your face. I ain't playing no more. All right. Hey, quit trying to break my chair, fat ass. Hey. You too, fat ass. Give Look who's talking. Give me your shirt off your back. No, not anymore. You ain't get my shirt. Leave my goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, you notice this just sitting here? What? You notice this bike just sitting here? No, I'm Steven. What? You never could ride a bike, could you? Yes, I can ride a bike. Who taught you? How you? I taught you how to swim. You taught me how to ride a bike by pushing me down a big ass hill, and I had to dodge and weave between a tree. I know, but I also taught you how to swim too. Never went to the lake. Yeah, you threw me in the water. Years. Yeah. Dad taught me how to swim by taking me and just throwing me in the water. That's the only way to learn. God. That's not the only way to learn. And what if he was drowning? I couldn't afford swimming lessons, I didn't tell teach as we all learned. That's the way I learned. My daddy took me and threw me in the water. Guess what? You that's the way you learn. I'm about to throw water in your face. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Get out of here. <laughs> Later, Pop. Bye, buddy. Bye. Love you, Bridget. Turn that goddamn camera off, Bridget. My tell her to turn it off. <laughs> Bridget, turn it off. Oh, God. Turn it off, Richard. Jesus fucking Christ. No wonder the plant's dying. Well, first things first, which was actually this morning, but I didn't record me saying, what's going on, you guys? Keep you on the camera here. So Richard I was here. Hey, man, I'm talking. <laughs> I did my weigh-in Wednesday, so let's go ahead and check in on that. So that was this morning. Now then, yesterday I told you guys, if you want to see Bridget cut my hair to click like, and you did. So, had to buy some clippers, cause Bridget threw away the old ones. So, new clippers, all of this is going. Beard, hair, unibrow. What's going on you guys? Bridget was to here, and um, I'm going to pink my go with Lysol. Except it's not really Lysol, it's water. Here we go. My haircut. Hey, what is that? This better not be the clippers you bought. This is like a trimmer. Hang on, let me just try it out. Ah! It hurts! No, I'm not using it. Oh. Well, this is it. I mean, I don't have any others. This, ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love you so much. I'm going to chuck this across the room. Michael, I have to Then I won't, I will walk away without, I won't do it then. All right, here's a real clipper. Come on. Just as bad. Ow! It's the same thing. Ow! Oh. No, Michael. So, Bridge is in the process of cutting my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's try this. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on <coughs> camera here. I'm trying to look like Chaz Bono. No, you look like that girl from Orange is the New Black. Oh. Her. Please get this going. Ah! <laughs> oh. Well, unless you want a nice little chunk there. Get it. And if you meet a chunk of my neck, I do want it there. <laughs> All right, close your eyes. I'm going to do it like Barbara and spray your face with water. Ooh, I'm at a barber shop. Yep. Stop! Wait! What? Stop! What, what is this? It's water. Stop, it stinks. What is this, <laughs> lemonade?
Are you spraying me with Lysol? <laughs> you need to take a shower. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop, dude! What is this? Wait, bleach it now! It's not bleach. It could hurt me! <laughs> what if this shit got into my- Oh! oh! My eyes! <laughs> okay, Michael, this is really, really making me sad. My eyes! It's not Lysol, it's just water with some lemon juice. Give it here! No, give it here! Not really, it's Lysol! Oh. Let's put the test. <laughs> no! No! What's in here? Water and lemon. My be what? Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's water. And lemon. Like, baby. Subscribe! Michael, you fucking asshole! Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all. Like. Hey, film me. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe, favorite. That's oh, oh God, it stinks. Whew. This thing, where the hell did you get this? It was sent to me to mail today. I ain't scared of it. No! You get got that it. thing away from me! You got it! Got me, bitch! I ain't scared of it! Take the batteries out! There's no batteries! There's no batteries! Oh, oh God, it's a chargeable one! Oh! It's powerful, too! Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay! What do you want? I love it! <laughs> I was trying- Dad was chasing me! Michael went down, boy. He busted his ass! I hit the chair, and then I slipped on the floor. Oh, Brady, you gotta take care of him now. Oh, I don't mind. Are we even? Are we even? Hell no! Come on, don't prank me. I get it, I pranked you. Oh my god, I got the way over here. It stinks, dude. Uh, as you probably know by now, I did not upload the video with Dad with the potato chips. Because this happened. So, I'm, I, I'll decide what I'm gonna do with that. I feel like I broke my knee. I might put it on my vlog tomorrow. Or I'll save it for Wednesday. We'll see. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Today was the cat. What is that? Huh. And then I got my own goddamn this. I'll clean it in I'm a minute. Losing, I'm losing my motherfucking lighter. Oh. Oh, your lighter's broke. You broke my lighter. You broke it. Off. You want me to go get you something to eat? Huh? You want me to go get you something to eat? Nah. What you think about a, uh... The old cheese food? Yeah, what about a Philly cheese thing? Yeah, I ain't worried about it. We gotta do Monday Mailbag. Huh? We gotta do Monday Mailbag. I know. Yeah, I couldn't let you do Monday Mailbag on an empty stomach. Yeah, well, I'm sick. I want you to do that. Just so you know, me and Brother Dad eat some. Yeah, I bet. We didn't. We didn't try. We didn't try any. Mad at me? I ain't talking to you no more. Oh yeah, you are. <coughs> you feed me cat food. You technically you fed yourself cat food. I told you from the beginning you don't want none of it. I told you it tasted like cat food, and you still chose to eat it. And then you ate a second one after the first one. I can't believe you give me cat food, Michael. The first one of them was like a pate, which blended in with the beans, and the second one was like lumps of brown meat with like a gravy. Do I look like a pussy, Michael? No. Oh, busted my knee to hell on that floor, though. Good. It stinks in this house. Come on, man! Ah! I'm trapped! Ah! Sitting here with Dad, who is about to get uh, the stuff to do mailbag Monday. Just fed him the cat food. He fed himself the cat food, excuse me. 
So, he just ate some cat food. Now we're gonna be, oh, I smell cat food. Uh, now we're gonna be opening up some letters and some mail for Mailbag Monday. So we just did the Mailbag Monday, and now Dad is about to call a couple of fans. These are the people who ordered the wristbands and gave us their number. Dad's about to call some. So we only got a few wristbands left right now. So if you get a wristband, you send for one, the information's below. Send your number with it so you can maybe get a call from Dad too in one of these videos. Hello? Now speak to Paul. Hello? Paul. Uh, how about how about Gregory? How about Gregory? Uh, this is Gregory. Gregory, this is Aunt Grandpa. Oh my gosh. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I got your I got your order for the wristband. I wanted to call you and welcome you to the army. Yeah, thank you for calling me. Oh my gosh. Did you get your wristband yet? Yep. All right, are you sporting it around? Yeah, I've been wearing it all the time. Fantastic, man, makes me feel good. I I was really overwhelmed by the youngers that are getting the armbands, the wristbands. Well, thank you for calling me. Oh my gosh. Well, you have a great day. Yeah, you too, thank you. No problem, Gregory, bye-bye. Goodbye, angry, angry crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I like to talk to people like that. Uh, we're just sitting here calling people who uh, mailed out for the wristbands. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, tell Grandpa. Hey, what's up? Oh, yeah. Why don't you tell me yourself? Yeah, he's right here, man. What the fuck are you doing, man? How's it going, son? What's the damn deal? Hell yeah! Hey, it's Army time! Ha <laughs> ha! Man, I'm glad you joined the army. Hell yeah! How's the weather over there? Hey, it's been hot on a goddamn grave digger's ass. It's a hot son of a bitch out here in Texas. Oh, you in Texas? Yes, sir. Ah, damn, everything big in Texas, even the heat. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> do it. All right. Well, look in, man. I want to call you and welcome to the army and thank you for joining. Man, I appreciate it, man. I watch y'all every fucking day. All right, yeah, I like that. Grandpa. I did high too, man. I forgot to tell that fucker high too. Who's that? Bridget. Tell Bridget. She's right here. Tell you out, Bridget. Hey. What are you doing? Nothing. Subscribe. Subscribe. Favorite. I don't know how to do none of that shit. I just watch the YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, man, speak to Melissa. Who's this? This is Angry Grandpa. Alright. Hello? Melissa! Hello, man. This is AGP, Angry Grandpa. Hello, Angry Grandpa. How are you? Ah. We love you, Angry Grandpa. Yeah, I'm angry, Grandpa. Said they love you. I love you too. Can you restore focus here? I'm sorry that I cannot answer your call, but if you need to call this number, Oh my God! It's me, angry, Grandpa. Is this George Lopez? Oh my God! I always wanted to meet you. Oh man, are you, uh, are you ever going to do a show here in South Carolina? I, if you do, I want to come see you. You know it ain't him, right? This is George Lopez. Just, that says people have common names. Oh. Sorry, George. Anyway, I got your thing for the wristband. I want to thank you for joining. Take care, brother. You should have told me that before I start this, Michael. Bob and George Lopez. Well, Dad. Happy. Hey, what? What? You talk? I'll talk down here. Come on, Bridget. Get down there. Okay. But, uh. Hi. Okay, so what do you think about the cat food? What are you doing? Ah, uh, the cat food's all right. It tastes like shit. You shouldn't have done that to me. So, wait a minute, are you walking us out? Huh? Okay. Are you serious with this? Yeah. 
Bye. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. See y'all later. What are you doing? Hey. Yeah. Hell no. What you gotta do that yourself? I got. It. Bye. See you later. What just happened? I don't think he wants us here anymore. So what'd you what'd you think about the cat food? He's done with us, man. Well, just got back from jogging. I think I'm sweating a little more. You are I don't know. you are sweating more than me. I am sweating though. Man, no. So that was a good so, dog slash walk. So we've been pushing this diet thing into overdrive. Some people were asking me what I meant when I said, well, she didn't stop, but I did. Now, I don't mean that I stopped. I never stopped, but I stopped really pushing. That's why I lose a pound here. Uh, I weighed myself the other day before I really started pushing again, and I gained three pounds. You know, but I assume I would have lost it back down to like another pound for weigh on Wednesday. But we've been running every day. Uh, 20, 30 minutes that was? Yeah. 30 minutes that time. It's exhausting. My ultimate goal is to just lose, to be 315 by the time I get to New York, which that's not going to happen. No, I, I really think you can do it. I want to be 315 by the time I get to New York because last time I went to New York, I was 290 pounds. So if I'm 290, uh, that's only, let's see here, 90, 300, that's 15 pounds, right? Yeah. 90, 100, yeah. That's only 15 pounds I would have gained since she last saw me. The ultimate goal would be to be 290, or, you know, to be 270 by New York. But that's not going to happen. Let's be real here. But I'd like to be around 315 by the time I get to New York. That way, when she sees me, she'll go, oh, good, oh, shit. <laughs> that's not my brother. That's some fucking whale. No. So that's the goal. So we're jogging daily, counting calories. The next thing. On my last video, there were multiple fake accounts, probably from the same person, uh, that pretend to be me. You'll see somebody posting as kid behind a camera. Well, I'll say first of all, that within the first hour of the video going up, I post constantly. But it'll be nice shit. I'm not going to be talking crap to people. So if somebody's talking shit in the comments as me, it's not me. You know, all you have to do to know if it's me or not is hover over the name. If if you hover over their name and it says they have 200,000 subscribers and it's me, <laughs> it's me. But if you hover over and it says three subscribers, <laughs> two of them probably being two of their fake accounts and one being somebody who was duped in the comment section, chances are it ain't me. So there was somebody posting all kinds of crap talking about the fans. Oh, the fans are assholes and I don't need them. And that's bullshit. I even believed it. I was like, Michael, yeah, what Bridget. Bridge was like, Michael, what's wrong with you? And I said, that's, you believe that shit too? I posted a reply to it. I was like, uh, people are believing this? N most of the people weren't. Some of the replies were going fake account, fake, not Michael. And that was cool, but there were a couple people. Oh, so you're saying fuck the fans now? <laughs> Which obviously not. You know, we, not. we only do this for the fans. You know, we started doing Monday mailbag for the fans. We started, you know, we get, the wristbands, we're not making any money on the wristband so you guys know i don't know if you ever heard that before or not but we're not making anything we're not making nothing we got to buy the envelopes and the stamps and we got to send it out so we don't make anything on that the only reason we did the wristbands is for you guys so that is for you so we're not saying fuck no fans because the fans are the only reason why we're here you know you guys can say whatever you want about me i'm fat i probably stink and you'll be right i do stink especially right now <laughs> you you know and you're not going to get any hostility from me because I appreciate you guys nonetheless. So thank you guys for everything you do. And, and, if, and if you see someone in the comments posting and you see it's kid behind the camera, hover over the name. And you'll see, might not be me. Especially now that I've said it. Now that I've said this, you're going to see it on this video. So <laughs> look for whoever's pretending to, me, to be me and just block them. Report them as fake. That's all you got to do. So that's that. Which, okay, is Bella getting humped? Oh yes. My God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's oh open this door. Oh Settle down, you two. Aww. What's going on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here, and today is 
Throwback Thursday. And that means tonight I'm going to tell you guys another story. But first, I wanted to talk about the question that I've been getting the most this month. When is Bridget's prank coming? And while I cannot tell you exactly when, I can tell you very, 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 very soon. Uh, I like how you like that very, 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 uh, very soon. Uh, I, had, I saw somebody saying, oh, if you do another Bridget's Forgotten Birthday, then I'm going to unsubscribe. Don't worry, I'm not doing the same prank that I did last year to Bridget. This is different. I got a prank planned for. It's going to be really good. I planned this prank two months ago. I've been waiting to do this prank for two months. So it's coming very, 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 very soon. How many people at home are just like, oh God, back up a little. I get that a lot actually. You need to back up the camera some. But I don't like the way that looks. Do you guys like that? What's going on you guys? Keep me on a camera here. The camera is really far away from my face. But I like for you guys to see me because I'm just so sexy. I appreciate all the support that the ALS video we did is doing. Uh, as of right now, he has not done it, but Paul Heyman responded to Dad this morning saying that he's going to respond to these ALS ice bucket challenges. So if Paul Heyman does, Grandpa, I didn't, I didn't think that, you know, he was going to do it. You know, Dad challenged him. I was like, oh, that's not happening. So that's why I decided to challenge Obama because I was like, if we're challenging people that we can't reach, we might as well challenge the President of the United States. But he directly responded to Dad, and that's really cool. So as of right now, he has not done it. If he does that at some point during the day, I will let you guys know and tell you where you can see it. But right now, he's not done it. But wow, that would be very cool. It's actually about... 7.30 in the morning right now. Uh, I haven't gone to bed yet. I'm about to go to bed now. But I wanted to go ahead and do my intro. Say hello to you guys. Say thanks for everything you do. I, I don't know why I always do these things. It's like, just like a tick. So, thanks for everything you guys do. Liking the videos and sharing them. It's always been appreciated. And I sometimes like to just remind you. See, I did it again. I sometimes like to just remind you that we really do appreciate all the comments. Maybe not the bad ones so much, but the support, the likes, the shares. You guys are fucking awesome. Really, I gotta stop. I gotta figure out what to do with my hands. Like, if I'm just sitting here like this, I feel strange. So, thanks you guys for everything. I'm going to bed. See you. I'll probably wake up at 2. See you then. What's going on, you guys? Bridge of us here. And I just want to say good morning to everyone. I just got back walking and jogging for about 40 minutes. And I'm feeling pretty good. I'm starting to like this. It was my morning walk slash jog, you know? Michael didn't come this time because he's sleeping. But whenever he wakes up, I'm doing it again. Hey, Kite. What are you doing? Good morning, you guys. Oh, hello. What are you up to? Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Bella's not here right now because she's still sleeping with Michael. She loves bed, so I leave her in there. Felix drinking water. So today I'm down another two pounds and that brings me to 14 pounds total this month. Hashtag no pizza for life. So we are sitting here watching Disney's Bears and Clyde is like totally into it. The raven can spot an opportunity from way up high. That's a big old clam. Hey, Mom, how do you open one of these things anyway? He closed the claw. Them. Mom, the, but what, what do you do if your claw gets. The cubs know something feels wrong. 
So I've got this new routine that I've been doing that every time that I walk, which I just did, I'll brush my teeth afterwards. That way I'm brushing my damn teeth. So it's a routine and I can stick with it. That way maybe I can lose some weight and fix my teeth at the same time. Let's see how long it takes to bleed. I want to see if I can sing while brushing my teeth. I might gag them. I'm singing in the rain. Just say. I just want to film this for a second. We got Bella in this cage and the cat in the other. What are y'all doing together? Y'all just sleeping next to each other? Wanna come hang out with me in the living room? Huh? Why don't you come hang out with me? Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Let's do it. So the other day, I asked you guys to click like if you wanted me to try to prank Grandpa as Paul Heyman. And you clicked like, you wanted to see me do the prank call. And at the same time, Paul Heyman has announced that he's going to be accepting Grandpa's Ice Bucket Challenge. And I figured, what better way to tell him than by having Paul Heyman do it. So, I'm going to tell Grandpa Paul Heyman is accepting his Ice Bucket Challenge while prank calling him as Paul Heyman. Hello? Hello, is this Angry Grandpa? Yes, 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 Johnny B, who it is? This is Paul Heyman. Yeah, right. Angry Grandpa, I want to call you because I got your ice bucket challenge. No shit. I got the ice bucket challenge, and I'm going to accept it. <laughs> That's right, I'm going to accept your ice bucket <laughs> Well, I want to let you know, first and foremost, I'm sitting here with Brock Lesnar! He ain't nobody. I got to tase his ass. Well, Angry Grandpa, if you don't say right now that you love Brock Lesnar, I'm not accepting your ice bucket challenge. If you don't say my ice challenge, you're a pussy. You know that? And I ain't gonna like you no goddamn more. I'll tell you all my goddamn yet to throw your bitches in fucking garbage. They will. <laughs> How about that, Mr. Heyman? I like you, though. You're my man. I'm an even guy. Grandpa, I got an idea for a shirt that I wanted to pitch to you. You don't tell me, you talk about Seth Michael. Eat, sleep, break shit, repeat. Eat, sleep, break things, repeat. What do you think? I don't, you, 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 you don't sound like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you need to talk to Seth Michael. That's who you need to talk to. Hello? Grandpa, are you... <laughs> what are you laughing about? Oh, Jesus. I tried. This is Michael. Yep. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Eat, sleep, prank, Grandpa, repeat. Eat, sleep, prank, Grandpa, hey, repeat. I'm going to break your ass, okay? I'm going to get you, bitch. But the reason... I'm done. I'm Wait, wait. What? The reason I was calling is Paul Heyman posted on Twitter that he is accepting your challenge. Fantastic. I can't wait to see it. Did you really think that was Paul Heyman? Yeah. Because I didn't think I sounded like him. You dumbass. <laughs> well, how was your conversation with Paul Heyman? Fuck you. Bye. Bye. Hang up. <laughs> you hang up. You hang up first. Hey, Bella. Did you hear the prank call I did? I told him Grandpa was Paul Heyman. He believed me. <laughs> Bella's just going wherever she wants. Where you going? You thirsty? So, for Throwback Thursday, I decided to answer a question that people ask me a lot. Not daily, but I have gotten it a lot. So, people have asked me, do I have any happy memories with Angry Grandpa? 
And of course I do. <laughs> I have a lot of happy memories with Angry Grandpa, actually, because Grandpa was pretty much my best friend growing up. You know, I had friends in school and stuff, but Dad and I did everything together. Dad is the reason that I chose not to smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol, because I had that influence in my life, a male influence. Now, when I say the male influence, you know, he smokes like a fucking chimney, but that's not what I mean by an influence. I just mean, you know, I, he was always there, he was a friend to me, we talked, we spent all our weekends together, so I never wanted to go off and go with friends and smoke cigarettes, because I had shit to do with Dad. So I decided to dedicate the next couple of Throwback Thursday stories to happy memories with Angry Grandpa. That way, it's not all bad and mean because there are some good ones. So first, I'm going to talk about the very first prank that I ever pulled. It may not be the first ever pulled. There were others. Like, I think I've told it on a story before, I'm not sure, but I was three years, or not three, I was about four years old, and my grandfather had this old, you know, this old plaque with like a police badge on it. And I put this badge plaque in the windshield of the car and I went to dad, dad, the police are here. And dad, oh shit, goddamn cops. Looks outside and sees that it was you motherfucker. So every weekend I would go to the flea market. It would be dad and I and we'd sell junk. And I've said this a lot, we would just sell different kinds of shit. Knives and bells and flags and hats and whatever the hell. Just stuff he would get his hands on throughout the week. We'd go to the flea market and we'd sell it. Now in the flea market there was a magic shop. It was a magic slash gag shop. And dad took me to it before we set up. He'd, Let's check out this magic shop. And I would go to the magic shop. And after this, this the magic shop became like, you know, my home. Every time I'd come with dad, we'd have to go to the magic shop every week. But this was the first time we went to the magic shop. So dad takes me to the magic shop and we see this fake finger. And the finger, it slips over my real finger and it looks like it has a giant gash in it. And with the gash, you can put fake blood on it and it would look just like your finger has been gashed open. So dad gives me this fake finger. It slips on it and we put fake blood all over the wound and He's like, let's go fuck with some people. So in the flea market where we would sell, they would have these old piece of crap wooden tables set up. They were like homemade. You can see nails sticking out everywhere. So he had me take my the, the fake wound on the finger and putting it into like the nail and put fake blood dripping down and people walking by would think that my finger is jammed against a nail on these wooden tables. And dad would be sitting there across from me looking let's see what the fuck with the people so here I am here's my part of the role I'm sitting there I got my finger I'm going oh help me and people would always be willing to help oh my god let me help you and what I was supposed to do next is take it off and start running and people would get so pissed off like one person I did it to him it was this guy he came up oh my god so let me help you and I start laughing and he goes you little bastard so the last time, Dad's like, let's really fuck with him. Let's think of thing I'm gonna break your goddamn finger. So Dad's plan is to take one of his bells that he sells and to start making it look like he's pounding on my finger like a hammer. The only problem is Dad doesn't realize, I don't know if he didn't realize it or not, my finger is still in this little thing. It ain't like my finger is gone. Uh, he seemed to think that it was just a fake finger sitting there. So he takes this bell and he beats it against my real finger and I oh my god I rip off the fake finger and my nail is like black and blue under it and death going oh god damn Bo oh shit and people are coming up what the hell did you do that for that was the first prank that I ever pulled it was dad's idea had a fake finger that would slip over this finger uh, it looked like it had a gash in it and I would make people think that my finger was jammed into the wooden tables at the flea market and then he happened to nearly break my finger with a cowbell but overall still a happy memory me and dad had a lot of them and i'm going to tell you guys more of them every week now for the next couple of weeks throwback thursday happy memories so that's going to be it for today you guys hope you like the story it's a happy memory just something happy that happened in my life with dad and you know we had a lot of happy memories you know so i'm going to tell some of those flea market days were definitely happy uh we had some days where we were uh setting up at the lawnmower races so i'm gonna let you guys choose what you think the next happy memory should be so 
Do you want to hear about the time me and dad would sell peanuts and hot dogs at the lawnmower races? Now, if you don't know what a lawnmower race is, people take these riding lawnmowers and they jack them up so they can race them around a track. So, do you want to hear about that? Do you want to hear about the time that dad tried to hook me up with a girl? Uh, and it was actually a pretty embarrassing story. I've written rap songs about it. It's humiliating. I will tell all these stories within the next couple of weeks, but I just want to know which one do you want to hear first. So, tweet me which story you want to hear. Uh, my my Twitter is at the bottom. Do you want to hear the, the uh, lawnmower race story? Do you want to hear the time Dad tried to hook me up with a girl? So, let me know what you want to hear. Like if you like this idea, click like if you want me to keep telling some happy grandpa stories on the Throwback Thursdays for the next couple. So thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, Bridget West, she's asleep, and thanks for watching, you guys. What's going on, you guys? Kibbe on a camera here, and right now I'm watching this show called BoJack Horseman. It just started on Netflix. A friend of mine named Tim sent it to me, and I, I never heard of it until tonight. But uh, earlier tonight, I started seeing people talk about it. Oh, BoJack Horseman starts tonight on Netflix. And it is starring Aaron Paul and Will Arnett, and it's about a horse. <laughs> it's a cartoon about a horse who was once uh, a famous actor in the 90s on a big hit sitcom. Think Steve Urkel, you know, uh, Jaleel White, I think that was his name. <laughs> that guy, uh, you know, he was real big in the 90s, and then after that his career sort of fizzled away. So it's about a washed-up actor, horse, that uh, is still living in his glory days. And when I first started watching it, I was like, I don't know what I feel about this. But I can't stop watching it, and I need to stop watching it, because it is like going on 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm only on episode 4, and I need to stop watching it, but I can't stop watching it. But it's really good so far, you know, if you got Netflix, check it out, it just started today. I think it's real good, though. Good morning, you guys. Bridget West here. And I just want to say good morning to everyone and happy Friday. I just got back from walking and jogging for about 40 minutes this morning and I'm feeling pretty great. I'm also going again tonight, so that's pretty awesome too. Hashtag eat vegetables. Well, morning everybody. It's getting dark. So I already did my intro last night. As you saw, I was watching BoJack Horseman. That was last night. I did an intro too. Well, my intro came first, so, ah! So, happy Friday, everybody. I'm going to be going to Dad's house in just a minute. Just going to go see the old man, see what's going on, and hang a grandpa. Anything to add? We all know she always has something to add. Um, hashtag eat vegetables. Did you say hashtag eat vegetables? Are you going to do like a hashtag every day now? Yep. Bridges hashtag of the day is eat vegetables. Oh man. <laughs> Who did it? Clive. I can't pronounce that. My apologies. Send it to you for your birthday. Let's open this. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, it's so cool. You will not wear that, will you? I probably will actually wear it. Show, show, dad. show dad. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> oh my goodness, you made her happy. Fuzzy socks are like her favorite. Thank you so much! You yeah, don't give her anything for it. Her birthday. Who cares? She cares. <laughs> Drawing of Bella. These are some cool stuff in here. Oh, that's really good. Now see the box I'm getting out of here. I know who sent this. This person posted it on Instagram. Yeah, this is us as a family of dogs. Oh my god, I'm hanging up. A family that of up. dogs sent that shit? No, this is this is a bit the picture someone drew of us as a family of dogs. Where me? I don't think you. <laughs> well, god damn. Hey, that's you. You're the big mean dog right there. And that's you with the camera. Yeah, and there's Bridget, and there's our real dogs. We're gonna hang this thing with the other stuff. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Yeah. 
How's that, Jay? Yeah. Hey, Michael, come here. What are you doing that? Come on, dude. Enough of that taser. Oh, you're right. Come here. Come here. I'm scared of it. Oh, Jay, what I got? I see it. You ain't see what I want to show you. I'm going to get this close. Whoa, 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 whoa! How about it? Jesus Christ, man! Dad, I've had enough of you scaring me with this thing! What are you gonna do? I got one too! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on, Michael! Let's do it! You got two? I got two! Double your pleasure, double your fun! One might be good, but two's better than that! Come on! Yeah! Come on, Michael! Loves this chair. Is this your favorite spot in the house, Hannah? Who'd you make that for? Papa. Oh. I love me. How was your first day of school, buddy? I got this for Bridget. You got that for Bridget? Hi. No, your name tag's gonna be in trouble. Thank you. You almost finished with it. Color it. Let's see how it turns out. So what's up with you calling Papa every day telling him you got a headache and he's got to bring you aspirin? Good job today. So, just chilling with Dad. Happy little day. Hey! It's a good little day. I told a happy memory on my vlog yesterday. What? I told him about the first time I pranked. Remember you took me to the flea market and you got me that fake finger with the gash on it? Yeah. And we put it against the nail at the flea market and made people think my finger was stuck to the tables? Yeah. That was many years ago. I told them to make a choice for the next story. I can tell them about us going to the lawnmower races to sell peanuts and hot dogs. That was a good story. Or I can tell them about when you tried to hook me up with Amanda. Which is probably my most embarrassing story I got. What would you think? Lawnmower races. I bet none of them know what lawnmower races is. So far everybody's choosing the girlfriend story. Wait a minute, you tried to hook me up with a girl at the lawnmower races too. You was always trying to hook me up with girls. I was your mama. Oh, is that what it was? What about, what about our mom? What about her? Uh-huh. <laughs> Michael! Maybe Grandpa's long-lost son wasn't a prank after all. I'm making a Myers today. You're making Michael Myers? Oh my goodness. Well, you ready for October? What's October? Prank month. Are you ready for the Thursday night? What's Thursday he night? Knows. Are you ready for some football? Carolina, third, next Thursday night. Who are we playing? I don't know, but we're gonna lose. So there's a couple of things. So October, we've got we got a whole month away for a prank month. You're gonna carve another pumpkin. My birthday's on the 16th. Yep, your birthday comes up on the 16th. Dad's birthday is coming up October 16th. So if you guys wanna, you know, last year you guys were wondering how you can send him letters and stuff like that. So the PO box is below. If you send anything for his birthday, make sure that you say it's for his birthday and we won't touch it until it's his birthday on the 16th and it'll be a whatever day of the week that is mailbag, birthday edition. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, right. Well, I'll be damned. I wasn't cooking up this time. What? What's that time? Thank you. Steal my dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Gonna make me holler. Put it in my pocket when you see it. That's right, sing it. Very soon, Bridges prank. You ready? Very soon. Yep. Very soon. Worry, Bridget? No. She it better be. She thinks we're not gonna get her. No, you can't. It's impossible. Guess we gonna find out, huh? And you're working on your part of it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, very good. I don't like this. It's a good one. 
And it's happening very, 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 very soon. Well, we are leaving Dad's house. Yeah, hey, how about leave now? Socks. We are leaving now. It's got a couple of grass, man. Look good, huh? Yes, it does. Well. Ah. So we are leaving Dad's house right now. We're going home. Good little Friday today. I was expecting my loot crate, and I didn't get it. Oh my god. Step up your game, Loot Crate. You I need was... to cancel Loot Crate. It's only like 11 bucks a month. I don't mind. I hate Loot Crate. Well, I don't hate Loot Crate, so I get to keep my Loot Crate because you like don't like it or not. I'm canceling your subscription. Well, just got back. That was, I think, the most I've walked. I've walked six times today. <sighs> I've walked <laughs> twice today. <laughs> But still, they were right after each other. <laughs> I wanted to go to a movie tonight because uh, I usually have Fridays off. So I wanted to go to a movie. Instead, we spent it walking. But whatever helps lose weight. If we went to a movie, chances are I would have gotten popcorn and snacks. So I'd rather not anyway. So working towards the next Wednesday weigh in. Oh, yeah. I'm not I, letting anyone know how much weight I lose anymore. I have no choice. I No, I'm, I mean, I am on Wednesday. I'm not going to do it like every day, though. So you guys could be surprised with me. All right. So happy Friday, everybody. Just got back from walking. We're going to look for something to watch on TV. You go with the WWE Network? No. She hates it. Uh, there's a S.H.I.E.L.D. documentary on the WWE Network that oh. I have paused. That it was really good. So I'm going to finish that, whether she wants to watch it or not. So that's what's going on right now, Friday night. Oh, yeah. Just Belle and the kitty laying together. It's so cute. People were asking me, do they get along? They just chill together all day. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. Is kitty kitty your friend? Bridget and I are outside watching the sunset. <laughs> I do this every night and every morning. So is it fully set now, or have we, have we seen it, or what's going on here? Hey, me. So, waiting for it to get dark, watching the sunset. Little Friday night action. Did a little bit of planning on Bridget's prank, which is coming very soon. How you feel about that, Bridget? Um, not happening. It is happening. I promise you. I don't think so. It's happening. I don't What's going on, you guys? Kibby on a camera here. Bridget West there. Greg right there. Punch Man official here. Punch Man. Oh, do that. You said it so happily. Punch Man official here. Punch Man official right there. Oh, we got your light ready to get back to you. You're from your gun. Yeah. We have that still. I forgot all about that. That was a while ago. So, Bridget just found out she got pranked. It still was my party. In the end, it's my party forever. You didn't get one this year. You feel good? You got strawberry on your head. That's tasty. So, Bridget just got pranked. Her family was in on it. And Elaine wasn't in on it, actually. She just got here too late. I knew about it, though. She knew about it. She was going to be part of it. You feeling well, okay? I feel a lot better that it was a prank. Yeah, but that you still... These are still my gifts, actually. <laughs> That would have been bad. Hey, how come you're not eating your cake, actually? I'm full. That's insulting. I ate stuff. So, gonna be having some party now. Bri the, Dad's left, so Dad's officially not part of Bridget's party. And her grandma actually, her grandma confided in me that she hates Bridget secretly. I made that up. I made it up. <laughs> but they have to hate you a little bit to prank you like that. Well, Greg is leaving. Yeah, this is, you forgot our house. Yeah. yeah. How do you turn this thing on? Because I couldn't figure it out. Oops. Oh, it's dead, man. It's dead. You killed it. <laughs> Did we not turn it off? We had it turned off. How do you not turn this giant light yeah, off? Yeah, you turn a big bright light on in the, in the, <laughs> in the drawer. It's still lit, but let's leave it on and shut it. But, well, yeah, that's how you do it. I'm going there. Oh, so I'm saying like, what do I do with this thing? Did you put this in your mouth? Yes, I did. I put it somewhere else too, like but don't worry about it. 
Well, I don't care about that. It was this was flashlight inside a kid behind a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the next one. Now. I actually know. It'd be a picture of the flashlight for the logo. Flashlight behind a flashlight inside of a kid behind a dildo. Whatever. It's not a dildo. I appreciate that though. Yeah, man. Smell it. Make sure it's good to you. <laughs> Bridget, what'd you do to it? <laughs> That's that seafood smell. Hey. Well, thanks for coming, Greg. Yeah, thank you. And I think you're going to Dad's house tomorrow, ain't you? Yes. Greg is going to Dad's house tomorrow. He's going to do some filming. Uh, hopefully, I think hopefully he gets shocked with that taser. That's what he wants, don't you? It might happen. It might. That'd be good to He's see. Two for five seconds. If he does this, I'm promoting it. You guys are going to see it. The link will be below. Him getting shocked. That was the deal. I tested out the pepper spray, so now I have to test out the taser to see which one's better for defending yourself. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get your expert opinion. My ex. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Pudge Man below. He helped us prank Bridget. Pudge Man official here. Subscribe. <laughs> well, Bridget's family just left. Prank went off without a hitch. That was really mean. It was not. Now, come on. Think about all the pranks you've done to me. Do I even have to go down the list? Yeah, but I would never do something like that. Okay. Now, here's not the bad. thing. That is just one prank. Hashtag fuck you. Hashtag more to come. You will obviously- Hashtag I'm getting you back. Hashtag you said you couldn't be gotten and you got got. Hashtag will again. Hashtag soon. Hashtag you getting got again. Hashtag quit copying me. I'm taking the hashtag system. Hashtag unsubscribe from Bridget no. West YouTube channel because she's hashtag stupid. Now, do you officially want a meatball sandwich already? No. Why don't you like them? Everybody else loved them. The bread gets too soggy and gross. Hashtag ha ha. Hashtag every Simpsons ever. Well, at least I got presents in the mail from people, and thank you so much. Those are your presents. The stuff I was opening? All that was for yeah, you. Yeah, you opened them, though. That's so fun. So? It's still your stuff. That's so fun. You got Here's my gifts from you. I didn't get your your gift for me was this prank. Happy birthday! Where are my gifts? Coming in the mail next week. Mm -hmm. I couldn't order you any presents because you would have been. You know, I wanted you to think I forgot your birthday. Uh huh. Ah! Let me pop it now. Well, it is the next day, and Bridget is scrubbing the mess from the party. I can't believe you didn't help me. Wait, Bridget, you did it for <laughs> I woke up and she was already doing it. I, I, I didn't want to do it last night. <laughs> I was only doing the kitchen though. You were freaking sitting there while I cleaned the living room and that living room. Bridget, every Simpsons ever is on. I don't care. Every Simpsons ever, FXX. <laughs> If it, if, it, if it helps make you feel better, that looks good. Thanks. Uh, I don't get why the Boston Terrier is on top, but... I think it looks better. So last night was Bridget's prank. Uh, a lot of people were asking me if this was the prank I was planning. And yes, this is the one that I've been planning for a while. I wanted to get her for her birthday. I wanted her to make her think that, you know, on her birthday, I'm being, you know, the one being given the party for. Come on, baby. But it's not the only one. I got a lot more pranks planned for. You no, know, I gotta tell you something, though. I thought of the best revenge. So anyway, I'm not scared of her pranks. So, I'm not. So anyway. So last night was the Bridget prank, and it was a good time. You know, I had really enjoyed it. Her family was really cool, and it was really cool about, you know, her mom to bring me the cake, and it was really great. You can see it on Bridget's face. She was ready to blow. Uh, you'll notice in the video I had a tripod set up uh, with another camera. I never used it. Uh, I, I just never used it, but I will show you now. Take a look at this. The alternate, al the I said that really strange. The alternate, the alter. I about did it again. The alternate camera angle of everybody going surprise. So this is the other angle of the big surprise moment. Who did bring a fat ass on in here? 
What is this thing? It's a lizard slug. What the hell? So there is this thing sitting here, and it looks terrifying. Touch it. No. What if it's poisonous? You're right. Don't touch it. Is it like a newborn lizard? Running. That's the weird part. Well, that's gonna be about it for today, you guys. Prank Bridget last night. That was fun. Hashtag Tomorrow, did you, what's your hashtag? Hashtag pissed. Okay. Hashtag LOL. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be unboxing my loot crate. That's gonna be good. That's tomorrow. Ha! <sighs> Feel pretty good. It is freezing in that house, by the way. We need to turn the air up. Watching The Simpsons, every Simpsons ever. I've been watching it for days. The I'm, not, I'm changing this. Don't you even consider that. I'm tired um, of the tea, but I'm gonna keep talking louder. Um, hashtag I don't I'm care. I don't care about what she's saying, and her hashtags are so dumb. Hashtag breakup. Bre <laughs> I'm pretty sure by now you're fine with it, Bridget. It was a fun little prank. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. You could have at least made something I like. So with the meatball sub thing? Yeah. I wanted you to not enjoy dinner. Why? Because you're on a diet. I wanted to help you stick to it by making foods you hated that I happen to really love. Mm -hmm. So they were good though. Did you at least eat a meatball? Well, we went to McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did I get anything for my birthday? Yeah, we went to McDonald's for Bridget's birthday. I wanted her to think that was her gourmet meal for her birthday. And Bridget ended up getting, what was that? It was a bacon quarter pounder or something? Yeah, I got a freaking small number seven. What, uh, was it good? Or? I ate half of it. I threw it out. I didn't, I didn't think it was that good. Uh, it was I, a sandwich I never tried before, and I've had better. So Bridget's birthday dinner was McDonald's. <laughs> uh, I can't help but you don't like meatball subs. I didn't know ahead of time. I yeah, wanted I to make one pot into spaghetti. You wouldn't freaking let me. Bridget, she wanted to turn the meatball subs everybody else was enjoying into spaghetti. One pot. There were two pots for a reason. And guess what? In the end of the night, there was one meatball left. Which means your spaghetti would have ruined everybody else's dinner. So, enjoy your McDonald's. So, thanks yeah, for watching, enjoy. you guys. Exactly. I'm gonna talk louder than Bridget can because I'm better at doing this. She tried to throw something. Thanks for watching, Your you guys. Sucks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here. And right now, I'm about to give Bridget some flowers. They just came, ordered them for our birthday. Here you go. Thanks for the flowers, Michael. Let's open them up and look at them. I'll eventually get it. One day. Scissors. You need scissors? <laughs> yeah. God, money has five. You suck.
leaves laying on a fire. Thanks for making the candles so horribly. Oh. Jeez. Laying flower sucks. This is difficult. We gotta cut this thing too? Oh my god. This is crazy. Why is it so hard? God. Don't worry, Bridget. Oh, some of these are. Oh. Don't worry, Bridget. You're moments away from beautiful flowers. Oh, God. Jesus. So, Bridget and I just got back. Oh, God. So, we're looking at Dad's blister. What am I going to do? Put on his sock. I swear to God, man. You want butter? Butter, fuck you! I ain't no goddamn turkey! Didn't your cousin say you put butter on a burn wound? Huh? Egg whites. Huh? Seriously? You're as dumb as he is. No, seriously. Just shut up. Let my goddamn... <sighs> what are you doing? Recording. Why? Because you just stomped in a pile of macaroni and beef all over the floor. I gotta feed that shit up now. So what's the deal? Are we not eating tonight? Uh, yeah, yours is right. Pick, pick, pick a piece. Pick a piece. Pick a corner. I don't think I want it. I think y'all buy a steak. Night! Would you mind stopping that? Stopping what? Fucking filming, man. I gotta... What's going on, you guys? Keep behind the camera hey guys, here. Get out of my way. Damn you, Michael! Seriously, the egg whites work. Look, you put them up there, you got them scrambled eggs right now, they're hot! No, they heal the skin. Shut the fuck up, I don't want to talk to you. Well. Oh, man. I can't believe you did this. I didn't do anything, you fell asleep. You let me! It's a fucking mess. Oh, this is bad. Bridget, what are you doing? He's going to put his foot in this. Bridget thinks it'll work, Dad. I ain't put my goddamn feet in egg. It's right there. She's already done it. Might as well try it. Here, Dad, put your foot in that. Look for what? That! Goddamn, use my eggs! That's all the eggs I had! You don't have no more eggs in that? No! My foot's burning, Michael! Bridget, slide the Popeye's foot. Bring me the guy in that pot! God damn! Oh, God damn! Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Scrabble him up, woman! So, Dad was making a uh, hamburger pie for dinner. We were doing a cooking video for his channel. Dad, move out of fucking way. We were doing a cooking video, and he fell asleep while it was cooking, and it burned, and he tried to take it out with nothing in his hands, and he dropped it. It's not my fault like he's implying. Oh, man, you gonna throw it away? Now I'm gonna feed it to you anyway. Fuck that shit. What do you want from Chinese? Dad, I, I promise you, I will not. Come on, Bridget, grab side of this. It's still good! No, I'm here! I'm a mother! 
Should I throw it in the trash can? Yes, throw it. You threw away my supper! I will not let you eat that. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. We should have done my name mailbag. Not right now. What? Michael! Oh! Oh! Michael! I'm so slippery! Are you okay? Yes. Do you need help? Oh. Give me your hand. Check the camera, I think it's broke. No, I got it. Oh, don't record! Get up! Look at this. Well, yeah. Back up, Bridget. You ever wanted to pretend I can moonwalk? I probably can now. <laughs> Jesus! Don't do that, Michael. Almost busted again. Come on, get over here. It's not slippery over here. My oh, you worried about it? You don't give a damn about my goddamn toe. I tried helping you. Oh. Eggs. <laughs> You okay, Michael? Yeah. You okay, Michael? Are you okay, Grandpa? You okay, Grandpa? What happened to you? <coughs> well, I have oven mitts, so. Ooh. Well, Dad, dinner's over. How you feeling, Dad? You better move that T. It looks like it's leaning against something. So this guy named Jackson Harvey sent us this Angry Grandpa uh, comic book that he made. Um, it's it's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of this. He worked really hard on this. How you feeling, Dad? I'm about to hurt. So then, look at this. I'm going to show it to you guys so you guys can read it if you'd like to. Look at this. I wish I could have cookies. Crunch. Stupid way in Wednesday. It's it's absolutely amazing the work this kid put into this comic. It, it's, I really love it. it's so good. And he gave us his number. So we are going to call him in just a minute and thank him for what he did here. Because it's amazing. Wow. I'm gonna keep trying you, Jackson, even if you don't answer. Hey, Jackson, this is uh, Pickle Boy from the Angry Grandpa. Uh, I just wanted to let you know we got your comic book, and I'm going to try calling you back in just a minute so I can talk to you. Let me make sure I got your number right. Hello, this is Jackson. Hey, Jackson, it's Pickle Boy. Hey, Grandpa! Hey, Pickle Boy and Grandpa. What up? I'm so glad to hear from you guys. Yeah, man, that we, we were just looking at this comic, dude. It is so awesome. It's you are very, very talented. Oh, thank you very much, Grandpa. I'm, um... I've been playing it for a long time, and I'm um, sorry it took a while to turn out and send you guys and everything. But I'm glad you like it. I'm a big fan of yours. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The story's good. My favorite part, dude, is when you have me crunching on the carrot. <laughs> I wish I could have cookies. That's great, dude. <laughs> really good. I'm here carving out blowing up Comcast. You go, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't like Comcast either, so. Who does? Uh, that's right. Well, um, I'm glad you got it. Um, yeah, and then you saw um, all the people who you didn't like, like Max and Ruby and... Um, Tina? Hulk Hogan? Yeah. Hulk Hogan? Uh, yeah, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, it was, fan it was just fantastic. Thank you very much. I I've never been so impressed. Well, thank you, everybody. It was good talking to you. And we'll be in touch. Uh, Boy. And thank you so much for that comic book. Yeah, dude, and tweet me. Hey, you know, maybe there'll be a part two. That'd be great. Yeah. Michael Follow said, me on Twitter. Yeah, write them. They said write them on Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Twitter. 
Um, I don't even know what Twitter is. Uh, well, I've, I've tweeted Tickle Boy before. I won't find it again. Don't yeah, it. yeah, just let me know who you are. All right, Jackson Harvey, and, um, yeah, I'll just tweet you tonight or whatever. All right, brother. Later. All right, cheers, Grandpa. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. That was good. He's 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 very talented. I know he's got a future. Oh yeah. Speaking of speaking of future, we're in the future now. Does your feet feel any better? No. Look at my goddamn toes, man. The motherfuckers. They're red. We are going to be taking JC here, shopping for some shoes. When today? Yeah. Okay. Need anything? Nah. You don't need no shoes? Uh uh. You sure? Positive. Hundred percent. Oh. Are you sure? How sure? God damn yeah, I don't need them. I am now at my house. We just took my nephew shopping for some clothes. You like everything you got? Yeah. So, uh, while I was at dad's house, uh, I did a little prank on Bridget that you're gonna see in tomorrow's vlog, where I told Bridget dad pulled out my tooth. Made it look like dad pulled out my tooth. It was a little acorn and I ripped it out. And I made Bridget think that Grandpa pulled a tooth out of my mouth. So that's going to be in tomorrow's vlog. The only reason I'm going to put it in tomorrow's vlog is because this vlog is pretty much an aftermath vlog of the other video that's going up tonight. So, you know, that's why. So, sitting here, going to gonna let him go in the bathroom and try on some of his stuff, some of his favorite stuff. And we're going to take you back to Dad's. All right, Jay. Let's see, some of your, see what you look like. Let's see your outfit. All right, Let's see the sides. You got some DCs going, you got some jeans. Let's see the shirt. So there's your shirt on there, let's take this off. So you like your out, you like your clothes? Show me your socks, cause I, I was off, I was, I was like, what? He wanted these like green socks and stuff. I'm, I was like, uh, is that what's like in? Well, like I'm totally out of touch with like what's going on, what's hip, because I don't know about that. I don't know about no socks like that. You want out? Hey, Jay, you want to get out? Hey, Bridget, JC wants to get out of the car. Stop. Child proof is on. God. Let's leave him in. I'm just joking, buddy. <laughs> All right. Oh, you put your sublime shirt. Well, JC got some new clothes. Uncle Michael hook you up, huh? I'm not gonna hook you up. You happy? Yep. What you gonna wear to school Monday? Gamecocks. Gamecock? I'd be embarrassed. Well, had a good day. Yeah, it was. Your food was all over the floor. You burned your feet. JC's <laughs> happy. That's cool. Come on, stepping up. How are your feet doing? We got really red. Oh, your feet are fine. What's going on, you guys? Get behind the camera here. Here. Now I can speak. Keep me on a camera here. And today, I regret to inform you that it's the last day for every Simpsons ever. No. This is it, man. Every Simpsons ever ends today. Really? <gasps> oh, I still got fake blood on my. No, that's cheesy puffs, ain't it? Tonight at midnight will be the last episode of the Every Simpsons Ever marathon. That is stupid. Bridget and I just got back from walking. Uh, in a little bit, I'm going to air the uh, air. I don't know why I said that. This ain't TV. I'm going to go ahead and post up the prank that I pulled on Bridget yesterday where Grandpa pulled out my tooth. Yeah, screw you. That was fun. No. Uh, oh, it was. No. So yesterday, Grandpa made his hamburger pie, and he dropped it, and all that happened. So that was yesterday. Oh, my God. I almost seriously pissed my pants. Oh, I was crying behind the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> when Dad dropped it on the ground, I, I couldn't hold it in, dude. It was it was hilarious. So. Oh my god. Uh, tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna throw in some deleted scenes. I saw some people. Oh, uh, he made it too salty on purpose. That's why they burned it. Well, it wasn't too salty. It was actually pretty damn delicious. I didn't get to taste it. I tasted it. It was really good. That's going to be in tomorrow's vlog where we actually tasted it before we put it in and it was good. So, that's going to be tomorrow. Today, we're going to have Grant. We're going to show the video where Grandpa pulled out my tooth. Yeah! I don't know why I did that. 
later on today. Bridget's got to go get us a new scale. Uh, you're coming. No, I'm not art. Yeah, you are. You're getting us a new scale so I can whoa myself and whoa. Well, you better come with me then. You didn't stay in tune. You're out of the game. So Bridget, give us a new scale. This sucks. Hashtag Genki Candle. You did you have a candle for your hashtag? <laughs> yes. She had a prop. Yankee Candle. Hashtag new scale. Ah, uh, our entire house smells like this. By the way. Well, that and fish. I think Michael's sleeping. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, that was so cute. What? I just walked in and Felix was on you. Hey, yeah, we were playing. Why don't you go upstairs and go to bed? No, I'm just taking a nap. It's comfortable. Right. Don't feel. Mm hmm? Don't feel. Was, was that like, was it you're a sleeping prank? Or? No, that's coming tomorrow. Sure thing. Oh, I cannot wait until American Horror Story. When's that start? October 4th, maybe, I think. Well, I'm still laying here with Felix. Oh, it's so adorable. Felix, say hello. So, yesterday while I was at Dad's, I pranked Bridget into thinking that Grandpa pulled my tooth. I look strange laying down. So, this is Grandpa pulling out Pickle Boy's tooth. Or the acorn that we found on the floor that we put in between a pair of pliers with fake blood. How'd you feel about that prank, Bridget? Wasn't cool. Check this out. So I sent Bridget to the car to get my drink. I left a drink in the car. Maybe it's not in the drink. She's on a wild goose chase. I don't know. Either way, I wanted to get her out of the house so I could plan this. I'm gonna have Dad pretend to pull my tooth out of my mouth. Got these tweezers, got this acorn, got fake blood, and I gotta go, she's coming. Uh, she, Grandpa's gonna pull my tooth out. What are you mm. doing? Uh, what are you doing? Got it. Oh, 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 pull his tooth. What the fuck, Michael? Oh, oh, pull his tooth. Here, you dig it. What the fuck? I'm pulling. Oh. What is, why? Oh, you pulled. Why did you go to the dentist? It was hurting me. Let me see. Oh, stop it. Let me see. I'm not puking! Where's the peroxide at? Oh, fuck yeah, he's a man. Why would you do that? He's a man, he'll wipe your face, go home. Alright, what's you, what's your tooth? What's she at? Alright, cool. What? What, dude? He just hold it! Let me see. Ah! He just pulled a tooth out of there, stop it! Oh. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Oh. Seriously? Oh. Hey, you want the tooth for the berry? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Bridget, grab the camera. What the fuck? Ugh. What the fuck, Michael? Something ain't right. We gotta go. Dad, yeah, something ain't right. Take you to the fucking ER. Let's go. Get out of the way. Oh shit! I think I got a blood vessel, Michael. You need to go to the doctor. You did. That thing. Oh god. Why would you do this? Here, take your <laughs> Take your medicine right now, take him, go! Get out of here! I don't lose much blood. He's gonna bleed to death. Michael, I'm calling the fucking cough. Call! Hold that. Call! Well, I don't know this, bro. I don't care about that. Call! Call! Just kidding! We got you, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Again! In one week. I got her yesterday with dog treats. Three times in one week. Fuck this. I'm seriously going to get you both back. I doubt. This for Bridget. Ha ha! Ha! Every Simpsons ever, because that's why. <laughs> that was great. Did it look good? Yeah, it looked good. That was good.
Well, it is time for Bridget to go to sleep. Yes, this is tuck-in time. Yep, at like 8.20. It's so early. It helps me with my diet. I am missing wrestling right now. Save it for me. Yeah, Bridget's like a big fan of the Nikki Bella stuff. She's and good. And Stephanie McMahon. And AJ Lee. And Nick Paige. Okay, you're not going to name every diva. It's good. <laughs> Nikki Bella's doing good right now. So, it's crazy, right? It's real crazy. So, good night. I'm leaving. Excuse me? You <laughs> owe me. For what? Because um, you went got the new scale? Yeah. <clears throat> Let no us tell them what actually happened. We went to Walmart, and uh, first of all, what actually happened is uh, I was like, let's get the glass scale. And Bridget goes, no, I want the, th I want the thing, the steel. I was like, okay, forget it, but I only trust glass. So we get the stainless <laughs> steel scale, and we test it out, and it gives a new weight every time, which means it don't work. I got on it uh, five times, and it gave me a different reading every time. I was like, this sucks. The scale sucks. So Bridget went and replaced it. Immediately. He didn't even ask. He told me not to, but I did it out of love. And now you're going to show me love. You made the screw up to begin with. So? Well, Bridget's asleep now. And since she said she's going to prank me tomorrow while I sleep, I figured I can prank her while she sleeps. Hey, Bridget, it's me, Michael Myers. Stop! Are you really scared? Mm. Are right, you gonna leave you alone? Yes. Night. Go. Well? That's going to be it for today, you guys. Monday Night Raw is on. I just scared Bridget. And that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, put on the mic. You saw. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, that's the second prank you saw on Bridget today. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Going to go watch Monday Night Raw now. As always, thanks for, thanks for everything you guys do. Likes and your subscribes and... Pretty soon, Grandpa's going to have to bloop, lose them eyebrows. So that's going to be good. You see what I did? I went, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it. What's going on, you guys? Bridget West here. Right here. Okay, so it is 7 in the morning, and I've been up for about an uh, hour and a half or something like that. Anyway.
Let me call you back and go back to sleep. Oh yeah. wrong tell me you didn't put my hand in hot water or something what well, what are you talking about okay uh, don't play I was stupid. just showing everyone my collection why are the sheets off the bed I want to wash them or something why excuse me please excuse me please Bridget was here. Is the towel dirty? I don't know. So Michael peed the bed, and well, he's. I, what are you not? I didn't say shit about that. Michael, come on! I was a child once, and you know, every time I peed the bed, I, I didn't I'm like to tell my mom. I'm not using that in the vlog. I will not use that. I'll, I'll edit the video. Oh, I knew it. What? Oh, I knew it. You said yesterday you were gonna get me while I was sleeping. That's what it was. What are you talking about? Son of a bitch. What? Oh, it's water, right? No! Yeah, it is. So, Michael's just really embarrassed that he peed himself while I was sleeping. I did myself. Let me go smell the sheets, then. Please smell it. Oh, what is this? What? Oh, tripod. <laughs> tripod camera set up right in front of the... Ooh! <laughs> Don't break it. I need that. You're recording for 20 minutes? <laughs> okay, I thought I peed the bed. It's fine. You got me. Now now you gotta clean the sheets. <laughs> I, I have to. You don't know how to do laundry. Dude, I don't wanna be up this early. <laughs> oh man, so. So basically, you can't sleep on the bed because it's a little wet and there's no sheets. So what are you gonna do? Damn, this was a good prank. I love you. I went to sleep like three hours ago. <laughs> you said it peed the bed. <laughs> oh, those are the cups you used right there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now then, what to do with the memory card? Hey! Michael? What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. And you just saw Bridget's prank. I'm pissed. <laughs> so Bridget made me think that I pissed the bed. Uh, Go me! <laughs> It's good, I'll give it to her, it was good. Uh, it was good. So that was her prank. Waiting for it to rain, waiting for dad to come over. So that's gonna be my Tuesday. Recovering from peeing the bed and hanging out with grandpa. Seems like a good little Tuesday, what do you think? Fantastic Tuesday. If we wanna walk, looks like we're gonna be walking in the rain. Have you already been walking today? Yep. I hadn't. 39 minutes. Oh, Bridge is so, so cool. Yeah, I am. So, anyway, I was about to lean against this, like, be all cool. So, anyway. You're not cool. This is the coolest. If I leaned against it, it would be cool. Only cool people lean against the grill like this. So, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Every Simpsons ever is over. I don't know what to do with my life. I feel like, an, I feel like a nicotine I know, I addict. Feel sad. I, 
I like I really like turning on the television and there it was. This is me without the Simpsons. Uh, I know, it's like we just go in. What's on TV? Simpsons? Yep. Now it's like, what's on TV? Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Literally nothing? So I don't know, is that was that accurate for changing the channel? Yeah. I was like playing Thumb War. Where's the Simpsons? So anyway, every Simpsons ever because that's why it's over. Pretty sad about it. Me too. I'm even more sad that You know what they should have done? I peed the bed, even though I didn't. What? They should have only played twelve episodes a day. And reruns after twelve hours. That would have been dog shit. No, it wouldn't have. What they should have done is done it from like, let's say, 11 in the morning to midnight. Noon to midnight. Yeah. And then we would have Simpsons for more days. Yeah. Thanks a lot, FX. You know people sleep, right? Yeah. We got the bumper stickers in, okay? Yes, I see that. You see, I initiated, right? Yeah, oh, am I blind? Well, you partially. Here, sign. Why are you holding that big ass camera? Because my mother was dead. Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm, you're on animal support somewhere and you're filming an animal. Well, I mean, you do look like an elephant. Oh, I look like an elephant? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm an elephant. You want to see his trunk? Oh, God. You want, you want, hey, come on here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's give that thing a peanut. It looks angry. Yeah, it's angry, all right. Hold this, Bridget. Anyway, what we're going to do, I want you I want you to autograph. Yeah, your pen goes this way. Can this I sign? Way. We can let her sign. Yeah, we'll let her sign. Yeah, I'll let you sign. Cool. You got a whole lot to sign. Just keep going. Oh, what? Everyone's gonna be autographed. Do you know you know how to spell your name? What do you write? A signature. What'd you write? Hey, hey Rabbi, you're a pickle boy! <laughs> I'm Michael Green. You're a pickle boy! How about this? That's better. What'd you learn to write? That's why you didn't go to school, you quit. Yeah, that's why we look the same. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go be selling bumper stickers now. So if you're in the army, bumper stickers. I like this little pen. If you're in the US, it's three dollars including mailing. If you're in Canada, it's four dollars, including mailing. If you're overseas, it's five dollars, and that's including postage. Why'd you look at me like I fucking know? Because I forgot. But anyway, we got them. They're here. And Grandpa, you get autographs from me, which I know that's the one you really want. And me, uh, and, uh and, and, and Pickle Boy. So, Order yours, and don't forget, got a new shipment of wristbands in, see right here, and Grandpa's Army, they're still available. So, that $3, uh, US, $4 Canadian, $5 overseas. A portion of all this is going to the, to the animal shelter. Oh my goodness. What? Looks like Michael J. Fox went blind and started signing bumper stickers. <laughs> I'm still signing, Dad. What you doing? Okay. Why'd you give me the camera? I got a sign still. Fine, oh, I'll, man. Do it, I'll do it really neat real quick. And make your addresses <laughs> where I can read them, because I got an awful lot of uh, wristbands back because the address is wrong, but that's why I wrote y'all give me, so it is what it is. There were some of you guys that didn't get your uh, wristbands. And some of you, are, we've been able to reach through the name on the envelope, but some of you, we couldn't make it out. We don't know who you are, so we don't know how to get it back. Why does that stink? It doesn't stink. It's a candle. It stinks. Oh, please. You love it. We need to go put one in the bathroom. <laughs> it ain't bad in there. Just blow out a candle in there. <laughs> Let's just, just, like, bar it and nail the door shut and never go back. Yeah, to I, 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 I resemble that, Mark, okay? <laughs> We can always use the upstairs. Why y'all always pick me when I come over here and do shit like that? We need to seal the door shut so nothing can get in or out. I don't have to talk to you no more. I gotta go home. Hey, let's get ready to rain. Sign it again, that ain't right. You'll give them what they need. Gotta sign this one too. That's me right there. Oh. Can I have this? You can have that. You need to wear it anyway. I didn't give you one. I bet I didn't give you a dozen. 
What are you do? Giving yours away on the street? <laughs> I gotta go, Mike. So you came over just like you don't even want to hang out with us? No, because I gotta go. I gotta go and fix up for the boys now. But you thank you. Don't forget, make your order soon. Goodbye, Michael. What's going on, you guys? Keep behind the camera here. Keep behind the camera here. Reggie West, here. Reggie West there. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Today's Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody looking forward to the weekend. Weekend. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? Anyway, <laughs> happy Friday, everybody. Now, a month ago, Friday would mean that I'm getting something good for dinner. <laughs> for me, it means I'm not. It means I gotta drink water, and it means I gotta watch what I eat, and I don't like it. We also gotta walk. Ready to go walk soon? Yep. Not looking forward to it. So, either. hope everybody's having a safe, fun, enjoyable weekend. A lot Where's, of you. Wear your seatbelts. Wear your seatbelts, be safe. <laughs> if you go out in the sun, wear sunblock. <laughs> You know, <laughs> those sun rays can be harmful. Harmful. Put bug spray on your arms. Bug spray. Now that seems harmful. No bug spray for mosquitoes. You gotta protect yourself. Okay, there's got to be another spray because bug spray sounds harmful. Don't put bug spray on your arms. That's not Wait, safe. Wait, isn't that what it's called? Hey, look, Bridget. That cloud looks like a dinosaur. <gasps> What's that thing called with little arms? T Rex. T Rex. Look at that. Cool. It's the T-Rex cloud. That's so awesome. Look at it through here so you can see it better. Aww. I name it Fred. Fred the T-Rex cloud. He just got his tail cut off. Oh yeah, look. Wow! Oh! <laughs> what else is going to disappear? That's a good one. I know. The T-Rex cloud. I'm glad I oh, saw that. Oh, look at that cloud over there. Those, those are so pretty. That cloud looks like nothing. You're ruining. You're, you're wasting time now. Meanwhile, T Rex clouds being ripped apart by the atmosphere. You, what are you? Have you lost your goddamn mind? What? But are you stupid? What did I do? Ain't you seen me sitting a goddamn chair? Can't hold a goddamn breathe? What are you talking about? I saw a video of you smoking. Uh. Boy, I'm changing your idea of sitting on your head. I'm going to push your ass. Did you even watch the video? Yeah, I'm smoking you smoking. And if I hear you sing it again, I'm gonna bust in your ass. I'm not smoking, I was making fun of Bridget. You better not do it in the mail. I'm not I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna blow my gaming goddamn day today. I can't even understand you. Hey, shut up! I'm gonna do it! I will go buy a goddamn car of cigarettes, make you sit at the table, and smoke every fucking button! I don't smoke. I was making fun of Bridget. I tell you that. You understand me? Don't you be smoking. Got a pot kitchen. I swear to God, Michael, you better keep your soul to God. Cut your arms. Belongs to me. Tell me what's in there. I don't smoke. Don't smoke. I don't smoke. Yes. Goodbye. Okay. So I'm sitting here boiling, or sitting here trying to hard boil some eggs for the raw egg roulette prank. These are dad's eggs. He is gonna think that we're all having a fair game of raw egg roulette, not realizing that he is gonna be the only one getting raw eggs. Me and Bridget are gonna be getting just these. So, I've got those right here. I'm gonna put them in an ice bath right after they finish to keep them from cooking any further or I'll cool them down for one. So here I am doing that. We all good now? For right now. So I'm gonna put the video up tomorrow. Uh, I did a prank <laughs> where we played Boogie's Raw Egg Roulette where you take a, a hard boiled egg and you crack it over your head. Dude, that hurts. The, the, the idea is- hurt me! The idea being that you don't know which one's hard boiled and which one's raw. Except the problem is, all the dads were raw. We got all hard boiled. We <laughs> pranked him. That was covered in egg. That was an egghead. I got you. And dad is now threatening. <laughs> Funny. Am I threatening? Please, okay. I will Am I threatening? I will apologize. Am I threatening? Okay! <laughs> <laughs>
What do you want? I need a new cigarette rolling machine. You'll get it. Oh, you'll get it. We you'll brought get you. It. We brought you like six packs of ones we already did for you. Put it. You, you're the one I want to get. I want to put one on your big ass. I want to laugh at you, but I'm zapping. I'm big with ass. them. What? Me and Dad. We go. We go. Zap. We go. Zap your big me ass. And grandpa. On no, you. me and Dad against Bridget. Right? Nah. Oh, don't you? You ain't. You ain't. You. You still in the frying pan? I will get your big ass with a. And I'm watching you go. Ah! 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 I got you. How do, how do you like the cigarettes I rolled? For I, you? I appreciate it. I ain't scared of that, mother. I'm getting away from you. I bet you are scared. I bet I ain't. So we're watching Friday Night Smackdown with Dad. And once again, they've advertised $9.99 for the WWE Network by but, but, having a shirt made. But you know they're doing good. No, the, uh, no they say that uh, WWE lost like almost like a half a billion dollars last year. That's chicken feed, man. No, like Vincent Mann has like 300 million now or something like that. Oh, what? Yeah, Vincent Mann. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That boy may go star. Jesus, 300 million? Oh my God. We need to, for youngest, make a little take a collection for Vincent Mann. Give me your pennies so he gets 300 million down. He go cry. Fuck Vincent Mann. <laughs> Give me three hundred million dollars. But that's a big drop for That's people. a huge drop. Let's say, uh, in February. No, a big drop is when I want a goddamn hamburger and I can't go get one. There's a man go to goddamn anywhere in the world he wants and get all the biggest burgers he wants. Three hundred million dollars. Man, I got no sympathy for that bastard. Then screw him. The thing is, in February he was a billionaire. And that's where he gets for getting goddamn Hulk Hogan back. <laughs> the motherfuckers bring you down losers! That is the right pizza, right? Yeah. Oh, have you, uh, yeah, I was gonna ask you. These are their new sweet peppers. Really? Yeah, they're supposed to be, if you dip it in the garlic sauce, it won't, it'll be, like, delicious. Oh, shit. What? Wait! No, you didn't, you didn't dip it in the garlic sauce, then. It gets sweet when you dip it in. Good. Can't get the bottom off! There. Now watch it get sweet. You lie, up! Oh, that's right. That doesn't exist. <laughs> what are you doing? Woo! That's sweet. Damn! Dad's so stupid. He didn't realize that the real sweet pepper was in the other box. <laughs> Next time you look for the sweet peppers, Dad, look for the extra tail hanging off. That's the sweet pepper. Wait, no, it ain't. It's a real one again. <laughs> I hate you! How's that? Better? God damn! Go home! Now? Now! I thought you loved me! Oh, I, you can't see it on video, but there's a tree right there. Uh, yeah, I know. Look, hey, look at it. I thought you were come back to get the box. Hey! Yeah, she's got you, didn't she? It's all blurry. So just now, I asked Bridget to carry this box of bumper stickers. and I want them all signed, by the way. Uh, that's what we're doing. No, you, you see how many you got signed, right? What? I want all those signed. Why? Because we're sending our youngest to bumper stickers with our signatures. Okay, so how do they get this? All they gotta do... Same way as the wristband? Damn. I gotta have the light on. Same way as the wristbands. If you live in the U.S., send me three dollars. In Canada, send me three S. Send me three dollars in American money. If you live overseas, send me. Wait a minute. Three dollars American. Four dollars Canadian. What the hell? We gotta go. Four dollars if you live in Canada, American money. And five dollars if you live in the U.K. I really country. like it. I do too. It's a good-looking bumper sticker, and it's got signatures on it. 
Oh, you've already signed these? Yes, I just signed all of them. You did not sign all of these. Oh, my, you kidding me? Hey, my youngest come first. Now take, take the box and go home. Don't open that damn thing. Well, these are the Ang Angle Grandpa bumper stickers. Get them just like you get the wristbands. You send how much? Three dollars American. How much American? Three dollars. How about how much American? How many dollars? Three. Yes, but I mean in U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Okay, but how many quarters is that? Oh my God, who gives a fuck? Get out of here, Michael. You, I got a headache now. Three, okay, so they send you three dollars, just like the wristband. Right. Canadian sends four. And the U.K. Five. And by the way, the wristband. There we go. You get out of here. Now. I'm serious. Get out. Take your damn shit and get the hell out of my house. All right, Pop. Good night, Michael. Thanks for eating my uh, peppers, and thanks for... Oh, I almost dropped all of the bumper stickers just now. Oh, you've been picking them up. Goodbye, Michael. I'm going in. Well, light turned on. Damn, that was a fail. I want to do that, and it turns on. So, anyway, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, follow me, and that's it. I'm going to talk now. Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow the video comes out. Oh man, I got a lot of signing to do. I know. Oh man. We're gonna be signing some bumper stickers. That should be fun. Oh. If you want a bumper sticker, P.O. Box information's below. Uh, you heard the prices. Send three dollars if you're in the in America, and we'll send you out a bumper sticker. I think it was four dollars Canada, five dollars for the UK, uh, and they're signed. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, like, subscribe. Bear Bridget outside. It's, oh, she came back. What? I was trying to do the exit without you, and then you came back. Favorite. I'm gonna take a shower. Thanks for watching, you guys. I don't know the that Thanks. So thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. Favorite. Hashtag bumper sticker. Hmm. And that's it. What's going on, you guys? Bridget was here. And Michael is doing this. Bella, be good. So, huh, Dad gave us what he thought was an impossible task <laughs> of signing every bumper sticker, and Bridget already signed every freaking one of them. Yep. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> All 700. Oh, yeah, Dad lied. Yesterday he said that, oh, I signed all of them. He didn't sign these yet. <laughs> but he's gonna, when we come over today and we have all of these signed, he's going, huh? <laughs> you kidding me? God, I love your signature. It's a horrible signature. I like it. So, anyway, here we are doing this. So. Right now I have the raw egg roulette challenge, saving the prank. It's pretty funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dad, it's so funny, Dad's just dripping an egg yolk by the end of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Click the link below if you want to see the raw egg roulette prank. Oh man. Uh, the aftermath, uh, you saw the aftermath yesterday, so. We're gonna go back over today though, and give them these. So, I can't talk and sign at the same time. Well, it took about three hours, three hours, but they are all signed. The separators, because those are what dad signed, this is what he has to sign still. So, as we said yesterday, if you want one of these bumper stickers, send $3 if you're in the US to the PO box below. If you're in Canada, send $4 to the PO box below. And if you're in the UK, send $5 Five dollars to the P.O. Box below. Ugh, I got ink all over my hand. That was a workout. I better lo have lost weight from that. That's U.S. dollars. That's because, you know, they say we have uh, places that will translate the money here, but we don't. Like, we went, and they wouldn't do it. We are like, oh, they said you do this? No. So we couldn't translate it. So, U.S. dollars... Aww. You're jealous.
So we just got the dads. He doesn't know that we did them all. He called me before I was coming. Well, bring as many of the bumper stickers you did. <laughs> Not knowing that we did them all. I did them first. Bridget was first. I was second. And we finished. So, yeah. oh, here he comes. There you go. How many did you get done? Oh, I don't know. All of them? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you didn't? No, we both did. You I, ain't... I did it first, then he did it. I know, I got a lot to do now. You yeah. didn't do any of these. <laughs> these are the ones you have done. These are the ones you haven't. Well, I'm gonna do them all! <laughs> I'm using my life. I love that thing. I yeah, do too. it's very cool. So we're getting ready to do Mailbag Monday. Mailbag Saturday. Why do you always say that? When do we do it? Saturday. Dead. When does it go up? Monday. Okay. So it's Mailbag Saturday month. Sat month. <laughs> we're getting ready to do Mailbag Sat month. How's that? How about Monday? Monday. That works. Man, a lot of letters, man. So, uh, I brought over some every flavor beans. Uh, they've got stinky socks, rotten egg, vomit. I'm gonna convince that they're the best and he's gonna want them. Somebody said these those, those the bean boozle jelly beans. Really? God damn, I want one. No. Give me one! I know you like jelly beans. Too. I want you and I love jelly beans. Give me it, give me it, give me give me, give me, give me, give me. No. Margaret, if you don't give me that goddamn jelly bean, I'll beat your fucking ass. Come on, Dad, these are like supposed to be like the best flavored jelly beans in the I want a goddamn jelly bean! God! Dad's gonna taste the best jelly beans in the history of jelly beans! Dad! Give me some. Dad, they're little though. That's orange. How is it? It's orange. Try the other flavors. What the fuck? What is? What? That tastes like shit. What is it? The like? fuck you give me? Here. God damn! Here, Dad. That better taste better. That's peach cobbler. Peach. I like peach cobbler. That's not peach cobbler, that's vomit. <laughs> you bastard! That tastes like vomit! Alright, get over here. Let's get more in. Alright. So you know the deal. Here's the game. They have Good flavors and bad flavors. They all bad! No, it's either you gotta find the good ones. You could get a good one, like this could be dirt. Well, oh, damn it. You get it, you eat it! So this could be bacon or something here. Or coffee. Good? Can't get to it. I got a peek. I ain't eat no more. I ain't eat no more. Uh uh, hell no. No, I'm really getting sick. <laughs> okay, this could either be booger or juicy pear. Booger! Tastes like snot. It's booger. <laughs> no, that motherfucker. Oh my. Oh my. Ah! There! Fuck! What is it? I can't do no more. No, I'm getting sick. I am getting sick, Michael. I am getting sick. I can't. No, hell no. What did it taste like? That motherfucker tastes like goddamn warmed over goddamn Luther's boots, some shit. God nasty! 
I'm literally getting sick to my stomach. <laughs> you are not. I literally am. <laughs> you just don't. Well, what you goddamn eat up. <laughs> Take your fat ass and get out of soup bowl. Fuck you. You eat them. Yeah. Put it in your goddamn mouth. Yeah. That's either buttered popcorn or rotten egg. <gasps> Shit. Here you go, Dad. Bridges eat one. Oh, please be popcorn. <laughs> Yo, I'm tired of the game! I'm tired of the goddamn game! Nobody can play anymore! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that was my And the best part is I'm not letting that up. I'm gagging thinking about it. What the hell does that smell? <laughs> what does that smell? I'm sick, Michael. Now, goddamn, I'm gonna eat all this. Sick yourself? <laughs> now, something smells like shit! Man, fuck this shit. What the hell did I got me out of the mouth? I, I think you shit yourself. Is it here? Oh, it's down there. What the fuck? <laughs> you didn't shit your... Man, if I can't handle this, I gotta go. Goodbye, Mike. I'm hot. How's that smell? Oh god. I smell like shit, Michael. I didn't do nothing. Ooh. Oh. I gotta go. Goodbye. Later, Paul. Bye. God, I smell like hell. God damn it, stay! So if you couldn't tell, I gave a little bit of liquid ass to Grandpa. If you wanna oh, see god, it again. This thing is so bad. If you wanna see a full video. If you want to see the full prank, liquid ass, click like, and I'll come back here and I'll make a full day of it. Dad smelling like liquid ass. Dude, the whole house stinks. I know it, man. What is that? Oh, God. Okay, that's it. Go home. I'm going to get out of my house, motherfucker. You're going to get out of my house. I'm, I'm going to go. Okay, I'm gone. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Where is Bridget? And today is Throwback Thursday. Tonight, I decided to tell two stories. One, because I don't know if I told the first one before or not, and I don't want people who already heard it to get mad. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, I've heard this story before. So I'm going to tell two stories. The first one is going to be where I was. <laughs> Seriously, put it up. <laughs> and the second story that I'm going to tell tonight is going to be the aftermath of Grandpa's restaurant. Uh, this actually ties into the 9-11 story because I was at that restaurant during 9-11. So uh, people have been asking me to tell it, well, you know, what happened to Grandpa's restaurant. So this is what happened to it. This is the full story. I'll tell that when I'm with Dad today. But here we go. Throwback Thursday time. I made sure Bridget didn't have the taser. So here we go. Want to scare me with a bitch? Now it's your turn. Is that a spider? Where? Well, are you there in front of you? That. Oh no, it's a viper. Well, Dad, everybody was saying that you got rid of Hannah. Yeah, she's gone, ain't she? <laughs> Dog gone. And ain't going nowhere. So we're gonna give you we're gonna give her a walk now. Look, they redid your road over there. Yeah, I know parts of it all over the whole park. Except for yours. Count on your road to be the one they didn't do. Which way are you going? Come on out. I like that collar you got her.
Look at this, dude. Look at the difference between this road and this road. That's got the goddamn complex too cheap to do the whole thing. Well, how you been today, Dad? It's fucking still hot out here. I know, it really is, huh? Now you gotta piss on a wheel or something. Who was let her try? <laughs> she's just hot. She's, she's a girl. She don't slip the legs people. Oh, that's right. Is there a fire hydrant? Huh? So is there a fire hydrant? They don't do that at high hydrants. Yeah, they do. They just squat. They're squatters. Well, it's Throwback Thursday, so I wanted to tell two stories today. What? And I thought you could help me. Oh, what? Story number one. Was that you in a suit I saw in the goddamn thing? Yes. You looked good if you were laid out in a coffin. Oh, my God. It's your old ass. Yeah, 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 get out of the goddamn street. Get out of here. What was that about? I don't know. Fuck him. He Come said on. to get your old ass out of the street. Yeah, old motherfucker. People want to know the story where we were when 9-11 happened. Fuck away. Huh? The thing is, where was I? Where were you? You were home. Yeah, you were at Gertie's. I was Gertie's fucking drunk. So, my point for my vlogs is going to be, first we'll say where we were, and the second story will be what happened to your restaurant, because people have been asking. Oh, my restaurant? Yeah, well, I'll tell that on the story. So that'll be in a few minutes. Man, you going to break that goddamn chair? Maybe. Jesus Christ, that chair's... Oh, my God. That chair, that chair just started hollering out. Okay, so people are asking... The first question, where were we when 9-11 happened? Columbia. So, you tell your part, and then I'll go to mine. She didn't much tell. I can't remember too much. I was drunk the night before. Slept in the bar. <laughs> we woke up, and... There was a bar... That grandpa, I told you guys about it, it was called Gertie's. It was a place that dad took his restaurant from the flea market and moved it over to a bar called Gertie's. And we took all of his cooking equipment over there. And I that shit when I left. Hold on, that's for the second story. So dad's recollection of 9-11 is being hammered drunk and seeing blurs on the TV that everybody was watching. Yeah. So I looked on the TV and we saw what everybody else was seeing. We saw the buildings with the smoke coming out. we saw that one plane fly into it. Then we saw the other plane fly into it, and it was a crazy day for everybody. It's almost a surreal day. We didn't know what was going to happen to all of us. You know, all we knew was we were under attack. Uh, the plane's flying. About 15 minutes later, Dad comes barreling into the driveway, drunk. I don't know if he was driving or Josh was driving. I think Josh might have been driving. But Dad, get in the car. You're going to Gertie's. You'll be safer there. Oh, yeah, that's where all the liquor was. So here I was, about 13 years old, spending 9-11 in a bar. Yeah, you playing pool. Yeah, I was playing pool while Dad was cooking up wings for everybody and drunk Dad cooking up wings. So, oh, God, these teriyaki or something. I don't know what the hell these is. So we're, so we're watching the coverage and everybody. It was, it was a very surreal day for all of us. Dad, I remember it more than Dad because Dad was a little bit... A little... Dad doesn't remember any of it. I don't remember a damn thing. Do you remember that week? No. You know, rest in peace to everybody that was lost on 9-11. It's very sad. It's, you know, it's a tragic day in American history. So that was where I was on 9-11. I was sitting in a bar playing pool while Dad served wings and got drunk. And eventually passed out on the pool table. Now the second story. People have been asking me, uh, I, I mentioned it a long time ago, Dad used to have a little restaurant. It was in a flea market, it was Smiley's Flea Market, and we sold burgers and ho they want to eat? hot dogs. At, at one point, we, da we dabbled our hands in catering, and that. <laughs> you remember, right, you remember, that your, was funny. remember your first catering job? The, you did spaghetti? Yeah. There were these spaghetti dinners, and... You the noodles on the water well, for, here's the first question. Okay. Dad's noodles for spaghetti, he cooked and froze. Now, explain to me the method of thinking why you couldn't just boil noodles. Because I did them quicker. No, noodles boil in like eight minutes, dude. It doesn't matter. I had them done in one. And they were horrible. I give a fuck. <laughs> you put a sauce on you couldn't tell the difference anyway. Yeah, you could. So. I cut that piece of goddamn French bread and just butter that motherfucker. <laughs> Slapped it on a plate. <laughs> 
We ain't got to hit Elizabeth. Chop, chop, to a tomato and salad. Fuck. Five ninety five. Thank you very much. It was worth five ninety five. I'll say that. But for some reason, Dad cooked the noodles the night before and froze them, and then he <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put them in individual baggies. Yeah. <laughs> the worst mistake you ever made. So. The way he unthawed them is he ran the frozen noodles under hot water, which made them lukewarm, almost cold still. But the sauce heated them up. It did not. The sauce heated them and up. And they were slimy. That depends how you look at it. So here we are, 9 o'clock in the morning. Dad's got these frozen noodles being brushed under water, and we've built 60 plates of spaghetti. And, and I'm on my way out. We're, all right, we're going to deliver them, and I'm walking. Dad's like, all right, you be careful. Right when he said it, I stomp my toe, and about three of the spaghetti plates slide off the top. And Dad, you stupid motherfucking bastard! So that was kind of how the diner worked. Uh... You know, dad flipped out sometimes. I remember one time there was a backup in orders. And I know I've told this before, but it's so funny I want to tell it again. We had a backup in orders, and I guess an extra burger got ordered. And we didn't know who it was for. And they goes, who's this guy named Cheeseburger for? Uh, I don't know. Who's the Cheeseburger for? I don't know. And dad just picks it up, slug, gently glides it across the room, and it hits the wall and falls into this big pile of garbage in the corner. Then we found out who ordered the Cheeseburger. God, it was... I had to cook another, and I got pissed again. So it was a lot of crazy stuff with that restaurant. Then one day, Dad decided, I'm going to go to the bar, which is the Gertie's bar we were telling you about a minute ago. So he took all of his equipment, his grill, his deep fryers, everything. It was ex very expensive equipment, like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And he takes it over to Gertie's. And how long would you say you were at Gertie's? Two months. So you can tell the story better than me because I don't know the full story. Really ain't no story to tell. That guy there, he died, you know, motherfucker should have died. So say what happened at Gertie's. Well, I was sitting there cooking and really wasn't that many orders and all of a sudden they gave me a light bill for $2,000. I said, motherfucker, I owe $2,000 for a light bill. You owe $2,000 in a light bill. I said, man, fuck you. So I walked out and they kept all my equipment wouldn't give it back. So... Uh, they tried to stick the bar's uh, light bill on Dad because they couldn't pay it. Uh, there was never any kind of talk about the splitting any kind of bills. They said, you bring your equipment over here and cook for us, and we get a percentage of what you sell, and you get a percentage, and that'll be how we do it. And you got their percentage? They're still trying to give me their fucking, the bill, the light bill for the fucking bar. Fuck them motherfuckers. You deserve to die. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Dad moved from that till we started doing the snack wagons. Now, I told you about the first shitty version of the snack wagon where we had to dress like clowns and he had the shitty wagon and it was all embarrassing. Well, a few years later, Dad got his hand on a really good wagon. So you set up this wagon at like festivals. I'm done with this shit. I'm through talking. You talk. What? I'm done. This was your idea. You talk. I'm going in. So that'll be my throwback Thursday story for next week when dad was selling at these carnivals and fairs, selling stuff. It's funny too, so that'll be next week. So there's a throwback Thursday story. Where was I when 9-11 happened? And what happened to grandpa's restaurant? So I'm leaving dad's house now. You can't tell him in the back seat. So for tomorrow's vlog, I decided to do the liquid ass prank on dad and it backfired on me if you can't tell. Oh god, Mike. Come on, dude. Please take your shirt off. No, let's please, just go home. Please. So that's tomorrow. That's gonna be in tomorrow's vlog. Well No, seriously, take your fucking shirt off. Come on, dude, this is embarrassing. Don't sit here like this. Take your fucking shirt off. Oh, it stinks real bad. So dad opened it and dumped it all over me. <clears throat> okay, hold on. <clears throat> Take your fucking shirt off. All right. Please. I gotta take my shirt off. I can't record it, but... So you guys know, I gotta take my shirt off right in my own car. It's my own car. Oh, it's our car. In the What's going on, you guys? Keep behind the camera here. Bridge of West, right there. It is about to storm out here, and it is Friday. 
And as you can see, I'm still wearing the, the, the same shirt that I was wearing last night. My plan was to not talk until it cleared up, but it was just taking too long. So, anyway, happy Friday, everybody. Happy does, Friday. does the shirt still stink? That's seriously the same shirt. Yes. I don't, I didn't want to change. Maybe I just got used to the smell. It stinks. So, if you smell, it's like a lingering smell. Like if I wear boxers for like a month, it's like in the fabric. You have boxers for a month? So, so anyway. Dude, I gotta actually, I gotta tell people this. What? Okay. When there's no toilet paper, Michael will take off his month old boxers, wipe his ass with them, <laughs> <laughs> and leave them on the side of the toilet. Get away from me. That's, that's a lie. That's what Michael does. That's a lie. Hashtag Pickle Boy is gross. <laughs> that's a lie. No, no, no. I bet there's boxers in there right now next to <laughs> Nope. So yesterday was the prank, the liquid ass backfire that happened. So, without any further ado, this is what you guys wanted to see. So here you go. This was the liquid ass backfire. Pickle Boy stinks. This was last night. Pickle Boy's gross. Oh God. Pop. Pop. What's up? Wake up. Fuck, does that smell? I don't know, I was thinking you were farting the whole time. I didn't, I didn't shit my pants. What the fuck, Michael? The hell does that smell? I don't know, dude. Damn, it stinks like shit! This happened the other day, you know. Man, like, I don't know what it is, man. Well, here, wake up. I come to see you. Turn that light off, man. God! <coughs> Fuck! Oh God! What is that? <coughs> you know what you do? What? Put, put your hand on your ass area and smell your hand. Oh my God! Oh, it is. Smell! Oh! Hmm. Oh, I, I give up. Go on, I gotta take a bath. Get out of here. This happened the other day while I was here. I know, every time you come around. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's you! What do you got in your hand? Nothing! What? What are you talking about? No, stop! Oh, God, no! No! No, I'm sorry! Ah! Oh, God! Look at that, huh? Yeah! Ah! Ah! No, God, what are you doing? Oh, my God! There you go! Oh! Look what that! Oh, God! Look what that, huh? Mother, I stink, huh? Yeah! Oh, stop! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! Yeah! Hey, you see, Michael? I know! Dad just dumped the liquid ass all over me. It you stinks for- No! No! Oh! Ah. I'm trapped in here with it! Dad, seriously, I gotta get out. I'm claustrophobic. I don't care. Oh, it really stinks so bad! Oh! What if I apologize? No, dude, you know good. No! What? Now get out of my house. I'm not ready to leave yet. Yeah, you are. Wait till Bridget smells you. I'm sorry. So I'm leaving now. I'm not telling Bridget.
What is that smell? That's what I was asking. It stinks. What is that, Michael? <laughs> Bridget, what would I know? Dude, I'm serious. What is that? How do you not know? How do you not know? It's your car. It's coming from outside, I think. No, it smells fine outside. <laughs> Bridget, let's go. Leaving dad's house right now. Dude, what is that? What is what? The smell? Bridget, you're going the wrong side of the road. What is that? I know, there's a car coming, oh fuck. Oh, this car stinks real bad. Dude, what is that? I'm freaking serious, Michael. You what had to smell so fucking bad. You had to have left food or something in the car. No, no, that is not food. That's fucking ass. What is that? What is it, Michael? Dad dumped the liquid ass all over me. What? He dumped it all over me. Get the fuck in the back. I'm not doing that. Get in the back, Michael. Windows open. Are you joking? Sir, go, Michael. It's way more safe. Sir, safe, you stink. Hurry up. Fine. God. Are you serious with this? Yes. I'm not doing it. No, okay, I'll get in the back. I'll get in the back. Oh, man. Oh, God, you stink. Come on! Oh. Oh. Michael, please get out, the, get out my car. What? Get out. Please don't do this to me. Take your shirt off and put it in the trunk. I'm serious. What? Dude, I'm serious. No. Dude, do we have to come here? Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're at Bridget's mom's house right now, and I got liquid ass all over me. I'm sorry you smell like shit, dude. You know, this was part of your idea, this prank. Yeah, well, I didn't expect to get back by it. It's fun. Where? And right oh. there. I'm gonna put one on you. Don't do it. You have any soap in your house? What? Soap? Yeah. Yes. How about using this time? No, this is... Yeah, right. It's li it, Dad did liquid ass on me. No, it's you. Hey! Okay. Let's not make fun of me here. <laughs> what the hell is that smell for crying out loud? Is that you? It's a dog. No, I think it's you, Michael. I think you need a bath. He, he smells like ass. I mean, smells like ass. All right. Michael, I'm starting to get embarrassed. Thinking. I'm recording this, so Bridget's family's kicking me out the house. I'm sorry, mom. I'll be in the car. Did she say you come back when I get a bath? Yeah. You stink, dude. It's really embarrassing. Did you tell them to say that stuff? No. You stink. <laughs> What's so funny over there? I'm guessing Bridget said to say something. No, I didn't. Are you gonna take a bath now? Uh, you need a bar of soap? <sighs> Can we go, Bridget? You're not allowed to talk to your family anymore. <laughs> so that was embarrassing, humiliating. And nasty. Bridget made me chase the car. I didn't think that bad. Dude. You, you it, I did. Okay, I admit it. I did stink that bad. So anyway, here's our fried egg. It's fried eggs. Fried eggs. So. Did Belle just let herself out? Yeah. I want to get back out there. <laughs> so as you can see, that is rain. It's starting. It's raining right over there. Looks like it's coming towards us now. Medical Center. Oh, that's right there is where I got my gallbladder surgery. <laughs> oh man. So we're on our way to go looking around. We're gonna go check out some furniture. And it is pouring. This is me driving like an old person. Good. Whatever gets us there alive. I can barely see. Oh my god. 
This is nuts. So we are at rooms to go right now. Looking for a new couch. Because my fat ass dented the other one. Oh. We are at rooms to go right now. What is this thing for? Like making drinks and stuff? <laughs> that is cool. If we drank, that'd be the thing for us. Well, we just got home. We did not get a couch. Nope. Because uh, we didn't see anything we liked in there. So, oh, you sitting here. <laughs> so, I was standing in the way of bridges now. <laughs> so we didn't get a couch, but whenever I get back from New York, we're gonna look again. So, whoo, long day. I didn't really do much filming. It's late. It's like I'm going on 10 o'clock. So, hope everybody else had a good, safe, fun little Friday. Happy Friday. Drug free Friday. Alcohol free. We'll just say drug free Friday. And that works. Drug free Friday. <laughs> I like it. Free of toxins Friday. <laughs> That's horrible. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all, actually. Yeah, <laughs> That's just terrible. Yeah. What's going on, you guys? Bridget Wise to here. Can't be on a camera here. And first things first is you're probably wondering why I didn't put up a vlog yesterday. I could tell you why. Well, the reason, yeah, yeah, she can tell me why. The reason I didn't upload a vlog yesterday is because if you watched the new video and you see the ending where Bridget was coming at me with a bat, <laughs> let's just relive that for a moment. <laughs> we got Bridget. Ah! Oh, God, Bridget! Right after that happens, I drop the camera, the battery falls out, and it broke. Then we had to go search for a new battery for the camera. Uh, none of them would fit. It was a nightmare. I thought I lost the video. I was like, God damn it, Bridget. I was pissed off. We lost our little robbery prank video. And then we got the battery, uploaded the footage. My shadow looks absolutely enormous behind me. My reflection in the mirror looks like another person wearing a muumuu. But anyway, uh, got the footage uploaded. Was too tired to make a vlog. Got the battery back. Got the camera back. Today is Sunday. Look how I did, Richard. I always do this. Oh. So, it's Sunday. Hey, you gotta tell everyone what happened today. What happened today? You gotta tell everyone. No. You, please. Don't do this to you me. Got, you gotta tell everyone. Don't do this tell to me. The Why? Because. It's embarrassing. It's okay. Okay. So, Bridget is coming to New York now to the wedding. She wasn't originally. It's because I burst out crying. <laughs> It was very, very heartbreaking. For all these people to say, oh, they're unhappy. You know, that's not true. <laughs> We're totally happy with each other. Yeah. And I was just sitting here at the table and I was like. <laughs> oh, it was so sad. I had to cover. I'd hoping she wouldn't see. It was her fault. He's been crying for days, but today was the absolute worst. She was like a. And I've been crying for days, too. I just. She was like a. I'm going to be really sad because I, like, I already was sad. Uh, I made tacos tonight because she wanted she wanted tacos. And so I made tacos and I'm sitting there stirring the meat. Like I'm Aww. really sad cooking. I'm like I miss Bridget already. Aww. And so I started crying at the table and she's coming now. Yeah. So she's coming to the wedding. I'm really happy about that. I'm coming the entire time. That's right. So. Good old 11 days. It's gonna be good. I'm really happy. I, you know, I was really, I've been sad for days about this. So, I'm glad she's coming. I cried. It was embarrassing. Uh, I was trying to, to I was, I, I've been telling Bridget all week, I got a wall up. You know? I'm like, I'm not gonna be sad. I got a wall. You know? The wall don't mean shit if it's being beaten at with sledgehammers. You know? This morning I'm taking a shower and she's like trying to make me sad. She's like putting her face against the glass. <laughs> and I'm like, get out of here. When she walked, I didn't tell you, when you walked out, I was going to get the towel. I was like, <laughs> no way. I was sad this morning. Oh it sucks. So she's coming. So I'm happy about it. So we should buy another suitcase so we can buy all kinds of souvenirs. Yes. Hey, souvenirs. no, we can mail it to ourselves. Yes, we can do we that. We really can do that, yeah. Yes. We're so doing that. Yes. Hell yeah. So, oh yeah, I filmed that. <laughs> so. Let's start our Sunday. First things first. Today feels really good out. It feels, um, it honestly feels amazing. I know. We gotta make sure I have my hoodie because I heard it's like 40 degrees in Dude, Syracuse. I don't have a hoodie. 
You did too. You bought the Carolina one. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Good day. Wow. Awesome. Hey, Bella. You gonna miss us when we're gone, girl? How about you, Clyde? I can't believe you're so devastated. Look at Bella. She's like, I don't care about devastation. I just want a taco. Mm -hmm. You see her trying to get the plate out of your hand? Yeah. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> Bella, you can't have dinner. <laughs> Can dogs have taco shells? Uh, probably not, but a little piece will hurt them. Okay, have a little bite, Bella. Oh, she did have a little tiny bite. Oh. One more tiny bite. Oh, he got Clyde. Clyde, tiny bite. Oh. So right now, Kim still doesn't know that Bridge is going to be coming uh to the wedding so i'm gonna call kim and tell her that i can't come now see what she says i need a reason um i'm sick she's calling back hello no i'm not kidding hello hold on you have 15 minutes and then you have to go potty and brush your teeth and get ready for bed you have school tomorrow Okay, hello? Hey, it's me. Hey, uh, I gotta talk to you about something. Huh? I gotta talk to you about something. Why? What's, what's up? Uh, you know how my flight was supposed to leave Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, it got canceled. So, what? or I'm sick or something. My stomach, I can't come. Oh, come on. Yeah, I can't come to the wedding now. <coughs> what? Nah, you're joking. No, I can't come. Are you serious, dude? Yeah. Really? You too? Bridget, make me a taco. Yeah, it's just my stomach. What? I just, what did you just say? I said it's my stomach hurting. Yeah, but did you just ask Bridget to make you a taco? What? Why aren't you coming? My stomach hurts, you're... Kim. But you just asked Bridget to make you a taco, did you not? So I know you're fucking with me. I didn't ask her to do anything like that. We're watching Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. And someone on there said Bridget make me a taco? I don't It's just my stomach, Kim. I can't come. And my flight was canceled. And your flight was canceled. Okay, pick one. It's both of them. No cheese on my taco, Bridget. Yeah, so it's alright, because I'm going to cry. No cheese on my taco, Bridget. No, no, extra sour yeah, cream. Yeah, okay. My Dude, seriously, stop messing with me. You're going to make me cry. Okay, if you want the straight up truth, I don't want to come. I don't think you and Kyle should get married. I think it's a mistake. And I'm considering writing you off from the family. Well, that's perfectly fine then. If that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. But we've been together for 11 years and I never needed your approval then and I don't need it now, so... Oh, you don't need my You're approval? Not... No. See, this has been the problem with you from the beginning. You've never thought the family mattered and you left us and it's always been... We've always been number two. Well, now your wedding comes number two to me watching Friday Night Smackdown because I'd rather do that. Alright, then I'm gonna stay home. Watch Friday Night Smackdown and fucking snack down on some food and fucking hang out. That's cool. Hey, I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah, it's good for you. I want an apology How's for. Bike doing you? Um, How's the don't. Bike doing you in your garage? Don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. Uh, I want an apology for the snack down I'm joke. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you repeat that? I want an apology for the snack down joke. Yes, yeah, you're. Barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> I'm, not it. I'm gonna call everywhere that you're booked for your wedding and I'm gonna have everything canceled. You don't know everywhere I'm booked. Just accept that I, I have a stomach ache and my flight was canceled. Kim, take the All hint. I accept it that you're selfish. Take the hint, Kim. We don't love you. Okay, Bridget. I know you had a hand in it too. I want you to apologize for Bridget for that statement. 
Bri it. Bridge is more of a daughter than you ever were to dad. What? Are you kidding? I want an apology right now. You're, you're not getting one. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. What do you mean you're just fucking with me? Of course I'm coming. Bridge is coming now. That's what I wanted to call and tell you. Dude, don't be doing that shit. You're going to make me so mad. I'm going to say things because I'm going to regret. Bridge is coming to the wedding now. Really? Nope. Neither one of us are coming. We're boycotting it. I'm just kidding. Aw, <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop being an ass. Really? Is she coming? Yeah, she's coming. Oh, cool. I'll have to go and get the stuff to make her a corsage, too. Oh, so now it's cool that she's coming. A minute ago, she had a hand in me not coming. <laughs> but now it's cool that she's coming. I didn't say that. I was watching Kitchen Nightmares. So, I don't know how much there is. I don't know if there's any. But, I figured, why not show what I didn't show for the vlog yesterday. And I pretty much showed everything. This would be one of the first videos where I didn't cut anything out. Because sometimes, I'm like, ah, I don't know if it fits. I liked it all. So, I kept pretty much everything. So... In that sense, well, let's see what I do have, deleted scenes or whatever, from yesterday's vlog or video. Yes, officer, they, they were breaking into my house. Go steal my stuff. Go take my shit to the pawn shop. Hmm, teach them some bitches. So that's it, that's what they were stealing. They were stealing my coffee pot, my microwave, my other coffee pot, my toaster oven, and then I got a little coffee pot. I caught Michael and Bridget in my house without my permission. And they were stealing my stuff. I thought I'd raise that boy better. Michael and Bridget stealing pop. Oh, I, that's, that's it. Here, why, why were you stealing my house? Look. Oh no, no, I'm no. You're not. No, you're not paying me. I'm gonna still return you in. I'm not taking no bribe. Look. I'm not taking your bribe. That's thirty dollars. I don't want your bribe. No, you're going to jail. Okay. Hey. You just took it on camera. I did not take it on camera. That's still money. Still our money. You bet so you accept it. I don't accept money. There. It's back. That'll take care of the chop shop. I'll take my own self to dinner. Thank you. Okay, so we're good? No, no, we're not good. You're still going to jail. Then give us our money back. You just what stole money? it from us. What money? What I got money? No, I got no camera. You stole it from us now. I, I didn't steal nothing. You threw it on my table. It's my table in my house. We bought this table, actually, so we got the receipt. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's possession is nine tenths of the law. Thank you, man. Goodbye. Okay, so... Dad apparently can't take a joke anymore. Take you to the stocky shuffle, Michael. What does that mean? Stocky shuffle is this. I'll show you. I'm here to stocky shuffle. You got a goddamn ball and chain and quit. You're dragging that ball behind you. Now, i you, little bit. They're going to be tossing your salad in prison. You're going to be big maze, baby. Nobody's going to toss my salad. Don't you break my TV! Hey! You almost broke my cable. Is that plug? Is that the stuff? You gotta plug all that stuff back in, dude. You gotta put all the wires back on. Hey, careful, careful. You're trying to break my shit. Hey, go down over there. Okay, that's a little rough. And you want to? You want to go to jail? What about phone? Call, Dad. Seriously, she's not being cooperative. Seriously, she's not being cooperative at all. You're not gonna try to rob my dad of his stuff like this. I wasn't trying to rob shit. You then look at this. You got a big pile of his stuff. God damn, you breaking all my stuff off, Michael. I can't be having this. I paid a lot of money for that microwave. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. I paid a lot of money for that microwave. It doesn't reach. It had to reach before, Dad. I paid a lot of money for that microwave. You're not going to break it. Look at she want to try to take your little teapot, your little coffee pot. Where do you get the pawn shop and give you that little motherfucker, you dumbass? It wasn't for the pawn shop. It was a prank.
I just put the camera down there to film Clyde because it's really cute. Clyde was sure cute right there. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. Some of that was either extended scenes or alternate camera angles or deleted altogether. Some of the stuff I wasn't sure, like when Dad was doing the stockade shuffle, the I, I don't remember seeing it in the video, which I don't know why I would have left it out because it was my one of my favorite parts. But if I didn't, if I didn't leave it out, there it is again. If I did leave it out, there it is. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. It was a good Sunday. So thanks for watching. Uh, like. Subscribe. Favorite. <laughs> hey, well. Woo, she smoked my bottom. So. Thanks for watching. There's Clyde again. What's going on out there? Oh. Thanks for this, the scene, Clyde. It was cute. Like, subscribe, favorite. favorite. Hashtag Niagara Falls. Good one. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. I'm at the airport. Uh, I didn't record my goodbyes to Kim because I was crying. So I chose to just leave the camera out. Uh, but it was very sad. Lily was crying, asking us why we had to leave. You know, I was crying when I said goodbye to Kim. But, on my way back to Charleston. Kim, I want to say thanks for having us. <sighs> so, here we are. Say hello. Hey. Oh, uh, we're in the Syracuse airport. Okay, so I was fine all morning up until Michael cried, and then Kim was tearing up, and then, oh, I had to grab my eyes and start fanning out my eyes. I just ran to the car. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I'm going to miss them so much. We're, but we're coming back in February. Yeah, we also need to work on getting everyone down to Charleston. That's our next goal is to get Kim and our uncle and everything come down to Charleston. I love your northern family. They're great. They are. They really are. They're, They're great people. Sharon is so... Sharon and Richard and Matthew. Is it Matthew? They're all awesome, yeah. I'm really glad I got to see Matthew. I hadn't seen Matthew longer than any of them. So it was good to see Matthew again. The guy's a stud. <laughs> Fucking stud muffin. I ain't gonna lie, he's pretty attractive. He's hot. <laughs> God damn it, Matthew. So anyway, Matthew, you stud. <laughs> you <So> stud muffin. <laughs> I can say that you cannot. <laughs> so, You're my stud muffin. <laughs> so, I'm just your muffin. <laughs> your raisin muffin. No, I find you very attractive. I'm now I'm the raisin muffin or bran muffin that nobody wants. No, that's not true. I'll go with the blueberry muffin, not the bran. So, Matthew's blueberry, I'm bran. So, sitting here charging my phone with my computer because all the electrical outlets are taken. So, next stop. You should actually put that up because we're recording like probably in five minutes. Uh, it's a pretty quick process putting a computer in my bag, so I got this. See you in the air.
I do that. Thief. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I miss her. Well, we just landed in Charleston. Home. I can't wait to see my little Wiggles. What is Wiggles? You think you find your dog's Wiggles? So they, they run when they're excited and they wiggle. And they wiggle. Okay. They wiggle their whole bodies. So waiting on the bags, which is either this one or this one. I don't know. Clyde, you know we're here, right? <laughs> hey! Hey! Look! Hey. You thought we were gone forever? Oh. Hey! Oh, my little girl. <laughs> That's awesome. So, sitting here at Dad's house. Me and Charlie. Dad pranked me. Made me think he went senile while I was gone. What are you talking about, Charlie? That's enough already. I'm sorry, my god. Bridget was in on it. Hey, where's Tina? What about, do you really not want your shirt that I brought you? Yeah, I want this shirt. I like that shirt. Hand me the shirt, Bridget. But now it's got stuff on it. I gotta wash it. God, man. I gotta wash it. Got you from the anchor bar. And I got you this. this I don't be real good on my ass, huh? I can't believe they ate garbage. Dude, you ate garbage. <laughs> I'll pay for it later. Well, did you miss me for 11 days? Yeah, I missed you. Oh, I know you missed me. He him. did. You text me that picture in case you forgot what I looked like. I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. Did you forget that too? Yeah, look at this. Did you, anybody ever know that he was wearing his freaking underwear over his shorts? <laughs> well, when you go see now, the first thing goes your dressing. And you got all those pencil shavings. That was hard to do with that goddamn sword. You did not sharpen those with that sword. With that sword. How long did that take? About an hour. Commitment you'll have to do a prank. To get you, yes. Well, be prepared, because you're getting pranked a bunch. I'll get you again. Just so you know, it was mostly him. Oh, she's getting it. No, no, Michael, it was mostly him. Dude, you're getting pranked. No, I, had to, I just had to tell him, like, when we were coming over. Hey, my hair's growing back. You happy about that? Hell yeah. I don't want to talk to you. They look good. Oh yeah, how's your eyelid? Let's see if there's a mark. There is a mark. I know it. You know, I feel bad about that. You should have. Dad bitched you out for that. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> I hungry. heard it. What you want? I don't know. Tell me what you want to eat. We'll get it. I want a salad. Who sells salads? Where's your know. Slim Jims at? What Slim Jims? I ain't, them thugs gone the same day I get them. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, oh man, dad would have loved them then. At the pumpkin patch, they had homemade Slim Jims. I don't know if you oh, would eat them. I hate you. Why did we get them? I don't know, I didn't think dad would like them. I want all the Slim Jims I can get. These were homemade ones. Do you know my birthday's coming up? Hint, hint. Obviously, I knew that. Is it October 16th? Yep. Yep. Oh, alright. I was planning on, if anybody sends you anything, Nobody opens anything and you open it all like a birthday thing. That'd be cool. You like that? I, I like did, that. Did that last year. Yeah. It'd be a long video though. 
So, Grandpa's birthday is coming up, and every year people like to send him stuff for his birthday. So, if you want to do that, the P.O. box is below in the description, and everything that gets sent is being put away for the 16th when he has a birthday party. I ain't no goddamn birthday party. Yeah, you are. It's just not a surprise party. I'm gonna try to get people over. Um, I, I, I won't know about my birthday, Charlie. As far as the wristbands go, they're gone. They're all gone. They're all well. I got some coming in because there's some people still ordered some that I'm waiting on them to come in, and when they do, I'm gonna mail theirs out to them. And those, and there was a couple people that didn't get them yet. Right, and as soon as I get that, they're gone. So yeah, if you order the one, you got it coming. I got some order on order. So, but I got plenty of bumper stickers. So. Order your Aunt Grandpa bumper stickers, and in a, hopefully another week I got another surprise coming for you. So, order your bumper stickers. What's the surprise? You'll find out then. You're not even going to tell me? No. What's the surprise? I'm not telling you. Hey! Did you help Grandpa play in that prank against me? Alright, what did Hannah have to do with it? She told me to do it. I bet you believe that too, don't you, yeah. David Berkowitz? I do. Oh! <laughs> Drop the camera. Hey, Anna! Go home. You ain't happy to see me? Yeah, I'm happy to see you, but I ain't gonna hug you. Oh, I'm hugging you anyway. <laughs> oh, God damn. Oh, my God, don't kiss me, man. We all know you missed us. You might give me vagina spiders. Well, home with Grandpa. Thumbnail time. We're back. Thumbnail. I like that. That's good. All right, Pop. Bye. Bye, Bridget. Bye. And don't worry, you'll see me a lot more. Oh, oh my yeah. God, I hope not. Take your time. Oh, don't worry. October's around the corner. Yeah, yeah. you'll find out. What's going on, you guys? Kid behind the camera here, bro. She said the kid behind the camera here part. <laughs> kid behind the camera here. Bridget West, right. Bridget West is right there. Right here. Today is Monday. Uh, Happy Monday. First things first, we're gonna go see Dad today. Yep. That what should are we be gonna fun. do over there? So, happy Monday, everybody. First things first, I wanna say, uh, God, my lip, I hate it. See, I got this bump forever now. What bump? What's going on, you guys? Keep me on a camera here. Right there. And today, we're gonna prank Angry Grandpa. Yep. You excited about this? So, we decided that we were going to do a pinata filled with fake blood. My idea. Mm, no, that was not your idea. <laughs> uh, so, I tried taking cut of it. first things we're going to do is we're going to go to Walmart or Target or somewhere and we're going to check out pinatas. Let's go to Target. Target. Uh, something Halloween, you know, a ghost or a pumpkin or some sort of Halloween themed pinata and we are going to fill it with a gallon of fake blood pretty exciting we're gonna tell him that his stuff's in it and that if he wants it he's gonna have to beat the pinata with a baseball bat so that's happening today it is Wednesday Happy Wednesday, everybody. Not doing a Wednesday weigh-in today because of New York. <laughs> but I will do a Wednesday weigh-in next week. Yeah, me too. Give my, giving myself a week off. So, Wednesday weigh-in returns. It's no secret. We gained weight in New York. <laughs> no secret. So, back to life as usual. That's what we've been doing lately. So, anyway. So, I'll do a Wednesday weigh-in next Wednesday. Uh, Monday, we'll also be doing a new Mailbag Monday because we haven't done that since I was in New York. So, all of that returns next week. Back to life. Happy October 1st. Happy October 1st. This is prank month. I got some good ones planned, you guys. Hashtag pumpkin. Some of the footage you're about to see next is going to be the uncut footage from the pumpkin video because the intro is going to be me talking and while I'm talking it cuts to clips like I'm going to say you know I'm hanging up a pinata and you'll see the pinata by now you've probably seen the video if you're seeing this one so up next is the uncut footage. Is it filled? Not yet. I think we should fill it first. Why? So blood doesn't leak everywhere? I don't know. 
If it leaks everywhere, it's a fail anyway, huh? Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, this is thick. <laughs> oh my this god. This blood is thick. This is crazy. Will it hold? I hope. Look at this, look how low it's getting. Holy shit. Look at this. Come on, here, grab the stick. What stick? All right, we'll lead you. I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't worry, Dad. You're gonna be feeling, you're gonna feel like a kid again. Where am I at? Ow! I stuck my toe. Where the hell am I at, Michael? You're outside the front door. I'm gonna bust my ass, Michael. Make sure you grab the rails. What rail? Michael, where am I going? There's what? stairs. Be careful. I fucking hate you. No! Ah! You're a bloody, Michael. I fucking hate you. Got him. And then he got me. Happy October! Oh, come on. That's right. This starts fucking October, don't it? Day number one. <laughs> you motherfucker. So I hear dad in there bitching. How you doing, Pop? Well, be here a while. Are you? Yes, I am. So, I just did a pinata filled with blood prank on dad. Then I dumped more blood on him in the shower. You see, so I, too, I need some know. towel. I need some, I need some tissue. I, there ain't none. I'm holding it right now. So, I filled a pinata filled with fake blood. It busted all over Dad. He put it all over me. I poured more on him in the shower, and now here we are. And I'm gonna get you when I get out. Get you when I get out. Oh yeah, you ain't. There's a lot of blood. Dad's in there taking a shower. Dude, that was so awesome. I was crying, laughing behind the camera. <gasps> me too. Me so, too. You got blood on your glasses. I'll wash them. Right. So, that's just a little taste of a prank Dad's getting this month because I got some good ones planned. I thought of a good one. Which was what? I'm not saying. So we got plenty of pranks planned for this month. Pranks for the vlogs, pranks for the main channel. Wait, it, vlogs? Yeah. We're doing pranks and vlogs too. You ain't pranking me. Yes, I am. Pranks all month. And when I was saying that, I was referring to Dad getting pranked in some vlogs. But Bridget too. Let's just yeah, I'm, I'm that's it. That's that. So anyway, October is here, baby. Happy October. Happy October 1st, everyone. Happy October 1st. We're sitting here with Dad. When can He's we go talk to Ghost downtown? That's sometime this month. Awesome. Maybe a prank? We'll see. Happy October, everybody. This is going to be a good month. Hope you guys love the videos. Hope you guys like October because this is my favorite month of videos. Dude, October. it's my favorite month of videos. It's my favorite month of the year. So, love it. this is my Christmas. Yep. As I wash blood off of me. Yeah. So, here we go, everybody. October full throttle. Well, how you feeling, Dad? You look clean. It's been what? It's dark now, dude. <laughs> now I go to bed. It was still light outside when you went in the shower, and when you got out, it was dark. How long was you in there? A while. How did you get on that boat for goddamn shower you put in there? Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. Well, how was your day? You got your phone back? Oh, you didn't get it back, did you? No. Where, where did we put that phone? I'm still waiting on it. Oh, I think I'm... Oh, Jesus. Okay, here's how it happened. I don't want to hear that shit! 
I'll explain. When we first started, I don't want to hear it. Planning the prank. Go we, buy me another one. We were gonna put your stuff in there, and then we covered it with blood. Go buy me another one. No. Now. No. I expect the phone in the next thirty minutes. It's closed. Find a way. I'll get you a track phone. No, oh, fuck you. I ain't no track phone. Where's my phone? It's probably in the ditch. You think it could be, like, dried out? I'll beat your ass. It's October. Now you turn that off and leave. I'm not turning it off. That's the thing. Turn it off and leave. So. This is October 1st. And you got me with blood. Yep. First, first day of the month, you already got pranked. Blood leads to blood. What does that supposed to mean? It means it's gonna be your own porn. <laughs> this is scary. Cause I'm gonna conjure up some ghost. Oh please. You better be careful conjure up them ghosts, dude. They become real. Even wishing it. We're gonna find out. We are gonna find out. I know. I wanna take a Ouija board to a graveyard. Oh let's no! Fuck, let's fuck around then. Let's conjure some ghosts in Dad's house. He thinks that uh, I'm scared of him. I'm a, I'll bring the ghost box over here. Bring it. Bring, I'll bring it over here. Bring it. Dude, learn how to do with those those boxes you ordered. You want ghosts? You remember that time you thought ghosts were here and you were terrified? You really want them? No, I don't. Do the last of all the. Oh no! You want to talk? Yeah. Stop it. That's Stop. how you conjure them. I read a book. Well, go do it at your house, not mine. Call a bush to Kama. <laughs> Conjure de spirito. Ah! Okay. Blood will draw blood. That's the second time you said that. <laughs> Call Kutumo. I just got him to go away. I don't know, dude. It causes gas. What is that behind you? Ah! That was it. Get out of here, my conjured spirit. Get out. Get out of my house. Now then, if you want me to get the spirit to leave, ask nicely. Get out of my house. I'll leave. The spirit stays, though. Get out of my house. All right. See you, Pop. Bye. What do you want for your birthday? Yeah, you stay away from my house for a year. Tell me some stuff you want, and I'll think about getting. I don't know. Well, let me see. I need a cigarette roller machine. I need some more Zippos. I need some clothes. I need some Slim Jims. I'm not getting you none of this stuff. I'm going to bite my ass in. How about I give you a snow cone machine? I don't like snow cones. I was joking, obviously. I did a cotton candy machine. You want a cotton candy machine? Hell yeah, I can make I can't eat sugar because so I don't want help. I am not getting you a cotton candy machine. I'm sorry. Hot dog machine? What is that? It makes hot dogs. I like hot dogs. They sell those hot dog machines? Yeah. I'll look at, I'm not getting it for you, but I want to look into it. <laughs> Then I can have a hot dog, a Sunoco hot dog anytime I want it. They sell those machines? Yeah. I would totally buy one of those. They do got them. All day, Dad just has hot dogs rotating. They got a bit of Sam's. Hot. Really? Yeah. And you would have hot dogs rotating all day, wouldn't you? I would. I, I, could, eat, I could eat hot dogs all day. One way to make me eat. Yeah, you do need to eat more. Now leave. Make me Your leave. Your presence is no longer desired. Make me leave. How about that? Oh! I'm out of here. Bye, Michael. Bye, Bridget. Bye. I'll see you on the flip flop. On the flip flop? Yeah. You mean flip side? Whatever. See you on the flip flop, Dad. Bye. What's going on, you guys? Kippy on the camera here. As you guys, TR, we're driving on Rivers Avenue. And right now, we are on our way to the mall over here. And we are planning some pranks. Today is the day we're planning for some pranks for Grandpa this month. Got a lot planned. Hold on, I'm terrified as we drove. Good God. <laughs> anyway, we are going to Northwoods Mall. So here we go. Yeah, like this is embarrassing to show our Northwoods Mall. I know, this is our mall. Why can't we have a destiny? So here we are at the mall, our piece of crap mall. Yeah, you know. I liked it before. I know, I did too. Now I want a pink store. This was a very good mall up until the time we went to Kim's Mall. Now this mall sucks. Yeah. Anyway. Trash mall. This is Thursday. Throwback Thursday. Gonna have another story for you tonight. That sounded weird. Gonna have another tuning in. Gonna have another story tonight for you guys. Talk about that in a minute. Uh, it's Halloween month, so figure why not make it a Halloween story. So happy Thursday, happy Throwback Thursday. 
Now let's go to the mall and plan for some pranks. Well, here we are at Halloween Express. You excited, Bridget? I love the store. I do too. Look at this. <laughs> yes. It's a good idea, right? Yeah. Getting lots of stuff for pranks in here right now at Halloween Express. Couple for Bridget. So, good stuff. This is a. Uh, my first stop in one of my pranks. I got lots of places to stop at. So, number one. How? Let's get your dad. I, I, it doesn't look good enough though, it's stiff. Oh. I need like a rubbery snake. Wait, I may have saw one over there. Your rubbery one? Yeah, a better one. Dude, well. We are now leaving the Halloween Express. We got some stuff for pranks. Open the door. Excited? Oh yeah. Just getting some preparation going. Well Dad, you want some donuts? No, I don't need no donuts. Then I'll take them home. There's a pumpkin spice cake. You, oh hell no. I love those. What is with you not liking pumpkins? I don't like pumpkins! Why? It's because you look like one when you smile? Let me tell you one goddamn thing right now. You saw the picture I sent you, right? Yeah, I did. So, Where the hell's your mama? Tina! I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> anyway, she is here though. She's upstairs. Oh shit, I gotta leave. I'm not joking. Mom and mom's upstairs sleeping. I gotta leave. Let me wake her up. Oh hell no, I'm leaving. Nanny's here. JC, go to upstairs and go get Nana. No! JC, send your ass down! <laughs> yeah, she, she said she said she'd be down here in a minute. Oh fuck, I gotta go. Nope. And she I'll see said, you later, Mike. Hey, she heard Pop, she said she couldn't wait to see him. See you later, Mike. I oh, gotta go. you hear that? I gotta go, Mike. Let me go. Dad, I'm joking! Dad, she's not here. Shut the door. Oh, we'll leave this goddamn house in a New York What? Well, I think up here. Here she comes. <laughs> Come on, Mom! I'm joking! Ah, my foot! Ow! Oh, by, oh, by the way, I'm a nerd. Oh, oh, hey there. <laughs> I got braces. I can hear it now. Oh, God, pickle cheese got white. <laughs> Let's see here. Horns. This is from Joe Hill, who is actually Stephen King's son. Uh, the movie comes out soon. I heard about it from a friend of mine named Jim. He was telling me to read the book Horns, so I got it. And I also got, you might remember me from, The Life and Times of Phil Hartman. So, a book on Phil Hartman, also horns. Looks like Bridget got Best Ghost Tales of South Carolina. And what is this? Charleston Ghost. So, we're just chilling around the house. Little day. Oh yeah, these were the glasses that came with those braces. So, this is what I would look like as a nerd. Also, this is what I would look like as a nerd. Okay, you guys, who's excited? You excited for this bone? These dogs are about to get some special bones. While Lee eats his dinner. Oh, he's a slow eater. Hang on, big girl. So we got them some specialty bones today, and they're gonna enjoy them. Oh, look at her. Look at that. Hello. Look at that good girl. So you see, they are these frosted cranberry covered bones. You see that? Jesus. Don't worry, you're going to get it. I promise you. I promise you you're going to get it. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Go ahead. Take it over there and eat it. These ones here. Okay, so we are going to put the nerd glasses and teeth with braces on Bridget now. Ooh. 
Hey guys. You're supposed to see yourself afterwards. <laughs> You're supposed to put them a little better than that. <laughs> Give them to me so you can see this. You don't know how to put these on? I tried. Yeah, my teeth are like little or my mouth is little or some shit. Hey guys. Because it just doesn't work out. <laughs> like that. Your turn. <laughs> you don't like them? Oh gosh, Joe. I'm wearing forever. <laughs> All right. Charleston goes. <laughs> <laughs> that is Boyd Bridge. Oh, that thing is creepy. That is a creepy mask, dude. So. Hey. <laughs> this is one of the masks we got at the Halloween store today. It reminds me of Insidious when they're dead. Yeah. So, anyway. Lots of stuff planned for this month. We got a whole bunch of good stuff here. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ow! Oh! Well, it's October and Thursday, which means it's gonna be my first throwback Thursday story. And because it's October, I wanted to do spooky ones. <laughs> Halloween <laughs> throwback Thursday. Turn up the light. You can't see me. That's true. <laughs> so for the first Throwback Thursday of October, I wanted to tell the story of a dream. And you're probably thinking, oh, what? A dream? Just bear with me. Listen to it. Tell me what you think. So first things first, Bridget has long tried to suspect me of being a psychic. Dude, you are. I don't believe in psychics. No, you are. They don't exist. You're Psychic don't exist. I have predicted stuff that I can't explain. I have a notebook where I've predicted stuff. Uh, but that's not important. So anyway. No, she, dude. It's pretty freaking cool. She, I wasn't going to tell anyone, but since you did, now I can elaborate how cool it is. Well, I don't, I don't want to give the specifics. You're totally because, psychic. Because there are names and there's stuff and I don't want to bring it up. So... Bridget Longs believes that I'm a psychic. I don't believe in psychics. I uh, sometimes got I've gotten some things right. Having said that, the very end, very first instinct of anything that could be considered psychic happened to me when I was a kid. Uh, I can't t I couldn't tell you how old I was. Let me see what time it is. Let me. Nine thirty. Call Dad real quick. I, I'm gonna ask him. It's about my bedtime. I'm gonna ask Dad what year Grandma moved to that house. All this will make sense for the story in a minute. Hello? Hey. Hey, buddy. What year did Grandma Green move into that house at Swansea? Good Lord, Michael, you were... You were four. Four? That don't sound right. <laughs> yeah, four or five. No, you were six, because you just started school. So I was about seven years old, and my grandma moved to this house in Swansea, South Carolina. It's this little town, little farming area. However, before she moved, I was having these dreams, and I was having them for, for about six months. Almost every night, the same dream, very creepy. I didn't know what it was about, what it was explaining, but I was terrified to go to sleep sometimes. So I was about seven years old. So the first dream that I had was me sitting on this on the front porch. I had a deck, and I could see there were leaves everywhere, and there were trees. And across the street, there was a farm, and I could see rolls of hay. And at the top of the driveway, there was a guy. And he was just standing there, the whole dream staring at me. Just at the front of the driveway, just standing there. The next night, I had the same dream, only the guy was a little bit closer. Now, this continued. Every night, I was having this dream where the guy would get a little bit closer. I got to the point where I could see the guy. He had brown hair, and he had this look on his face like... 
and he was getting closer and he was getting closer. It got to the point where he was at the front of the steps. There I am on the porch looking at this guy for the remainder of my dream and he's staring at me. And the dream was horrifying because, uh, you know, who wants to dream about some guy just like staring at you? And so I had, it was nightmares. I could, I, you know, I didn't know how to explain. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know, you know, why I was having the dream. I didn't tell anybody. I was just scared to go to sleep. Then my grandma gets this little house in Swansea, the one I was referring to earlier. She gets the house. We go to it. We're checking it out. I go to the front porch and it is the front porch from the dream. Uh, it's the same porch, same trees, farm in the front yard. It was the area. It was the house. I had no. I, I still don't have an explanation for it. There was no guy. That part I can't explain. That I don't know. But the guy was never there. I never saw the guy. I never, you know, came in contact with the guy. I don't know what it was, but I saw the front porch. I was there. It was the front porch for my dreams. And I never had the dream again. But the idea that I was dreaming about a porch that I had yet to visit, and then I got to it and then stopped having the dream, I can't explain. Now, like I said, I don't believe in psychics. I'm not a psychic. Maybe it was some sort of thing where, you know, I, I don't know. Regardless... You know, there's an explanation somewhere. I don't have the explanation. If you have it, tweet me the explanation. Let me know why I was dreaming about some guy at a porch that I had yet to visit. Because I don't have the explanation. It's still, I still remember that dream sometimes. Because I can still see the guy's, you know, the guy's face. But anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it for today, you guys. That's my first Throwback Thursday story for October. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the story. If you didn't, my apologies. I'll have another one next Thursday. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. I have another crazy dream. You what? Had, you told me. What? Should I say it? Well, you've already brought it up. That prediction you made, and then like a week later. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so you had a dream about Michael Jackson, and he was in a beautiful little garden. And he said, Liz is going to be here soon. And then she fucking died like a week later. Liz. Uh, anyway. Michael, you're seriously a fucking psychic. I had a dream. Luckily, I told Bridget about the dream. I had a dream. Uh, there was this little garden. And Michael Jackson was in it. And he was saying, oh, Liz is going to be here. Liz, I'm so excited. And like a week later, Elizabeth Taylor died. But... Anyways, I'm not psychic. I don't believe in psychics. It's Dude, just a coincidence. You are so psychic. It's a coincidence. No. <laughs> but anyway, that's the first Throwback Thursday story. Maybe it wasn't creepy enough. It's creepy to me. That's why I'm telling it. Because, you know, I was, for months I was having dreams of some guy. Please have another scary psychic dream. I love hearing that. That's it for today, you guys. Like. Like if you think Michael should dream. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, favorite. Follow me on everything. <laughs> Click like if you're not going to follow Bridget on no. anything. No! <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's and it. And follow me on everything. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on you guys? Keep behind the camera here and I asked you a few hours ago on the vlog if you want me to scare Bridget with a bag of roaches to click like. And you clicked like. Now, I just got the dogs out of the bed because I don't want them freaking out because she's gonna freak out because she's terrified of bugs. It's time for Bridget to have a cockroach wake up. So I'm sitting here with Bridget right now. I'm sitting here with Bridget right now! Hey. I'm vlogging. Say hey. What time is it? Oh, light's flickering. Uh, 4.30? Wake up! It's 4.30. Bridget! Bridget, what the fuck is that? <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> Oh 
Marcia, please let me in the room. Kill them! Dude, what if someone calls the cops? <laughs> what are you screaming about? I didn't see anything. <laughs> They're fake! Okay, our neighbors may call me cops. It is way too early in the morning for screaming, blood-curdling screams. Good morning. <laughs> Embarrassed? What? I got it. They look pretty good. Where are the dogs? Downstairs. Probably freaking out now that you were blood curdling, screaming. Well, oh my dog is fucking real. Today we're getting down a pumpkin, by the way. How do you feel about that? That's a real one, actually, on the wall. Stop. Okay, so what do we do about the neighbors if they call the cops? Deny it. Help me get all these, you scattered them. You did it, you pick it up. I gotta go to bed now. Well pick them up, and these ones, ew. Okay, I didn't have this many, so. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, that worked. I didn't expect her to get as freaked out as she did. <laughs> Gee whiz. Dude, I'm so fucking getting you. I'm serious, How? I'm getting you. That wasn't even that bad. What's to me? It ain't as bad as the prank we got playing on Dad. Who cares? I'm still gonna get you real bad. Oh, Jesus! How about that? Wake up. Stop! Time for me to go to sleep now. Night. What's going on, you guys? Kippy Hannah, give me some. Just kidding, it's female shit. <laughs> oh, you sprayed the camera. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is my favorite stuff. Why? It, because it's October. Pumpkin, man. I'm sick of it. I love pumpkin. It's awesome. Oh, Michael. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, my God. You're going to smell like me. <laughs> okay. So, happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday, everyone. Today, we're going over to Dad's house, and we're bringing with us a little surprise. Want some lotion, too? Pumpkins. <gasps> That's right. Bridget. How did you like your little wake up? I'm gonna get you back. Just so you know. <laughs> no, dude, I'm really gonna. The get thing you is, back. you saw the roaches. You picked them up in yesterday's dude, vlog. Dude, looks fucking real. Look at this. This is it Bridget. It looks so fucking real. This is Bridget picking up the roaches. What? Yes, remember like the uh, the fake knives you bought? Yeah. They're gone. So, Bridget's terrified of fake roaches. I'm terrified of fake bugs, bugs. I hate anything like that. So. And I'm really mad at you, Michael. We're going to Dad's house. First, we're going to stop at a pumpkin patch somewhere, and we're going to get some pumpkins for Grandpa to carve, baby. This is our annual pumpkin video. We're leaving. Bad time. Oh, God. You know what pumpkin's out there, is it? No, I gave up. I give up too. Hey Bridget, can dogs eat pumpkin? No. Yeah. They won't eat it. I was saying you can give Hannah some pumpkin. <laughs> Hannah won't eat it. Why won't she? Because I ain't gonna do it. So. Well, it's, it's a laxative for dogs. Very much. <laughs> you, you want, it really is. You want Hannah to shit all over your floor, give her some pumpkin. No, thank you. <laughs> so, leaving dad's house right now. I did the pumpkins, I'm exhausted. Look at my knees, man. Oh my. How many belt? It Got came undone in. during the video. Yeah, okay. Is there any on my back, Bridget? Wipe it off before I get it's all the car. your shoes. It's all over you. It's all over you. Where are you? Oh, man. Got you good. Well, is it safe to say you're done with pumpkins for a year? For a whole year. Don't bring none next year. Next year, you're getting four pumpkins. We'll see. Or seven. Or nothing. Every year you do, and I'm adding a pumpkin. Why? Because it's funny, it'll make it funnier. You should make a pumpkin pie. You should kiss my ass. Make a pumpkin pie and... Well, I'm gone. Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, Bridget. Happy pumpkin day. Yeah, fuck you. Well, here we are back at the house. Uh, obviously, as you can see, uh, the pumpkin video is not in the vlog today. Reason number one is because, what time is it right now? 
oh god, it's late, and you know, I have all this footage to sort through, I gotta get a vlog up, so I'm gonna put the pumpkin video up tomorrow, and with that, I'm gonna put the aftermath in tomorrow's vlog, because I don't know what I'm using for the pumpkin video, etc., so all of that stuff's gonna be tomorrow, let me just say, messy. Messy, loud, and I slipped a bunch of times because that was the slippery. That's the slippery. That was the slipperiest. That doesn't sound right to me. The slipperiest. I've never felt this floor so damn slippery. How about that? Does that work? So, uh, because I'm not putting the video up today and there's nothing in the vlog, let me just show you a couple of clips. First, let's show you a clip from the pumpkin video itself. Check this out. Now, pumpkin! And I'm done! Good God! And then, check out this preview from the vlog for tomorrow with the aftermath footage where uh, I decided I was going to try to do a moonwalk. Check this out. No! Get all the pumpkin out my house! No, I'm out of here! Hey, Gabe hey, Bridge, I could probably do the moonwalk. <laughs> probably. Film me. It is freezing cold out here right now. It's 50 degrees. I got like a little closer on my face. I was like, it's 50 degrees. So anyway, it's cold out here. I'm ready to go inside and bundle up. Oh, first, before I do that, I gotta show everybody the shed. So we had that shed, and you notice I'm using the past tense. We had that shed on a yard. Bird, you gonna come with me? Yeah. Cause I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah. So let's turn this on. We had a guy come over today and tear the fucking shed down. Our neighbor, <laughs> our neighbor was like so relieved because I hate that shed. So like, us too. So we're taking the shed down. Let's go look at it. Right Be now. Be careful. It's, oh God. Right now. Spiders, it's, rats. Okay, you're gonna scare me. So right now it's in pieces. He's coming back tomorrow and finishing it up. But this is the shed, or what used to be the shed. I'm so happy. Oh my God. We hated that shed. I want to put a pool or something up. <laughs> So, I'm scared to walk around. This is, you can't really see it right now, but this is, I'm not wearing my glasses. Is there a rat anywhere? Right there! What if I was stepped on a nail? <laughs> so, this is the top to the shed right there here. Is... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm scared. So, uh, and don't think I didn't see those little fake rats you bought at the Halloween store. <laughs> I saw them. <laughs> you ain't get me with no fake rats. Fuck you. Let's look at this. Let me show you if she was going to try to get me. No, no, let's look at this. She was going to try to get me with this. Like I wasn't going to see it in the bag. Here it is. This is what she tried to prank me with. Not gonna work. Sorry, Bridget. You know, it might have worked if you had it out there by the shed just now. I probably would have shit my pants. But it didn't. You didn't. Didn't work. Not afraid of this thing. Saw it. And that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Appreciate, you know, you guys watching. I appreciate you guys clicking like yesterday to tell me you guys wanted to see Bridget get fake roaches thrown on her. Uh, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna start getting information released for you guys on the next prank. It's my biggest prank that I've ever pulled, and to do it successfully, I've had to get Dad offline. His computer's in the shop, his cell phone cannot connect to Facebook, you know, I took all the measures. He's not going to be able to get on the internet because, you know, I got a lot of other people involved in the prank and I'm afraid something might leak and, I, you know, I can't take the chance. So, starting tomorrow, you'll see the hint, it'll be in the aftermath footage. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. You'll see it. it. It'll be plain and clear when you watch the aftermath footage where I'm going, what the prank is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna happen uh, in about two weeks. So dad is gonna be off of the internet for two weeks. So fingers crossed, it'll be my biggest prank to date, my biggest scale prank to date. I, you know, go big or go home. And I figured, you know, 
it, you know, it'll be on the second half of October. It'll probably go up after his birthday. So why not do something good? So dad's off the internet for the next couple of weeks. Uh, thanks for watching you guys. Thanks for always being there. Thanks for, you know, thanks for the support and giving us to even allow me to do a prank that I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. You know, that alone is really awesome. I hope you guys love it. You know, in my head, it's good. You know, it's got a lot of working elements to it. It's got to work perfectly. I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping I'm going to pull it off. I do not want to call it a fail. I do not because it's my favorite idea I've ever come up with. So you'll see it tomorrow. You will get the idea. You'll know where I'm going. And thanks for everything, you guys. Maybe it's not a little emotional. I, I am a little emotional because, you know, even with the hate and, and the shit talking in the comments, which trust me, you know, try as you might, it doesn't bother me. You know, a lot of people, oh, Michael, I hope you die. You're disgusting. You're a slob. It doesn't bother me because either way, I appreciate the support, whether it's negative support, whether it's positive support. I appreciate it nonetheless. You guys are awesome. You share the videos. You like the videos. You tell your friends, look at this fat fuck. You know, look at this angry old man. And I appreciate it. You guys are fucking awesome. So thanks for always being there. Thanks for sticking. And this month is going to be fucking awesome. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it. God, ow! Are you okay? No, man, I fell only five times. Why don't you just mop the floor? Sweep the floor. Look at the bottom of my shoes. Ooh, nasty. God. Oh my god. Hey, better you fall instead of me. You're going to fall. <sighs> I only fall if you push me. Oh, oh, you shit. broke a goddamn thing, boy! Why'd you bring it wrong? Holy oh, shit! You mother! <laughs>
I'm going to clean up and I want y'all to leave. I'm not coming out of my house to this cell. You want to go? You're going to go! No! You want to go out my house? No, I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, Gabe Bridge, I could probably do the moonwalk. <laughs> probably. Film me. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh! oh. Don't you die, you might turn into a zombie! Oh. My foot feels broken. Are you okay? Ah! Ah! This one? Yes! Ah. Don't laugh. <laughs> it hurts. So what is, that's a good question. What is this stuff? You put cheese in that motherfucker to hide. Look! It's like the pe it's like the edges. I don't know what it is. Ew. Taste it. You got me scared, Michael. We're freaking scared. We, we already got like a taser and everything. Oh, man. They say if you like sneeze up like orange, like stickiness, you got the Ebola virus. Zombies. <laughs> I, I'm choking! Ah! Michael, get over here. No, Rug. take that to the trash can. Give me a minute. <laughs> this is miserable. <laughs> oh my god. My belt busted. Oh, I feel broken. Oh, man. Play me Evanescence, because I feel broken. Oh. All right, stop picking a big piece put in there. Don't you order me around, now! Are you going to do it? Are you gonna do it? Yes! Yes, what? Yes, sir. But I'll be more goddamn respecting your ass. Never got. No! What was that? Oh. Okay, I guess, sir! Boy, I cut your ass when you were little, I cut your ass when you were big. Don't laugh, Bridget. <coughs> Maybe Bridget Paul should have cut her ass. <coughs> I bet you ain't never had a spanking at Hey. Yeah, I have. Liar. I gave one last night. <laughs> I made a, a real spanky. Jesus Christ, you need to pick the big I'll spit all the little stuff up, you dumbass. God, you're a fucking retard. <laughs> you are a window lip. Gross. Mm -hmm. I did it. I paid her five times as much as you. You did it! Oh my god. You know, by the way, you hear me? I'm gonna slip again. Did you hear me? What? I told you not to get. I told you to get out of my way. And I was moving. And I said, did you hear me? Yes. Yes. What? I'm not doing. Putting up with this. Yes. What? Yes, sir. Michael, said... stop. It's yes. I'll teach you some goddamn respect too. Richard, I grew up getting beat by his mom for saying yes. I believe in respect. You know, you need to stand up and do this shit. My feet hurt. I feel like I broke them. Stand up or I get a baseball bat to your ass. No, you're not gonna do that. And I know you won't, so I'm staying down. Da 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 so are you! Yeah, so is your mama. Hey! I don't know, man. Next year, four pumpkins. And I don't give a shit. I'm sitting. Yeah, we're we'll gonna see how long you're gonna sit in a minute. God damn, how'd it get way up here? Well, oh, zoom out. Oh, 
So, we brought Dad the pumpkin. They had destroyed. I slipped a bunch of times. Oh, my legs and knees and feet hurt. I need a bubble bath. <laughs> my legs, my knees, and my feet hurt. Oh, gee whiz. So, you okay? I'm tired. I can't hold the camera up. I'm going to do it like this. I'll do it. I'll hold it. Where's your computer at, Pop? Nah, I don't have one. Dad is going to be off Facebook and YouTube for the next week because his computer is in the shop. No, it ain't. It can't be fixed. I need another one. Yeah, that's what's wrong with it. Hey, my birthday's coming up. Yes, I realize that. Uh, go dump that, please. For one reason, because of the Ebola virus spreading, Grandpa's afraid to leave the house. And so we're not going to be doing a mailbag Monday again until his birthday mailbag. So, mailbag Monday will return on October 16th. That's that, my birthday! That way all the letters and, and all the boxes and whatever he gets, he can open up on mailbag Monday. So, well it's not mailbag Monday then, is it? Your birthday's probably not on Monday. What day is that on? Thursday, I'm going to say. I don't know when the 16th is. What day? What? Oh, she's not checking? What day is October 16th on? It is Thursday. I was right. October 16th, so it's going to be a Thursday mailbag. Everything you guys send, we're saving. Ugh. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Bridget West here. Bridget West here. <laughs> Gee whiz. You get more annoying by the day. So... It is Throwback Thursday, which means tonight I'm going to tell you guys a story. But I'm going to tell the story with Dad. Eat up, guys. You're not crying. Eat your dinner. So I am going to tell the story with Dad tonight because he always tries to say, you lied about me, my story. So I'm going to go over to Dad's house. Uh, I'm going to do the Throwback Thursday story. A little Throwback Thursday story. Gonna do the Throwback Thursday story about the time Dad would drop us off at cemeteries on Halloween night. So, we're gonna tell that story. Got some plans for the prank, which is why I didn't upload a vlog yesterday, because I had a lot of prank preparation. I had a lot of preparation today. It is going on midnight, folks. I'm going to Dad's house at 1 o'clock in the morning. He's probably asleep. So, it's going to 1 o'clock in the fucking morning, going over to Dad's house, starting off the vlog this late, because I got prank preparation, which, like I said, is the reason I didn't upload a vlog yesterday. So, midnight, starting the day, which means I'm going to be editing this all night. Here we go. Let's start our day, Bridget, at midnight. Oh, right. It's way past my bedtime. Just say now. Going over to Dad's. You knew that, right? Oh, I'm so tired. Let's get ready to go to Dad. Let's get ready to go to Dad's. No coffee. Coffee at Sonoco, please. Nope. Please. All right. All right. So I'm on my way to Dad's house right now with Bridget. The main reason is I'm going to bother him, but the main reason is, one, he's not answering his fucking phone anymore. He's just flat not answering me. And two, I got to get the weapons out of the house because when I do this prank, he's going to go for some weapons. You know it. He's going to want to protect himself, and now he's not going to have any weapons to turn to. So, preparing for this prank, here we go, baby. Going to Dad's house, and next time, Dad, I'm going to tell you to answer my calls. This prank is going to be epic. It is, baby. I'm so excited. Hey. What? What the hell, man? Uh, as you see, I'm living in my room now. Okay, you don't answer your phone? No, I'm, I'm living in my room now. Yes, why? Because that damn Ebola virus. Okay. That's just dangerous, man. It's killing people. <coughs> and I don't want to catch the shit. What are the symptoms? <sighs> Coughing, sneezing, hacking, looking like the dead. <clears throat> That's weird. I know it is. Well, I don't know how true it is, but I heard about a report in Columbia. What? The Ebola virus. See? It's getting closer to Charleston. That's what I'm talking about, dude. So, as you see, I'm living in my room. Yeah, I see that. I mean, you got a case of fucking drinks. 
You got right. crackers. You're right. I got everything I need in this room. Breathing treatment, baseball bat. I got everything. And the baseball bat, yeah. Anybody can meet out there, they got a bomb. Bust them in the head. What are you going to do if you run out? I don't know. I guess I'll let you bring it to me. Yeah, but uh, that, if I get it. <coughs> hey! Don't start that coffee shit. I'll goddamn bring my baseball bat on you. I've been coughing all day, dude. Dude, please don't do that. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You do got your weapons in here still, right? Oh yeah, they're in there. Let's, let's get a look at them. I'm taking Dad's weapons from him. I slept two days. Because of uh, the prank, he's gonna want to kill people, and I gotta get the fucking weapons out of the house. Oh my god. Get out of my closet. I'm just making sure you got weapons. I'm covered. All right. You got two baseball bats. I know it. One for each hand. What? One for each hand. That's yeah. crazy. So anyway, uh, I've had here too. I've had a fever all day. Michael, what? If you're sick, leave now. Dad, I'm not sick. It's not airborne. Oh, hey, you don't know that. Hey, God damn you, sneeze on me! What? Go away. Get out of my room. <laughs> Michael, I'm joking. Come on, come out of your room. What is no, this? No, I'm not coming out of my room. I wanted to tell a Throwback Thursday story with you today. I I'm sitting right here if you want to talk. Well, what kind of Throwback th st Thursday story we got? I got a headache bad, Michael. How bad? I don't know, but I'm getting Probably because you ain't left the room. It's so hot in here. How come you can't just go into your freaking... Because if I, turn the, if I turn the air conditioning on, the filter system blows shit in here that might have that damn Ebola in it. Uh, oh, have you seen the video? What of, video? A video of the guy eating the guy live on the bus? No! Yep. Oh shit. That was in. I don't know where Lexington County is. Yeah, if you got. I ain't slept two days. Where is Lexington County? That's up there in Columbia. Are you serious? Yeah. That's where it happened at. Oh fuck, it is getting closer. Okay, what are we gonna do? Can you give me some plastic tomorrow so I can put it on my windows? You want plastic? I'll get you some plastic. Now I can tape it all over the ones that way. I don't have to worry about it. So, sitting here with. <laughs> Sitting here with Dad, he is he's boarded himself up in his bedroom because he's afraid of the Ebola virus. I am scared of it. Today, the bird flu. You're talking about the bird flu again. Oh yeah, I heard somebody dying from the bird flu. I know, and I, I don't want to be around no damn birds. Well, that was in Somerville, God and it happened it. to a chicken. Thanks a lot, Michael. It was a chicken at a Chinese restaurant. In Thank you, Michael. What did I do? I think I need to just stick it out here with you. And we need to be thick as thieves. You know, I gotta go to the bathroom. Goodbye. Get out while I'm gone. Alright. Bye, Lex. Bye, Pop. Your doors are open still. I'm gonna steal his fucking weapon. So, I'm just gonna take all these weapons to Bridget's car. Here, help me. Okay. He's gonna come back, take okay. these. I gotta get the here. take these. I gotta get the bats. So I wanted to tell you a story, and the story I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell with Dad because he always says you make up stories about me. <laughs> you look like you turned into a zombie now. I feel it. So I bite your ass. <laughs> it was a bunch of years ago. I think I was in the fourth grade. It was Halloween. And Dad had this thing where he would take us trick-or-treating, take us to Pizza Hut, and we'd have a good family moment, and we'd go home. That was our routine every Halloween. Every Halloween, I remember that. Every I Halloween. farted the damn thing, and everybody, ah! Yeah, it was the same Halloween, actually. Yeah, you farted in the front seat, and we all smelled it in the back of the truck. Yeah, I know. We're talking about an open truck. The back was open, he farted, and we smelled it like we were there in the cab with him. And I was driving. However, the story I want to tell is, do you remember that? Of course you remember. That Halloween, Dad decided to be funny. So Dad tells us he's taking us trick-or-treating, and we're done for the night. We go to Pizza Hut, we're ready to go home, and he goes, oh, goddamn, I got one more place I want to take your ass. So we're sitting there, we're happy. Why my face? Yay! Dad drives up to a cemetery, and we couldn't tell at the time. We're just looking in our bags. All right, jump out. And we're jumping out, we're looking around, thinking we're like some sort of... I drove off, too. That's what I'm saying. Dad drops us off at the freaking cemetery and speeds off. And there were bags of candy out there. Oh, ours? Yeah, well, they had candy. It was our candy. 
Dad left us. Here we are, 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Dad's dropping us off at a cemetery on Halloween and didn't come back for about 15 minutes. So for that 15 minutes, we were freaked out. It was just four kids, me, my brother, my sister, and my other sister, and we're sitting in this graveyard. I don't care, it makes it stronger. And I'm pretty sure that you weren't far away making noises. Because I remember hearing noises in that graveyard, and it's scared. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. <coughs> so, we're sitting there in the graveyard, we hear... <laughs> Dad's obviously behind a tree somewhere, scaring us. I wasn't. No, you're gonna... You can, yeah, I don't care. You were. I wasn't. I was in the van, drinking a beer. Well... Dad dropped us off at the cemetery. So that's the story I wanted to tell. We went trick-or-treating, had a good night, went to Pizza Hut as a family, had a good... Uh, how'd you like that? Mm. Went to Pizza Hut as a family, had a good night. On the way home, Dad dropped us off at a cemetery for 15 minutes where he began scaring us, making noises behind trees and headstones, and he scared the shit out of us, and when he came back, we were so petrified that we didn't sleep for the rest of the night. And it was a school night. And I took all your candy bars. You always did. That's the other thing. Dad would always cherry pick, take all the good shit, and leave us with nothing. I let you eat all the candy corn. Yeah, man. What's up with that? I like candy bars. Now I like Slim Jims. Hey, you know I got a birthday coming up, right? Yes. Just remind you. Yes, I'm, I'm told you I'm having people send stuff to you. P.O. boxes below. They can ship you stuff. And I'm going to get you some stuff. We're going to have a big party on video. Okay. So, that was the Throwback Thursday story. Dad abandoned us at a cemetery. We were children. Get out of here. <coughs> Get out. Get out. <coughs> okay, what? I'm joking. I'm not really coughing. Get out of my house, now. I'm not coughing. For One. Okay, I'll go. Two. Oh, I'll count to three. Three. Oh, go, go. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on a camera here. Bridge West outside, she's not here. So, Bridge West is outside, and it is now Friday. Wow. Last night, I didn't get the vlog up till about four o'clock in the morning. Totally exhausting. I had to wake back up at nine in the morning. I'm exhausted, I've been working all day. It is now four o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm not doing anything on this Friday because it is all about preparation because the prank is coming soon within the next three to four days. So, got to prepare for that. So, that's all, that's all today is about for me, preparing for the prank. Speaking of preparing for the prank, while I was at Dad's last night, uh, I recorded some extra stuff and I was editing the vlog so fast so I could get it up that I left some of that stuff out. So check this out. This is some of the stuff that I left out with dad last night when he had barricaded himself into his room, hiding from the Ebola virus. So check this out. Michael, get out of my house. <laughs> you know I'm not going to turn into a zombie. What? I ain't thought about that. Well, I could be turning into one. You haven't put it together, these could be zombies? No. Yes, people are rising from the dead. A graveyard. Yeah, right. There was a graveyard, but there were holes. You watched to me. Um, what about that graveyard in Georgia where all the freaking graves were opened up and people were climbing out of the coffins? Michael, shut up. Get out. Leave my house. So in a way, Lock the door behind you, Michael. You know, you talk about the zombies. I remember one time when I was a little boy that went to this funeral. I must have been five, six years old. And the man came in and he was nothing but he was so thin, nothing but bones hanging out of his cheek cheekbone. He was like real pale looking. He and, and people they, they got out of his way. And 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 I thought he was a zombie to then. And that scared the hell out of me. But when he walked in, when he walked to the church to go to that funeral, who's he? Now I thought we were talking about a dead person here. No, no, we talking about the man. But well, he looked dead. I thought he was the one we went to bury, but it wasn't. He had he he. When he looked dead to me, he looked like a zombie. Didn't talk to nobody. Just walked in. So he's probably senile. I think he was a zombie. Because after the funeral, nobody's seen him anymore. He was gone. Maybe he died. 
<laughs> Maybe he'd been dead before. It was just there visiting. That was a bad story, Mike. You should have seen that man. Look dead. He he reminded me of that goddamn guy on Poltergeist. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, that he looked was creepy. He was wearing black, had a little bow tie on and shit, you know? Oh, if you guys want to know something really creepy, last week I told you guys the story about this guy or that guy or whatever. As it turned out, Dad has been dreaming of the same guy. You, know, you sent me that picture, and I have dreamed about that same guy numerous times. Hey, you know I got a birthday coming up, right? Yes. Just remind you. Yes, I'm, I'm told you I'm having people send stuff to you. PO boxes below, they can ship you stuff. And I'm going to get you some stuff, and we're going to have a big party on video. Okay. Why aren't you checking I'll give you the key to the mailbox. Why can't you check it? Can I leave in the house? This is crazy, dude. You gotta at least answer your phone. Phone's in there and I'm in here. You, you want me to bring it to you? No. I ain't gonna answer I'm bringing you dad the phone. I'm not gonna answer it. Dad! You gotta stay in touch with me. I do not. Yeah, put it in my shirt. Put it in my shirt! What? Put it in my here. shirt. Here! Put it in my shirt! Why? I'll get all the germs off. <coughs> <laughs> I hate you. Just chilling with Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Hey, pickle boy. <laughs> snake! Ah. I tricked her. I was a plank. Dude, that's a real snake. <gasps> I don't know. We have weird sense of humor. Damn thing! <laughs> I was annoyed. I think it was like sliding everywhere. I can't wait to prank dad with the snake, but I also can't wait for the other prank. I'm just sitting here with Bella right now. Hey girl! Give me that paw. Give me that paw. Thank you. You wanna see a snake? This Bella, if this is what you would do if there was a real snake around. So, if there's a real snake around, Bella's gonna try to lick it to death. Oh. You're precious. Bella the snake! So we are about to carve Bridget's ghost pumpkin, and we all remember what happened the last time we had a ghost pumpkin in the house. Yeah! Okay. All right, Bridget, are you ready to carve your ghost pumpkin? I am. I am ready to carve this ghost of pumpkin. All right, here we go. Carving the ghost pumpkin. Bella wants to see it happen. Bella can't help. Bella, you get the knife and you bite a hole into this pumpkin, okay? This your neck. <laughs> Got extra guts inside this one. I know. I remember how hard it was for Dad to destroy this damn thing. I know. <laughs> Shit. That's way too tiny. <laughs> Is it even gonna glow? Oh, that's cute. It's horrible. It's fine. I like the one at Kim's better. I did good on that one. Oh man. Oh come on, that is not the mouth. It is. Make an extra cut or something. Hang on. Jesus Christ. You just gave up on this pumpkin. No. Okay. So we got the candles popping. Man, Clyde's excited about this. They all are. 
Bella says the ghost pumpkin spooky. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. I tried. You know what you should have done? What I told you to do? What? Use the bottom as the opening. That way you could have just sat the camera. Hi! Why did you just remind me? I did! They didn't. So the idea is instead of cutting the top out, you cut the bottom out. That way it's easier to set the candle inside. All right, let's put it outside. Where at? Front or back? Here it is. My little pumpkin. I like it. Me so, too, I love it. there is the ghost pumpkin. Happy Halloween, it's real spooky. Happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. There you go. Happy Halloween, pumpkin. Happy Halloween, pumpkin. Well, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Happy Friday. The crickets or whatever those little insects making those noises are chirping. They're saying goodbye. Good little Friday. What do you think, Bridget? Oh, yeah. Watch Tales from the Crypt. Right now, we're just watching Tales from the Crypt. And you saw Bridget's little ghost pumpkin. Isn't it cute? It was, it was cute. Aww. It was a cute little ghost no, pumpkin. Like shit. Turned out like shit. But not really. I like it. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. Favorite. Follow me on everything. Bridget West. She's done? Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Follow like. Everything. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. Like. What? Are you doing snakes? what? Like the fake snake you're holding. What are you doing with that? I was, gonna, I was going to wait for you to interrupt me again. God, so, know. like. Hashtag subscribe. Fail. Get him, Betsy! <laughs> so, like. Subscribe. <laughs> so you throw it. That's why I made the face. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. I can't wait to prank Dad with this thing. Why don't you like, do that already? I, I'm going to do it after the big prank. Snake says like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it. What's going on, you guys? Bella's happy. Bella right there. Keep me on the camera here. And Just here. Can't oh. forget me. Okay, and before I say anything else... Tonight is the prank. So, so for the past week, I've been preparing for a zombie apocalypse prank on Angry Grandpa, which calls for a lot of stuff. Number one, I gotta contact people to play zombies, which right now I've got about 15. So I'm gonna have about 15 zombies outside of Grandpa's house tonight. Number two, calls for scaring him into his room, which as you see, has happened and worked. So Grandpa is now confined to his bedroom. Number three, to get Angelo and Mike to record a news broadcast for me. So I have had a news broadcast made. I've edited it with, edited it with graphics and all this stuff. So this is going to be, you know, hopefully this works because everything is in line for it. Grandpa's afraid of the zombies. I'm going to have a news broadcast. I'm going to have zombies. <laughs> This should work. So, that is my prank. The Walking Dead prank. Woo! Which coincides with the debut for The Walking Dead tomorrow night on AMC. Hey, let's go to Party City or something get blood. Of course. I'm going to get blood. I'm going to get like a severed hand. So, we're going to go to Party City in just a minute just to get some last minute stuff. So, I can't tell you how excited I am. Clyde's being extra cute right now. I know. Any being cute, Bill. So <laughs> like, get off me. Hey, lazy. I changed his outfit today. Bill. Oh, they're all being cute. I know. Oh. We just finished the zombie prank. I promise everybody. And I still believe there are zombies. No, the Ebola on. is gonna make it happen. These are some of your fans. This is a fan of yours. Hey, hey, who the fuck are you? Hey. I'm Jay Baker. Yeah, Baker. Jay Baker, man. Baker. You don't know about me? I'm awesome. Oh, you want to know who lives around here? Maybe. 
phone. Yeah, that, that's the guy that broke your phone and he was stole from Halloween. Oh, you, you broke my goddamn phone! I wanna kill you! Oh, oh, I gave you a new one, remember? I'm the one that sliced your tires. Hey, hey. You sliced my tires! Yep. <laughs> How you feeling, Pop? Jesus, look like Carrie. Oh, <laughs> you! Hit the bathtub! <laughs> Why? You really just said that? Huh? Oh, I don't have a lunch, actually. It looks good. Yes, I thought I was getting eaten. I thought the goddamn my predictions were true. There was a goddamn Ebola I can't break out. And I, it, There's not even an air voice. How the hell did you even get that shit done on the goddamn TV? Oh, man, Angelo Mike. Angelo did that? Yeah. I'll get your ass, Angelo. This is the last thing I do, Angelo Mike. Your ass is grass and I'm the lawnmower. So, sitting here at Dad's house, uh, got pizza for everybody, we fed all the zombies, take a look at all these drinks I bought, got Dad a fridge full of soda now, so, zombie apocalypse prank, check, and that is not the only prank I got planned for Dad, this was, oh Tina, I'm recording from vlogging, say hello. Hey, how you doing? Tina says we owe her a brawl. Apparently we popped the one she has. So, sitting here. So, just sitting here. Did the zombie apocalypse prank. Surprise! Which was? I'm going to talk to your mama. Your mama won't come to me? Oh, who? Your mama won't come to me? I'm talking to your mama. What? Hey, Dad, look at all the blood on the window. I know. I got a lot of cleaning to do tomorrow. I want to make your fat ass come over here and do it. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Well, Dad. well, I want you to thank you for all the blood on my door. If a cop comes by at night, they're going to think somebody got killed in here. Yeah, look, it's over here, too. I know. That's what I'm afraid of. You want to see something? Go up the way. Go down the stairs. I'm going to show you some of the some of the blood stops. Yeah, like on my van? There's that, of course. Okay. So then, we got this. Oh my God. Blood. Blood, you're handsome. Oh my God. Come look at this. You know I, I, I'm gonna get pulled tomorrow when I'm out riding. Oh, this car is covering it. Oh, here we go. Come look right here. Oh my God, Michael. <laughs> you're gonna get me arrested. Now, here's what I don't think you've grasped yet. So let me explain some stuff to you. Do you realize, one, that I made the news report. No, I didn't. Yes, that news report you watched, that was me. That was Angelo Mike. He was- yeah, I'm gonna get that Angelo Mike. So Angelo Mike helped it, I did the ed graphics. Now, do you realize that stuff I showed you about the Ebola zombies was all bullshit? Remember last I week? understand now. You've been barricaded. I understand now, goddammit. You've been barricaded in your house. And you were part of this too. Word. <laughs> Why were you part of this? Because it was great. You thought it was funny, didn't you? It was great. I had a great time. Don't get angry. Girl. Boy. <laughs> boy. Hey, you're a boy again. Get out of here, Michael. Yeah, Dad don't want me filming this. Huh? You don't want me filming you two. Well, we, we friends. I mean, <laughs> I know, I would say, you're, acting, you're all shy and acting like a little boy. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, I'm not a little boy. I'm not a little boy. You understand that? Yes, sir. That's and better. Grandpa. He's all man. All right, Michael. Good night. All right, me? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yeah, let me get my sticker. Thanks, Mike. You know, you got fake blood on your lips. You know, you should I'm going to go take a bath right now, Mike. You got fake blood on your lips. Wipe that off. <laughs> it's still there. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Michael. We got Papa good, didn't we? Yeah. Laugh at him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad. What? You do realize Tina's still in your house, right? Oh, God, I'm going to get rid of her right now. So, I'm leaving Dad. Tina's still here. When you going home? When I feel like it. Shit, Tina's I... got blood all over her face still, too. Look at that. Well, Dad, I'm going to leave you two alone. Great. <laughs> Goodbye, Michael. We can make another little anger, Grandpa. Oh! Oh, my, God. oh, my goodness. That ain't going to happen. Hell no, not this goddamn lifetime. That's what you can't handle, real woman. Goodbye, Michael. Get out. Go! Alright, all right, you guys. Use protection. Bye. I'm just... Oh, shut up! I might get Ebola. Yeah, you are a zombie.
Bye bye. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> you gonna do that again? Bye -bye. Ah! I'm out. Well, uh, it is now the next day, and the first thing that I want to say is thanks to everybody who helped with that prank. Uh, the zombies, I didn't know all of your guys' names. Some of you guys came with other people, but, you know, Ryan and his friend and Tina and Tina's friends, and you guys killed it. You guys were awesome. Uh, I got a lot more to show you guys from this prank. Uh... You know, Angelo Mike's going to be uploading some behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm going to use some of his behind-the-scenes stuff in my vlog, and I'll link it back to him. Uh, of course, uh, the next couple of days, we're going to upload the entire newscast so you guys can see it, so you guys can see what Grandpa saw. So first things first, if you guys want to check out Angelo Mike, his link is below. This guy is resourceful, man. Uh, I needed that news footage. Uh... And he made it happen. I, you know, I made the comment to him. I was like, yeah, this is, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. And he did it for me. You know, he had it done and it worked out perfect. It was exactly what I needed. So thanks to Angelo and Mike for that. Really appreciate it, dude. Your link is below. People click that link. Check out his videos. He's got a lot of cool stuff. So check it out. He's been over to our house, so there's, so there's some videos with us with Angelo Mike, so thanks to Angelo Mike for helping out with that newscast. It greatly appreciated. came really in handy. Uh, yeah, great. You know, he did a really good job. Really appreciate all the support. There's some deleted scenes, of course. That's going to come out next week. Like I said, the full newscast, behind-the-scenes footage from Angelo. All kinds of cool stuff coming, so I appreciate all the support, you guys. That was the aftermath. Uh, Grandpa's birthday is coming up, I believe. What is today's date? In another week or so, something like that. His birthday is the 16th, so we're going to be doing a birthday mailbag. Some of you guys have been sending gifts, and they're not being touched or opened. They are being put aside, and we're going to open them on his birthday mailbag. And a lot of people keep asking me, how can they send something themselves? So, this is the P.O. Box address stamped over my face. You can also find the P.O. Box address by clicking show more in the description. I have it in the description of every vlog, and that is the P.O. Box if you want to send letters or packages or anything you want to send for Grandpa's birthday. And then after the birthday, we'll continue with Monday Mailbag. So, wow. Prank was awesome. Thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate all the support. Uh, you guys sharing the video, it's awesome. If you, have, if you have not seen the Walking Dead prank video, that is also below. Click the link. And that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite. Bridget is sleeping. And that's it. What's going on, you guys? Bridget West here. Kibby on a camera here. Bridget West there. And it is Monday. Monday! Walking Dead was great last night. That's all I'm gonna say uh, for all the people looking for spoilers. I won't spoil it for you, but it was good. Uh, let's hope it's better than recent seasons. Last season was good, I'll say. Ooh, I know, right? The last night was pretty good. Oh my goodness, we're about to witness a wreck, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I had to film just in case. So, last night was pretty good. It was a decent episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, prank went up yesterday that's pretty cool so first things first is I'm on my way to dad's house right now second is later on I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that you've been wanting to see deleted scenes behind the scenes footage and how this prank happened so that's what I'm gonna show you guys we're gonna see grandpa we're gonna see my grandpa <laughs> or I mean my father so we're gonna see grandpa <laughs> we're gonna see my papa Aww. so on the way to dad's house right now. The prank is up. I hope you guys watched it. I hope you guys liked it. I'm proud of it. It was a hard prank to put together. One Dude, of the Tina was so epic in it. Tina was pretty good in it. She, she was such a funny zombie. She like, was like I was lifeless. Terrified. Tina yeah. was like this lifeless corpse. <laughs> so, so here we go. We're on our way to grandpa's house. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. I want to wish you a happy Monday. I'm trying to do the voice of Cleveland. My name is Cleveland Brown. 
I give up. Oh, you're adorable. Oh, look at that. Bacon for president. Where'd you get that? Hey, that Obama? What, bacon? A pig. No? Yeah. I don't think he can eat bacon. Isn't what? he a Muslim? <laughs> he part of Al-Qaeda? I was joking. Oh. But I think that's a thing, right? That Muslims don't eat bacon? No, they don't eat bacon. They don't partake in pig. But I do. In a few minutes on my video, I'm going to show everybody behind the scenes footage when uh, Angelo Mike was filming the newscast. You got a bitch. I'm, gonna get in. I'm still going to get in. So, check this out, you guys. This right here is Angelo Mike, uh, some behind the scenes footage from the newscast. What do you think? Hey, it was convincing. There are reports that these cannibals are often badly wounded and scarred, covered in blood. Great, and uh, again, this is not dramatic pause, you're just waiting a second. You're not, like, don't eyes bug out or anything. You're just listening, and because, you know, you got the radio earpiece, and then the family kind of stammer in, uh, or whatever, and go ahead. Uh, okay. Okay. Right, yeah. The, the Pentagon is reportedly saying that this is the result of a biological weapon. Okay, good. So that was a great read-through. That's interesting. It's actually kind of ominous. <laughs> it's so yeah. Dark. yeah, it's so dark. I might put up a. Well, that might you might want that. I'm just kind of wondering. You know, okay. you can even uh, do that in black and white if you yeah. want. Yeah, focus. We're, we're not necessarily gonna. It's not. Don't I worry about it now because we're not. Nece we're not necessarily gonna have this exact setup. I just wanted to see the light. Yeah. And how much oh, light or how little. Um, so yeah. So now let's just start getting. Uh, um, a fill. Say something like a uh, Derek. Why don't you say something like I gotta get the hell out of here. This is too dangerous. What are you doing? Wearing two colored ties? What is no, that? No, no, it's just the way it is. Why? Why is that? I don't know. That's how they designed it. That's so weird. I know. There are reports that these cannibals are often badly wounded. Oh, so now I'm sorry. Let me interrupt. This is where I wanted to add something in. I tease it like wanted to wait till here. The when do we <coughs> mention Ebola later? Hey, that'll okay. come towards the very okay. end. Instead of all that stuff about the T virus with yeah. resin and no, all that dude, stuff. Ebola is genius. Yeah. Well, it, the, it's work. The guy worked it into already scaring um, awesome. the, the our target with it. So I'm like, I love it. I love it. With it. Yeah. Genius. We're just learning that some of the most affected areas are the cities of Charleston, Mount Pleasant, Somerville, and all of the greater Dorchester County area are heavily infested by the attackers. So that was behind the scenes footage with Angry Grandpa, the newscast. It was good, no? It was good. I gotta give him that. He did a good job. If you guys want to see the full video, the full newscast, the link is below. Check it out. Subscribe to Angelo Mike's YouTube channel. He helped us out. Well, he helped me out. Didn't help me with shit. <laughs> he helped you out that one day he brought you Greek food. I thought I was going to have a heart attack sitting in the van. All right, Pop. So tell me, what did you think about The Walking Dead last night? I didn't watch it. What? I didn't watch it. Why? You love The Walking Dead. <sighs> Zombies. What about them? I'm scared of them. Oh, come on. Did we scar you that bad? I'm not watching it. You're not going to watch The Walking Dead? No. You scare me with the zombies, now I'm afraid of them. Do, do you want me to set your DVR up to record it? No! Oh, come on, you've got to watch the season. Don't you want to know how they got out of the, the train car? I really don't care now. You Don't tell me. Are you joking with this? I'm, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Okay, here's what they did. I don't want to hear it. Stop it. No more talk about zombies. No more talk. No more talk about Ebola. <coughs> you mother. Ebola's not real. I mean, it's real, but it ain't gonna do nothing. It's raising people from the dead. I I'm really glad y'all did what you did last night. Why? Because that was like a rehearsal. So when it really does happen, now we know what we gotta do. We gotta get that back door fixed. So we can get out of it. We gotta have a clear route to the van, and we gotta have a spare set of keys in the van. You know why you couldn't get out the back door? No. I drilled it shut. What? Your back door breaks up too easily. I drilled a shot like a month ago. Oh, man. Well, we got to undo that. Cause we know now we got to have an escape route. Dad, they would, they would be at the back door, too, if they were real. No, because they just see me at the front. They wouldn't go to the back. Or we can fix that back window. We can go out the back window. And I'll start parking the van like right here. And then we're, so now when they come, we just run out the back window, into the van, out the fuck out of here. What do you think? You know, and we need to put some water and food in the van and keep it there all the time. No, really, that was a good thing. I'm glad you did it, because now I'm getting a clear plan on a survival mission 
that we can actually survive if the zombies come to my house. Thank the goddamn you! If we have a zombie out of like apocalypse or whatever you call it, I got them. If we have a, have a zombie apocalypse now, we will survive! Cause you 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 taught me, Michael. You got me ready! Hallelujah! Cause I've seen the light! I've seen the light! I know how to survive the zombie apocalypse now. Thank you, Michael! Now get out of my goddamn house! Thank you, you're gonna thank me and then kick me out? Yeah, because you ain't going with me when the goddamn zombies come. I'm going by myself. I don't need you. What? Because you're stupid. You'll get bit and turned into one and want to bite me. You ain't riding me, motherfucker. I'm going to tell you right now, man. When it came down to the fact, I was ready to fucking go. But you, your big fat ass, slowed me down. I could have been out that door in two or three minutes and gone. No, you had to fuck around. We had time. They had plenty of time to get their buddies to bite me. It was a prank. I had to keep you in the house. That was a rehearsal. You did you not realize I was pranking you? What are you saying right now? Do you think it was a rehearsal for real? I think you really had a rehearsal because you wanted me to make sure your daddy was taken care of and safe. Thank you, Michael. Wait, do you cut? Guys, I'm just storing my food. All that'll go with me. See, I got my backpack, and, and I'll put all my food in my backpack and be ready to roll. Are you still living in this room? Yeah. I gotta see all. No, no, you can't tell that. They get me. Whoa! All this is for the zombie, and nobody eats this. This is strictly. So you've got a freezer that you're dedicating to zombie survival. Zombie survival. I have like to eat some while I'm out on the road running. And if you look at my gas tank, it's full. I don't care about if I, if I go down the street and back. I fill this thing up. Cause I'll be able to get at least 400 miles away. They're going to be everywhere. I'm going to be ready. Now get out of my damn house! You just remember, when the goddamn zombies come, you stay the fuck away. You know what? You know why you couldn't find your weapons? Get out of my house. Why well, couldn't I? They're at my house. That's all right. I'll get new ones. I don't need you. When the zombies come, I'm ready! Well, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Went over to Dad's house. Got wrestling on the TV. Bridget uh, went to get an MRI done. Is that what it was? Worst experience ever. You were only in the thing for like 10 minutes. How's 25. Michael, you could not do it. I swear to God. Okay, this is what they do. You have to lay on a bed. Little tiny little bed. They strap your shoulders. They put a blanket over your shoulders. They strap your head. And then they slowly move you into this little area that my shoulders were touching. I, I don't want to hear about it anymore. Why? Claustrophobic. Oh man, so, you would have like freaked out. Tomorrow. Oh, oh, and the top of it was like right here. I still don't want to hear about it anymore. So tomorrow Bridget has to go get it done again because they didn't work out or something. No, no, I get results tomorrow. <sighs> Anyways, I gotta go with her. First things first, if you guys want to see the full newscast. I uploaded it to Bridget's channel. Ooh, I have a video. The link is below. I uploaded it to Bridget's channel because it didn't fit for the vlog. Uh, I didn't want to upload it on the main channel. <laughs> Dad would not Dad would have been pissed off if I uploaded it on his channel. So, it's on Bridget's channel. If you want to check out the full newscast, check it out below. Also, the link below for the behind the scenes uh, tour of the new studio with Angelo and Mike. That's below. Check it out. So, all those videos are below. So anyway, that's going to be it. Uh, for those asking, no, that is not the only prank I got planned this month. I got a lot I got a lot more planned. So thanks for watching, you guys. We should go over tomorrow and do my little prank. Like. I bet he'll fall for it. Like, subscribe. Subscribe. Favorite. Bridget West. And click like if you want us to do Bridget's prank tomorrow. What? What? Oh, okay. God, click. Bridget just asked to do the prank when I said click like if you guys want to see it. I thought you it. meant like pranking me or some shit. But why would you tell me tomorrow? Click I'm like if idiot. you want to see it. It's it should be funny. I don't know if it'll work because that doesn't have teeth and it involves teeth. But <laughs> anyway, click like if you want to see it. And if you guys want to see it, we'll do it tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it. Was that cool? Wish me luck tomorrow.
Can I eat my damn thing now? <laughs> you can't chew it. I dare you to. You won't see me? I'm I want to see you eat that thing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you your ass. Then you go back across the fence? No. All right, I'm timing you. One, two, Ooh, that's three, good. four, five. I got a saber. I'm ca- <laughs> Yeah, trying to make the gum suck the is juice this how you, that bitch. Is this how you enjoy Slim Jims? You savor them? Mm -hmm. Good, man. You want some? Yeah, take a bite. Are you talking to the rock, Grandpa? <laughs> take a bite. I ain't talking to the rock. But there's real people here. You don't have to talk to the rock. Rock's more intelligent. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. I've been a perfect neighbor for a whole year. Just my dog barks. Oh, night long. Well, can I take some of them Slim Jims home from my dog? Yeah. I thought she could have it. You took it from her and started eating it. Good. I'm sure I can eat my dog. That's your dinner. Yeah, thanks for dinner, Mike. What do you want for your dinner? That's what I'm going to talk to you about. You got a newspaper. What do you want for your birthday dinner? What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Grandpa just got done opening all the stuff. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we got Dad some pizza. Oh yeah, and because Dad told me not to get him a cake, and I didn't, and then he bitched about it. Damn, chocolate chip cookie. Just as sweet as me. And my favorite chocolate. So, got you some pizza. Got you some wings. Y'all, listen, don't There you go. This is driving me crazy. Honey, barbecue. What kind of pizza is this one? Oh, this, Dad, is yeah. the ultimate supreme. Damn. So, That's Michael Cher. Sitting here with Dad on his birthday. Got him some pizza. He just had his mailbag video where he opened up all your guys' stuff. Now we're going to eat some pizza. In a few minutes, we're going to sing happy birthday. Matter of fact, hey everybody, oh, come on. happy birthday to you, Tina Singh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Damn. Now let's eat. I had to do that earlier, too. Well, well, now you sing twice. You're on the clock. That's fucking crazy shit, man. Ooh, baby, won't you? That, that is on. hamburger stuffed crust. Yeah. Yes, I want one. Damn, wings are good. Well, how was your birthday, Pop? Good, but I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Yeah, you got bags under your eyes. No, look, I got bags under my eyes. And I got bags under my ass. Oh. I'm going to call them balls. Oh, oh God. Ew. So my ass looks like your face. <laughs> Ew! Ah, what a comparison! Pretty, uh, ah, what pretty. a comparison! We both got bags. You under your eyes, me under my ass. Just, dad, just Dad's face has a little less hair. Wow. <laughs> I just swallowed like a freaking gnat. <coughs> that was Karma. I'm sorry. All right, Pop. You ain't going yet? No. I was coming to talk to you, you about your birthday. It's cold out. You know I'm, it is getting chilly. Yeah. I'm gonna tell a throwback Thursday story tonight. When you get home. Of course, I'm not gonna say it right now. Yeah, don't do it now, because I'm going in, I'm going to bed. You got wing sauce on your face. Yeah, that's good. Hey, those were good. Thank you, Mike. Those were good. Well, oh, Bridget, she's out of here. Look at this. No, I'm just right here. Well, Bridget. you know Bridget. Goddamn, come she's on. Like, Fuck this, I'm like, I'm gone. <laughs> can you blame her? Yes, I can. I well, give me, give me, give me I'm my not birthday. leaving yet. I'll talk to you. I want my birthday hug. You get birthday spankings. I'll be goddamn you gonna cut my ass. <laughs> I'll do that, <laughs> that ain't happening. Oh, how about that? It ain't so dark here. I'm gonna turn the light off. It don't I'm, work. Give me the light bulb. <laughs> Can't afford my goddamn light bulb. Well, bit, <laughs> guess what? Your eyes are gonna be hurting. Well, I appreciate everything you did, Michael. You didn't bring me no birthday present, but that's all oh, right. Oh, I, I do have a birthday present coming for you. Though. Okay, yeah, we'll see it when he gets here. <laughs> checks, he checks in the mail too, right? God. <laughs> Everybody, to make get Grandpa's birthday even more happy, buy a bumper sticker. Well, I wasn't going to say that, but... Buy a bumper sticker. I was going to say, post happy birthday in the comments, staying at Grandpa. Buy a bumper sticker. And also... follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. This isn't about you, Bridget. They've already been told not to follow you. So, tweet at the angry Grandpa, tell him happy birthday. Post happy birthday in the comments. <laughs> and, and I'm 64 years old. 64. 64. 64 years young. Old. You ain't a senior citizen yet. Not Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. 
You're already, I mean, you're, dude, you know, I'm ready for you to leave now. You're relatively young. I'm ready for you to leave. I want to go to bed. You want me to leave? Yeah, it's past my bedtime. Okay, say please. Please. And then say Michael's the greatest man I've ever met. Michael's a dick. <laughs> that's, Good boy. That's Goodbye. not what I said to say. I said to say I'm the greatest man you ever met. Bye, Michael. I'm going to tell a throwback Thursday story tonight, Dad. All right, well, you, I'll watch it. <laughs> Did you ever go fucking home? That's my question. She's obviously your girlfriend or something. I'm like, oh my god, get her out. Get her. <laughs> Take her with you, please. Oh, come on, I'll give you a birthday present, Grandpa. I know, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Happy birthday to you. Goodbye, Michael. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Goodbye, Michael. Come on, come on, let me Happy go. Happy birthday, birthday to you, Grandpa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Tina, sing it. Happy birthday to you. To you. Oh, God damn! Hey, many more to you, big damn, daddy. Get her off me! Get her off me! God damn! Come here, let me spank that ass. Oh, shit. Bye, Mike. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> See you, Paul. Oh, I'm, I'm going. I, <laughs> it sounded like you said you were going to I know. I fucked up. <laughs> Goodbye. Leaving Dad's house. Uh, Tina's still over there. Contra you know, only contrary to what you guys are believing, they're not together. They're not a couple. They're friends. <laughs> we like to fuck with Dad. I told Tina. Uh, before she got over here because I invited her over for the pizza and stuff and I told her before she gets over here to be overbearingly you know advanced advanced to grandpa so anyway it is nine o'clock leaving dad's house right now I still gotta tell a throwback Thursday story I'll tell that when I get home but happy birthday dad I'm glad People sent you your stuff and you liked it and the letters and there's still more you that you're going really through. Like our gift too. I wish it would have come. It was supposed to have already been here. I know. I got dad a new video camera. Uh, he wanted a video camera with a light on it. And so I ordered it for him and it hasn't come yet. And I'm really angry about it because I really wanted to have it for his birthday. So here we go. Leaving. We will come back soon and do that prank on dad. I just didn't want to do it too much on his birthday. I didn't and want to ruin. Stand. I did not want to ruin his birthday with giving him a caramel onion. I know. But <laughs> it will happen. So, and the snake prank. But happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Hey, Clyde. Well, we came home and we noticed Clyde had a new hot spot. And if you don't know, a hot spot is a spot on a dog that, uh, on English bulldogs. They start off small and for some reason they get really big and they're like rashy and they get really bad so we had to put a cone on Clyde's head so he can keep himself from scratching at it and messing with it. So right now he's got a cone on his head. Hey you little cone head. Oh poor thing. I think it might be around his nose area. Poor buddy. You got the worst luck with skin. <laughs> So, we're almost done for today, but I still gotta do a Throwback Thursday story. And I had the perfect one. I was talking with Dad about it earlier. I had to get some more details on the story. This is a story from years ago. This was Dad's birthday when his mom was still alive. This was in like, 95. Back in 95, Dad and his mom, uh, every morning would go to Shoney's. I mean, like, every morning. They, you know, they went to Shoney's, they would drink coffee, have the breakfast buffet. I'll shoot them my own lip there. They would have the breakfast buffet, and they'd go home. Well, there was a rumor circulating that you would get a free breakfast buffet at Shoney's on your birthday. And Grandma and Dad decided to go to Shoney's on his birthday, and they were going to bring me. They brought my sister Kim. You know, uh... Mom was not there, it was just me, Dad, Grandma, and Kim. And we were all sitting there, and Dad boasts, It's my goddamn birthday! And he walks away, <laughs> gets up, starts making him a plate. Now mind you, when Dad goes to the Shoney's Buffet, he doesn't make little plates, okay? He takes piles of bacon. One time he took all the bacon. He took all the bacon out of the thing and put it on a plate and walked to the thing and they kicked him out. I'm pretty sure I told you that story before. Shoney's is like a little sit down restaurant place uh, up north. It's like uh, it's kind of like a friendlies. Uh, I don't know what else to compare it to. Look up Shoney's and dad thought he was getting himself a free breakfast buffet. Meanwhile, Dad trots away to get his breakfast, and my grandma's talking to the waitress. She's saying, well, uh, he thinks he gets a free breakfast. <coughs> I can't do that voice. <laughs> That's what she sounded like. 
He says he gets a free breakfast buffet because it's his birthday, and the waitress had no idea about it. The waitress goes, uh, I don't think you get a free breakfast buffet. Now, Dad wouldn't have taken me and Kim if he didn't get a free breakfast bar, because she and I were half price, so we equaled the price of one adult, and so one less adult means he could take two kids and we eat free, we probably don't gotta eat dinner that night, because that's the kind of poor folk we was. <laughs> you know, if one person eats free, we'll take the two kids for a lower price. So, we went, and we started of making our plates and dad comes back and he's eating and the bill comes now when the bill comes it is two adults and two kids and dad flipped this shit in there and grandma's going i'll pay it charlie no goddamn hell no waitress he's screaming in the restaurant i need a waitress waitress where's my god with my goddamn waitress he is flipping his shit, dude. It is insane. The waitress comes up, what's wrong? I said I got a free goddamn breakfast for my goddamn birthday. This is my goddamn birthday. The waitress, I don't know anything about it. She's like almost in tears. Dad's flipping his shit. Ah! You know, dad was considerably bigger than. This is back when dad was about 700 pounds, six, 700 pounds. People are turning their tables. Oh my God. We're used to it right now. Me and Kim are still eating. Um, nom, 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 bacon. Um, nom, nom, nom. We're not getting dinner tonight, so we need to eat. Um, nom, 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 nom. The manager comes to the table. Sir, what can I help you with? He approached dad like he was a hunter and dad was a fucking rhinoceros is on safari he's like sir what can i help you with <laughs> like he's sneaking up on dad dad, <sighs> dad was <laughs> bridget laughing over there uh she, d dad is pissed off with my goddamn free breakfast and in the end the whole meal was comped all of us were free uh long story short i mean the <laughs> the long version of the story is about 10 minutes the guy gave up you know, <laughs> that's the the short, that's the longer version. Dad's sitting there for 10 minutes. I ain't paying for a goddamn nipple of food I ate. And mind you, Dad ate a lot of food. Like, there was a lot of nibbles. <laughs> like, I'm not paying for a fucking nibble. God damn it. And I want a free Sunday too. I don't know if he said that. <laughs> I might have thrown that in there. But he might have. He might have said it because there was a lot of stuff being thrown around. So dad's pissed off. You're the goddamn worst goddamn bitch. She's just a, you know, she's just a server. You know, she don't know no better. She don't know what she's doing. She might have been new, but dad was pissed. Long story short, all of us were free. Dad left and he was happy as a pig eating shit. And he went to Chinese for dinner. So that was the Throwback Thursday story. I figured I would tell you a story on Dad's birthday because Dad's birthday fell on Throwback Thursday. We went to Shoney's. Uh, Dad got the breakfast buffet, thought it was free because it was his birthday. Turns out it wasn't. Uh, it was not free. Uh, freaked out on the waitress, freaked out on the manager, flipped his shit, got it free. They went to Chinese. That's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, Bridget right there. I did the thing for her so she can't talk. Hey. Pretty soon I'm going to do that caramel onion for you. I didn't want to do it on his birthday. <laughs> you know, happy birthday, Dad. Eat this. Happy birthday, Dad. Hope it was a good birthday for you. I promise you your present's coming. <laughs> I feel really bad because he didn't have it. But, And I also feel, feel really bad because while I was editing up the birthday video, I found out that the entire intro that I'd made was just wiped out so we missed on dad opening a bunch of presents and reading letters and introducing Tina and it was all ruined I was upset so sorry for people who didn't get their letters read or their package opened on the video I really do apologize for that something happened with this maybe I should be getting myself a new one as well so thanks for watching you guys like subscribe favorite and remember
What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera. They are. But just here. Keep me on the camera here. Uh, first things first, just had a little party for Tina's son at Dad's house. Dad didn't know about the party. Just had it. It was good. Yeah. So. Man, this was like an all-day thing. It's like going on 7. It's going on 7 o'clock. Wow. So, just got done with the party. Uh... Just got done reading the response from me breaking Bridget's tablet. Okay, <laughs> they are pissed at me for that. I'm pissed at you for that. Um, okay, where I did lose my temper was when I smashed it with the meat tenderizer. But the thing is... Michael, that was <laughs> bullshit. If it could have been fixed... It, it couldn't have been. I knew it couldn't. It that's, can't be fixed now. That's why I hit it with the meat tenderizer. I went, ah, because I knew it couldn't be fixed. But it was a total accident that it broke. But I do apologize, Bridget. I'm sorry. Uh, and I, oh, come on, forgive me. I, I am going to get you another one. Promise? I don't know if it could be a Nexus 10 because I can't find it, but. Look online for it. So, I apologize to Bridget. Sitting here with Dad. I got a question. What? Who the hell was that guy? What guy? There was some guy, the guy. I don't know. I thought he came from y'all brought him. So, there was a guy uh, sleeping on Dad's couch. And I don't know where he came from. He was not there during the party. He kind of just like came inside. I asked Tina. She don't know who the guy was. <laughs> so this dude was just. Is, do you think some guy just came to your house and started eating and sleeping? I don't think it pissed me off. At one point, I wasn't filming it, but at one point, he gets up and starts heating up a hot dog in the microwave and eating yeah, chips. Yeah, after his nap. I was sitting there, I'm like, should I film this? I felt like awkward about it. And Dago, I didn't know this was Ryan's. <laughs> Do you know who that guy was that was asleep on the couch? Never seen him before in my life. I didn't invite him. <laughs> he just was sleeping. I thought he was for here for Grandpa. Dad doesn't know him. I didn't. I thought know. he was a friend of yours. No, I thought he was a friend of yours. No, I don't know people like that. Oh yeah, right. Oh, but I do. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. How the fuck am I gonna know somebody? I was about to ask you if you had any cake yet. I can't eat the icing. We're a little. Uh, Why is it because of Clemson colors? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sugar. Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Big bitch. So, just chilling out, had Albert's party here. Grandpa tried to ruin it, but he didn't. Albert still had a boss party. That's right, that's right. Mike and Sugar Britches pulled it off. So I brought that cat shirt over for Dad to wear, and we've been looking for it for the past hour, and we can't find it. The shirt. I think you gotta take it back home. I, I want you to have it, that's what I'm trying. I'd like to find it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go bed. Oh, long day, everybody literally just left. And look at my house. Oh, it's not that bad, huh? Now you leave me. <laughs> well, regardless, if you find that shirt, don't put it on until I come back over. I promise I won't. You're going to like it. We'll see. It's a shirt that I got yesterday from Loot Crate. Uh, you guys clicked like for him to have the shirt. You also clicked like because I broke her tablet. <laughs> you clicked dislike, I mean. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I broke her tablet yesterday. It was a total accident. I don't blame you. It was an accident. I broke it on purpose. He probably did do it on purpose. No, come on. You were, she was trying to grab it on my hands, and I kind of tossed it. I was aiming for, like, the floor where it would cush, but it hit the dog cages. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we are done. Oh, yeah. People have been asking for you to tell some more stories before October ends. I will. I'll start that tomorrow night. Click like if you want Dad to tell some Halloween stories for his channel. I want to hear them. I hope you guys want to hear them. More stories like the man in the blue suit. But if you haven't heard that story, the link is below. I want to hear them. Like I said, the man in the blue suit is below. That is one of the creepiest stories of Jesus, you are tired. I'm very tired. I'm tired too. When are we going home? Yeah, when are you going home? Oh, Bridget is all of a sudden trying to force me out of my father's house. Are you okay no, with that? No, I'm not. I'm fine with that. You were fine with it. <laughs> I'm not actually trying to do that. Bye, Michael. You know, Dad, there's a chance that we can bring in ghosts by using this in here. There's no ghosts in my house. Hold the camera, Bridget. How many fingers am I holding? Two. Are there any spirits in here? Yeah, me. Can you say Grandpa? Can you take go home? Oh, I thought I heard it. I think I heard Grandpa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the hole. 
We are picking up some sort of activity. Come on, man. Don't do that. I don't like that. What? <laughs> Turn that thing off. How many people are in here? Oh, hell no. I heard 40. I didn't do. Get out. Get out. Turn it off. Turn it off. I'm serious. Turn it Is off. Is there any spirits in this house? Turn it off now. What him. Turn it off. Okay. So what if there's 40 spirits in here? I'm a dead mother. Are there spirits in here? Yes or no? Turn it off now. That's it. I'm scared. Stop. You're scaring me now. Stop. I got to go to bed. Right, we're leaving. Get the good damn camera on my face. Whatever. You got your body book? Utu la ba la si kumu. Kuku ta fa fa sha. No, get out. Tu shu la 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 si mu. You may be haunted. Congratulations. Get out of here. Well, Dad, did you enjoy the birthday party? Yeah, fine. Man, that was like a 12 hour thing almost. It's cold out here. Let's give Daddy a kiss. Bye. Oh, God. I love you, Michael. Bye, Bye too, Pop. Good night. Well, uh, we're leaving Dad's house. Hey Michael, Light Burn Dairy on. just opened up here. What? Yeah, Burn Dairy just opened up here. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. I'm sorry. You got that from Syracuse, huh? I did. Ah! I lied to you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you didn't notice what we were just doing, we we're preparing for a prank. Uh, once again, Dad is, you know, staying away from his social media while I prepare for this prank. Uh, you'll see. Hey, Clyde. How you feeling, buddy? Clyde's been having them hot spots lately, and we've been working on making him feel better. He had a little mark on his lip, as you can tell. Poor English Bulldogs with their skin problems. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. Uh, prepared for my prank with Dad with the ghost box. That was fun. Uh, it's going to be a good video. Uh, I cannot wait. It's all going down. So, Dad's afraid. So, that's going down. Uh, the video that you guys uh, saw the aftermath of today is going up tomorrow. The thing is, that video started off as a vlog. Like, I was just going to upload this on today's vlog. And about midway, while I'm filming, I'm like, this has to go on the main channel. Because this is crazy. It got wild. The idea is it just being this party that Dad's surprised is happening. It's a surprise party. It's just not a surprise party for him. It's just a par surprise party going on at his house for somebody else. And he had no idea. He comes pulling up and we're grilling out his food. And it was a, you know, it got crazy. <laughs> you know, uh, check this out. Hey, Grandma! What? Let me show you the new fucking tour I got here right here. Ah, oh, God damn, you stupid! Damn, man. That hurt. Stop it! Stop it! Merry Christmas to me! Fuck you! You were a little boy's birthday! That's why you're angry, Grandpa! And you need to get out of my house! Fuck you! Yeah, you do, bitch! I'm telling you, get out of my goddamn house! Get out of my goddamn house now, Michael! I swear to God! I'm gonna stop! Get her out of my house! Get her out of my house! Get her out of my life! Get her out of my goddamn life! I can't take this shit no goddamn more! So it got crazy, uh, and I was like, while I was filming that scene, I'm like, holy shit, this is fucked up. I don't know what's going to happen, if it's going to come to blows, <laughs> like, I don't know. So, wow, that's tomorrow, I'm going to put it up tomorrow afternoon. I do a lot of this, and I've noticed it. So anyway, for real though, but seriously, thanks for watching you guys, that's going to be it. Prepared for the prank. Had a surprise party. The video's going up tomorrow. Link for the man in the blue suit is below. Click like if you wanted to hear Dad tell some more ghost stories. I want to hear them. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. Favorite. Favorite. You. Yeah, they, they're pretty pissed at me for breaking your tablet. When can I get a new one? Soon. I'll look. I will look for the new tablet. Please. My apologies. Ten. Yes, uh, I will try to find the 10. What about the, like, the 11 or something? I don't want that one. <laughs> like, if you could get a PS2 or PS4, which one would you get? PS4. Okay. <laughs> just, I want next 10. Just making sure you, you're ready to move on with the times. So, anyway, no. Sunday night, gonna go watch The Walking Dead. Are, no, we're not, are we? You're gonna sleep soon. Yep. Uh, no spoilers, please. Please, nobody tell me the spoilers. I'm not even getting on Facebook. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, favorite. pickle boy, 
Follow me at Lear Cold Rap. Follow me, Bridget West. Thanks for watching, you guys. What's going on, you guys? Kibby on a camera there. Bridget West over here. Kibby on a camera here. And it is Friday. And I'm not going to do my Rebecca Black song. And it just got really dark. It's well, Friday, it. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Damn you, I was really going to do the Rebecca Black song. It's Friday. Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend, Friday. Camera's getting dark on me again. Just sitting here on Friday. Uh, in a few minutes, we're gonna start making some more smoothies. Bridget's mom's here. Where is your mom? Bathroom. Well, Bridget's mom's here, and we're gonna make some smoothies in just a minute. And later on, dad's coming by. And of course, tomorrow night, Dad, me, and Bridget are going downtown for a little paranormal investigation. No way. Paranormal investigation. Really? This year is going to be with a side of a prank. I don't know why I did that. A little prank. I don't know. Going to prank Dad tomorrow night. So that's going to be tomorrow night. Paranormal investigation downtown with the ghost box. And let's start on Friday. What do you think, Bridget? Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make me another smoothie right now. This one is going to be pineapple, kale, some orange juice, banana, orange, and honey. And carrots. Oh, yeah, and carrots. There we go. I'm getting my extra blend it. Good and smooth. Look at her. It smells good. Take a drink. Well, that's the point, Cindy. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a smoothie and pour it out. <laughs> it's really good. You wanna try it? All right. We're just mom trying the smoothie. Don't worry about my herpes. Mmm. <laughs> it's healthy. Yeah. It tastes healthy. Mmm. So, we're sitting here cleaning up our mess from the smoothies. This is our little fruity Friday. Yeah, I'm moving everything over here. My mom loved her smoothie. Your mom had the best one. I didn't film Cindy's smoothie, but Ooh. she had pineapple, banana, blueberries, and apple, and it was delicious. So, here we are. Ooh, you got some outfits for the dogs I'd like for you to try on later for the video. Yeah. Hey, Bella, you want to try a new outfit? Oh. How's you, Clyde? Oh. I go. Okay, so let me guess. You just what? You just you don't knock? Why should I? You not? Do you knock on my door? Good point. <laughs> I'll give that to you. That was a fair point. I got something to tell you, Mike. Oh, I don't like you showing up saying stuff like that. No, I, 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 I'll tell you a little bit. I ain't ready to tell you right now. Oh no, 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 tell me. No, I'll tell you a little bit. I ain't you, ready to tell you. If you right say now. you got something to tell me, you need to tell me what it is. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you a little bit, damn it! Okay. So what do you think about this couch? It's comfortable. Oh yeah, you like recliners, right? <laughs> you bought me this for my birthday. Oh, what did you, by the way, what did you give me for my birthday? Oh, that's right. You bitch at me, told me not to get you nothing. Oh, okay. I did order you something. Hey, what are you doing? Stop! Goddamn, Mike, I'm out of right now! <laughs> Mike! Would you please? I'm, 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 getting, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting anxious. I'm getting anxious, Michael. Please, please. Find the, really, the, put I, your arm right here. I can't, where? There's a switch on the side. Just hold it. Oh, God, it's a bomb. Come on, who's there? Ah! What happened? Oh, I'm gonna go in there. Here. Get me up, get me up, get, get me out of this motherfucker. You good? That motherfucker, that's a trap. Here, go in that drawer and get yourself something to drink. You know, Michael, I hate getting bitches. Tina is the most obnoxious woman I ever met in my life. She's been a thorn in my side. But goddamn, she ain't turned out to be my best friend. Tina is your best friend. Tina's turned out to be my best friend. Well, how about that shit? I mean... Y'all better, let me tell you one thing, you better not cohort with her and get a prank done on me. That better not be coming. Like, she's my best friend. We don't do things like that. You don't prank me? 
You did prank. I ain't never pranked you. With her, yeah, you maybe think you two got engaged. Ah, uh, you know we ain't. Oh, uh, don't don't joke like that. So now I want you to me. I, I Come here, son. What? I want you to get Albert. Me. Albert, I want you to get to know him real well. That's Tina's son. Well, it could be your brother. Don't don't do that. Don't even. I love my son. Brother. Okay, I don't like this. Yep, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's your brother? My boys. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> My boys. Let's go. All right, please. Uh, Hold on. What'd you just say? Let's go home, Daddy. Let's go home, Daddy. Let's go home. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna go now, Daddy. Come okay. on, Big Daddy. What's going on? Come on, Big Daddy. Come on. Are you you've adopted Albert or something? We'll talk about it someday. Uh, yep, we adopted my brother. We'll talk. We'll talk about it one What'd day. What'd you say, Jacob? We adopted my brother. What does that mean? He he said he adopted his brother. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you later another day. It's coming. Ah! Okay, you're obviously pranking me. What prank? Come on, boy. Here, let me open the door for you, son. Yeah, me too, Daddy. Well, come on, you two get my boys in the van. I'm a butt, Daddy. All right, we'll see y'all. Bye, Michael. Dad just left. He's trying to prank me. Another thing with Tina, I'm well aware. Can't fool me. He's trying to tell me that Albert is his son now. I knew something was up because like I said, the last couple of videos, Tina's been at the house. Uh, she was there, the zombie video, then she was chilling out. Great. <laughs> Goodbye, Michael. We can make another little angry grandpa. Oh! Oh, yeah. right. oh, that ain't gonna happen. Oh my goodness. That ain't gonna happen. Hell no, not this goddamn lifetime. That's what you can't handle, real woman. So anyway, I'm on to your prank, Dad. Don't worry. I see it coming. So anyway, Still enjoying my Friday, even if Dad tried to prank me and ruin it. Oh, Bella getting dressed up. <laughs> oh, this is Bella in her big old little Halloween. Oh, baby. Okay, look at Clyde. Oh wow, he looks so strong. In that. <laughs> hey Clyde, let me see it. Y'all three got matching little outfits. It's so cute. Hey, you guys. Y'all ready for some treats? All right. Well, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Ooh, there come the doggies and their little matching outfits. Oh. Here you go. So, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Dad, sorry he couldn't prank me. Kind of caught on to it. Which, I don't know. Is this, like, the same prank he tried last time? Where he, like, he was doing this last time where Tina was hanging around and he made him think they're getting engaged? Not, I don't know. I, I don't know. Not working. You saw what he was doing, right? Were you in here? Were you saying Albert's his son? They are over there all the time. Okay, so she's in on it. Oh, God. What? Didn't work. Bridget's trying to prank me. I see what it is. She's like, oh, he's over there out of time. No, they really are. Every time I go over... Yeah, and that's why I'm saying it's a prank. I don't think it is. Oh, oh it's not. Dude, he talks to her all the time. Not to mention, in his phone, it has Tina with a smiley face. It does not. It does. Okay, I'm gonna do. So a, I don't know. I I'm mean, gonna do a foolproof lie detector test for you guys right now. This is when Dad invented when we were children, and I still use it to this day. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> under, oh, you did it! I'm not lying. This is how it works. You go tickle, tickle under chin. If you're lying, you will grin. And she laughed. One more time is your last chance. If you're not in on this prank, you won't laugh. Tickle, tickle under chin. If you're lying, <laughs> you, I knew it. I knew it. Can't prank me. Come on, baby. I'm not. I'm not pranking you. Y'all better reevaluate you your prank. Reevaluate your prank. Because that one ain't going to work. 
I'm doing a lot of faces. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Favorite! Put your head down on my chest. Nice try, toots. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, and follow me on everything. And block Pickleboy on hey. everything. <laughs> Click like if you unfollowed Bridget no, from Twitter. No, no! <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. Favorite! And that's it. Okay, Dad, this came from Monday Mailbag. Uh, trust me, eat it. Trust you. Yeah, well, trust me. It's uh, one of the. It's a delicacy for a country. <laughs> I can't even open a motherfucker. Dig it. I'll try anything. I figured you would. Dig it. I'll try anything. All right, take it out. Oh my God. All right, Dad, eat it. Ah! Eat it. Ah. Oh, you're gonna lose face on it's, video. It's so sweet. It's so goddamn sweet. That's the sweet shit you put in your mouth, man. Yeah, tear a piece off and eat it. Oh my god. It's pickled crab embryo. Hey, eat a little more. Oh yeah, drink that juice. Good though. Well, drink the juice. Drink plenty of that juice. See, basically, what that is, is that's pickled crab embryo, and the juice is actually spit from the Hawaiians who pickled it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You Ew. God. Usually, ate Hawaiian spit. <laughs> Get away. Hey, I'm kidding. It's a gummy. It came from Target. Taste it. I have tasted it before. It's a gummy. That ain't no gummy. Right now we are on our way downtown. We have our little ghost box. Hopefully we can pick up some ghosts tonight. What do you think? Last year we didn't pick up much. Didn't pick up anything last year. There's a couple of things. Not much. Yeah, but you seem to have had like a spirit following you lately, so. They always follow the best. <laughs> so we are driving downtown. It is always a bitch to drive down here, isn't it? Always. Oh man, you think that's a sign, Dad? MUSC Weight Management Center. Way in Tuesday? Wednesday. Oh. Uh, look at the other thing. What is that? A red coat and a Confederate soldier. So what do they do? What is this place? It's the uh, storage of the revolution. Oh God, I hate it down here. Downtown needs to close. <laughs> this is it, man. Oh. oh. The fuck is this? Everyone's trying to walk into the car. And... <laughs> yeah. Did you just swerve on purpose? No. That felt like it. That motherfucker knew it was coming to my side. So, sitting downtown with Grandpa. Oh, God. What was that? Farted. What? I farted. Oh, shoot! <laughs> he farted. Oh, my God, that'd be worse. That's the second one. Oh, Dad just farted big time. And he's just sitting in it. Oh my god. I'm used to it. Why don't you get out and check out downtown? I will, I'll sit right until I'm ready. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Just get out. I don't want to get out. Roll down your window or something. You could roll down a window. I'd rather smell it. Look at that nice little angle. 
You know, Michael, this reminds me when I was a little boy. My daddy used to bring us down here, you know, weekends. Because back then, man, people had blankets, man, spread everywhere, you know. And the whole, the whole had, had like a band up here on the gazebo. One night I was sitting here on the same, I, well, ain't the same bench, because this bench has probably been placed nine, ten times, but I was a kid. My daddy had us sitting here, you know, we were listening to the band up there. And that used to be what he used to sell, slaves. They just keep in the bottom. And they'd bring them out and let you look at the teeth and you look like a whore, man, pick up, look at the hoofs, you know, and shit. Look, open their mouth, take the women, man, they spread their shirts open, you know, look at the breasts, you know. But anyway, we were sitting there one day, man, and me and my dad and my sister, we were sitting here, band was playing, you know, and I'm like, ah, I was a little fuck. And there was a little black boy dancing up on there on stage, but he was just dancing to the gazebo, you know. He had on raggy ass clothes, you know, and no shoes. I said, Daddy, look at that man, look at that little boy up there, he up there dancing on that damn, on that gazebo. I said, can I go up there and dance, Daddy? Daddy said, no, you can't go up there, son, they, they kick you out. I said, they ain't telling him to move. Daddy said, who are you talking about, son? I said, that little boy's right. He wasn't there no more. He just disappeared. Word was, he was one of the slaves that was sold. And before he was, before they, 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 they sold him, somebody shot him and killed him right there on the steps of that gazebo right there. And that's why whenever the gazebo would be out there playing, the little boy would be out there dancing. That's a true story. That's a true story. I know, I farted. <laughs> can, can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. Anyway, back during the Civil War before something right over there, you know? You ain't gonna be hearing nothing because of that bus. You're back during the Civil War, you know, before something just right there. And this is where the first first shot that the Civil War was fired. And people that lived right, like on top of these houses, see on top of these houses and everything? Yeah. They would take their, their rocking chairs and shit, and they'd go up on top and they'd watch them for a of being bombarded. And and they would just be there. And they say sometimes you right here at nighttime now, and you hear some noise in these houses. Ain't no way to get on them damn roofs either. And you hear rocking chairs rocking. They say people are still watching the people uh, for a of being bombarded. That's creepy. That's a true story. Can you imagine back in the old days, old man, this place, the, the pirates being hung and shit? The hang tree's right over there. Yeah, yeah. that's a big dog. Jesus. Certainly is. Put a saddle on that dog and ride him. So we are sitting here downtown it's getting to the point where I may need this light soon. Oh God, I hate that fucking. How come I can't get one with a light? Can't find them nowhere. I've been looking, dude. I can't find one. I don't even make them with lights anymore. I don't know where one would be. I think what they do is that you, you buy them, you have to buy the damn the, the, the uh, add-on. Yeah, but that sucks. I like having the light built into it. Me too. So you getting scared? Eh, a little nervous. See, because I, you know. We've been picking up some sort of activity at your house lately. So. I know, I've been picking up a lot. That's because that water over there by my house. Water always attracts them. That could be it. It is it. I'll tell you what's beautiful. This. Look at that. Turn around and look at the skyline. I've seen it. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here all my life. I've seen it many a time. Now, does that answer your question? I guess so. Get the light out of my face sorry I'll have one of these goddamn spooks come and get you you motherfucker oh mighty spirit Umala Malaka bring your ghost down hot Michael go no. home with, go home with his fat ass Ooh. we can do that real spell we learned huh I can dance to that I rated 95 the hell are you trying to scare well we're gonna leave good I'm not gonna do what I did last year and I may and I bring out the freaking ghost box where you're sleeping I'm just gonna leave all right because I was just in your house and it felt haunted all right buddy give me a hug all right Paul. just keep hanging here in the morning because that ghost followed me home and look at that there's a cat working on it I think it's well later pop all right buddy see you later Bye, good night Bridget Bye. 
Well, I'm leaving dads. Tonight was the paranormal activity video. That video is going up tomorrow. So, on the way out, when we were leaving downtown, dad almost hit like two cars. I'm so cold. That was frightening. So, leaving now, tried to prank him. It worked. It worked a lot better than I thought it would. Did you ever tell him it was a prank? No, what do you mean? That's leading up to the next prank. Which is what? So every year, Dad sends us to the fair to get him a caramel apple. I don't know why, he can never eat it, but he always wants us to get him a caramel apple. Well, the fair is on its way to Charleston and Grandpa's about to get himself a little surprise. It's a caramel apple. Well, no, it's a caramel onion. Yep. This is the caramel onion prank. Okay, so we got caramel apple wraps and it sticks. We got a couple of apples. And we got the onions. What I cried. Britt just walked out of the room. So this whole thing was her idea. And little does she know, dad's not the only one being pranked. She may not be having a caramel onion, but she's having a caramel tomato. So Bridget, this is the caramel onion, this is your caramel apple, and this is my caramel apple, and I guess this is just an extra one we have. Alright. So here are, here's our caramel apples, here's dad's caramel onion. You can tell it's the onion because of how giant it is. Looks like the fucking globe. <laughs> What's up, Pop? Hey, everybody. Up. Tired? Hey, Pop. Hey, Bridget. What? Tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Plus, yeah. by your treat. What you got? Hey, we, 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 have, we ain't no apple farm around here. There is an apple farm. We went to it this morning. And I got Dad a caramel apple. Yeah, I love caramel apples. I know you do, so I brought you one. Caramel apple. Hey, it's soft, too. You got us all a caramel apple. I'll trade you. I'll give you the big one. No, I got you the biggest one. That was the king apple, they called it. Don't Bridget just dropped her apple. Yeah, she's dropping her apples everywhere. I, I like, I, I would mind a good caramel apple. How'd he get in the motherfucker? Oh man. I love that. Alright, bite into it. I ain't got no goddamn teeth! How am I gonna bite in anything? Put your teeth in your mouth then so you can bite into it. I don't want you to show me what he's teeth in. Why? God! Oh, ah. oh, my <laughs> oh my god! My goddamn teeth are in the motherfucker! <laughs> so what the hell, man? How are you supposed to eat this thing? Damn! Well, how are you supposed to eat it? Ah. Oh well. <laughs> I love that. Well, damn it. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> yep. That ain't no goddamn apple! What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Did you not even look into it when you cut it? That ain't a goddamn onion! What the fuck is wrong with you? Give me a. What's wrong with you? Yes! It's a goddamn <laughs> onion, Carol Apple! I know, I meant the on caramel onion. I don't eat that, that caramel onion, you tell me! Stop! You ah. eat it! Jesus! I thought when you cut into it, that was it. I thought you would have noticed that. Then cut it, cut it, cut it! Cut it, 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 cut it,
That's a caramel apple right there. I want a real apple! No, stop! I want a real apple! Well, fine, take it. Oh, a real apple. You can tell that was real close. Small it is. What the fuck? <laughs> what is a caramel apple? It's a red apple. It's a goddamn tomato! <laughs> And I got in a meter! <laughs> Goddamn the meter! Hey, you want that one too? Hell no, I don't want it! You ain't better than my daddy no more! First, and I need no goddamn salad! <laughs> it ain't body metal! Goddamn! Ain't Whoa! Good job putting this up. Cut your goddamn. Adam Tomato! Well, he gave Dad a uh, caramel onion, then I gave him the caramel tomato. <laughs> I ain't buying it. He didn't tell him that's probably a goddamn persimmon. No, hell no. I ain't eating that one. What is a persimmon? I know, but I ain't no goddamn apple. This really is not. I don't care. I'm not eating it. Here you go, Dad. Uh, I'm not taking it. Here, take the apple and eat it. Oh! Give me it! I need no more goddamn, I, I know that's probably goddamn tater. That's a tater. I ain't that's an apple. Andy, get out of my house. Take your damn tomato, damn potato with you and go. This is an apple right here. Then you eat it. Hold this. You eat the goddamn potato. You ain't give me this time. You eat the apple? I'll be some bitch. Told you it was an apple. Then why did I get the egg in the debater? It sort of worked out that way. Get out of my house! Okay, right now, y'all get the hell out of my house bring me that goddamn shit. I don't know. That's good. That is good, man. Always! Got this in your goddamn trash! Oh, he got his goddamn dress. What are you doing back here? I told you to leave. Oh, he got his goddamn dress. Hey, where you go? You kicked me out. And you leaving your trash in my house. With nasty goddamn taste in my mouth. That ain't right, man. You need, you need to leave! Tell this shit! Mess up my motherfucking house. Look at this goddamn mess! Tell you mess up my house, Michael! Maybe I ought to come to your house and mess it up! You have? I ain't never come to you to invite me to your house! That's not true! Bridget don't want me to come to your house! Well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Like, subscribe. Not getting to that part yet. We gotta have a little talk first. Aww. So, that was the caramel onion. You guys were asking for it. We decided to do the caramel onion prank on Dad. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was crazy when he cut into the onion with a knife. I was like, "Well, this is it." You hear me say, "Well, that didn't work." I know, right? Because I thought once he looked inside it, oh, that's not an apple. That's an onion. Nope. Didn't work out that way. Dad took, Dad takes a look inside and pops it in his mouth. Pops it in a layered piece of onion into his mouth. So, okay. Uh, and then the tomato was actually for you. Really? Uh, yes, that was supposed to be Bridges tomato. Oh my. Yes, I made a, tom car a caramel tomato for you to eat. I was gonna be the only one with an apple. But Dad ate the tomato, so. <laughs> Whatever. God, Michael, I'm gonna get you back just for doing that, just for trying to do it. It would have worked if Dad didn't eat the onion. Know that I would have gotten you today. So realize I can prank you. Whatever, I'm gonna get you back. So, still gotta do this prank. Still gotta do that. When are we doing that? Soon. Before Tomorrow. Coming next couple of days. I also got the other one I gotta do. The <gasps> voodoo doll prank. Yes. 
So, got a lot of pranks going on. Got the main one that I've been planning. I stayed a little longer after filming so I can get some more pranking done on Grandpa. And that's going to be it for today. Like, uh, subscribe, follow me on everything, favorite. Monday Night Raw tonight. Hell in a Cell was last night. And there was a hologram. Bray Wyatt had a hologram. What? What's about Bray Wyatt? So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. Karen Malunian, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Follow me on everything. 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 Excuse me. Oh. Thanks for watching, you girl guys. Bye. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys liked it. Click like if you liked the prank. Click like if you want us to do some more videos like that. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Favorite. Favorite. And that's it. I got really close to my face. That's it. What's going on, you guys? I got it, boy. Pick a boy, piss. I got it, boy. Keep behind the camera here. <laughs> I got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was an Ebola fart. I had Ebola. Okay. I had Ebola. So, yesterday. Oh, oh man. How long have you been planning this? God damn it. I was here yesterday. And and you were sick. Oh. We got you so good. So, Dad, yesterday I came over here before I took Clyde to the vet, and Dad was sick. He's been sick all week, apparently. Turns out he was pranking me into thinking he had Ebola. I you had Ebola! Get on it. That ruined the prank I was planning. I had to get you back. For actually. what? Just being an asshole. When? What did I do? You made me eat freaking dog ice cream. That was yesterday. This has been going on for freaking weeks. Not cuddling with me at night. Start being better to your woman. Or you might get a full eye. Let me get a look at you before you wash this off. I gotta show them the extent you went to. He's got blood on his ass. <laughs> He's got blood going down his legs. Coming out his eyes. His ears too? <laughs> Mouth. Oh, I gotta give it to you. Oh. Hey, when you get a bowl out, oh, you the sink. You get it all the way. I thought I had Ebola. Tell him you, man. I have to go bathe now. Goodbye. I've had it. Yeah, I'm in So. Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> I'm pissed. So. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> Oh, blood on my face now. And your glasses. <laughs> you have a little dot. You know. I love you though. Happy vlog number 200, everybody. This is vlog 200, and Grandpa makes me think he has Ebola. Happy vlog 200, everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> you are so getting pranked. And I don't yeah. mean. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no. I promise you, the prank you get is gonna be bad. I'm not gonna tell him. I don't care. Tell him. I'm putting, bringing out a fake snake on you, Dad. Fuck it. Who cares? I'm pissed off at you. I don't think you heard that. Better not have heard it. So, I'm trembling. Look at this. So, <laughs> you'll be okay. It's it's not good to make me think Dad's sick for days. That's a problem. <laughs> I thought he was acting strange during the Caramel Onion video. He was acting a little a little off. Fuck that. Are you, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, pretty proud of myself. You got me, I'll give it to you. You got me. Fun on everything. This is the end of the video. Good job. He didn't even meet anyone either. Uh, there was no fan? <laughs> no. Oh God. <laughs> oh man. There was no fan. Nope. I assume it was filmed. So, by now, I'm realizing, a couple of weeks ago, Dad asked me if I wanted to meet a, a fan with him in Africa. <laughs> I said no. Oh, man. And that was for a video. I filmed. I filmed that part. Oh, man. It's just sitting on my computer. Oh! Where did he get this thing is my question. Holy, is it real? Yes. What the fuck? Look. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, this thing's not no joke. Oh, I guess, oh. I guess a fan sent it. 
Well, you want to feel it so bad here. No, like Michael. How are you doing? Oh, I don't know. Hurry up, get out of that shower. Get out of here. What? You don't prank people with Ebola. It's not funny. So goddamn on time! Ah, you go, you go, you go, you got you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you hurt you go, 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 you I'm sorry, no! Mike. <laughs> Should have worked. We don't need you. Come on, Bridget. Hello, Hannah. Did you see Grandpa prank me? Huh? Yeah, he's mean, isn't he? Were you proud of yourself? Yeah, man. What is that, Shooter Jenny shirt? Yeah, man. Shoot him a buddy. Well, I realize that. Would you mind going and washing your face? You've got blood all over you. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be sure to do that. Yeah, thank you. You know, Shooter was on the damn Daily Show the other day. Did you see him? John Stewart? He was, yeah, he was awesome, man. Of course, Shooter's always awesome. He's my buddy. In fact, we're going to go spend some time with him, me and you. Are you serious? Yep. It's already, it's already being talked about between me and him and manager. Are you joking? We're going to go hang out with Shooter Jennings? Shooter Jennings, he's our buddy. Wow. Willie Nelson's our buddy. Oh, bull. You'll find out. No. All I got to tell you, you'll find out. Willie Nelson's our buddy too. The fuck? The hell's wrong here? Isn't it fucking weird? I'm trying to get a shot of the moon, if you can see it on here really well. Uh, it doesn't come up as good on here. It's starting to be covered by cloud too. Oh my god, that's so freaky. Freaky moon means tonight's gonna be a good episode of American Horror Story. So freaking excited. This cloud is relentless. I know. I'm just gonna film it until it covers all the way. Yeah. The cloud's like no moon. A few weeks ago, uh, and I, I'm learning as I edit my own video that it was actually around the zombie prank. Dad tells me he was going to go meet a fan, and the guy was from, you know, Africa, and he asked me if I wanted to go, and and once I heard he was from Africa, I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going because that's where Ebola's at. I'm not going. I'm not gonna go. So he told he confided in me, oh yeah, I met the fan. He was super nice. We ate lunch together, and that was that. That was all I heard about the fan until last week. Now I was planning the prank on Grandpa where. I'm not gonna say fully because I still may pull it up. But I don't know if I'll pull it up anytime soon. I gotta let some, I'll let some time die down. But I was gonna do the video where Grandpa's haunted, but uh, I kept being stopped. I, every time I would go to Planet, he'd be sick. He was sick all week. See, I'm even talking about him like he actually was. Like he was sick. He wasn't sick. He had me convinced that he was sick all week. Yesterday was the worst of it. I went over to see him and he was horribly sick and. <laughs> Oh, man. It was a prank. It was a prank. They made me think that he had Ebola. And I gotta give it to you. That's good. It was a good prank. So, good job, you guys. You got me. I got got. So right now, I'm getting some smoothie stuff together. I'm thinking about making a smoothie with banana, apple, honey, kale, and ice. And I'm not a banana fan, but my friend Jim, he is the same guy that sent the Eat Sleep Angry Grandpa Repeat shirt. He tells me to try it, that I've been doing them with too much sugar, so I need to try a smoothie without all that extra stuff in it. So I'm going to try a smoothie. I will let you know how I liked it. Also, right here you can see a big crate. You ready to see what? Well, that sucked. This right here is the Halloween candy we're handing out. Oh yes, the trick-or-treaters of our neighborhood are in for some Halloween candy. Lots of good stuff. Don't worry, I'm staying out of it. It's hard, I will say that. It is very hard to stay out of all this. But this is the candy we are handing out for Halloween this year. 
There's so much. Look at this. Look at that. Good God. So, this is the candy we're handing out. It is a whole bunch. It is really hard to stay out of it. But, I am. Because I've got to. So, what did you think about American Horror Story? Best. It was bad. It was I'm really angry about Hashtag it. Hashtag cancel series recording. It's sad, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to say, and I don't want to spoil anything, but they killed the best character on the show. They did. And I'm pissed about it. It's like this, you know, crazy boy. I don't say too much. Yeah, don't say anymore. So anyway, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Tuck me back in. No way! You joking? <laughs> Zero. There was this much chance. Oh. So, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. She pranked me good. I, I, I gotta give it to you. Was that whose idea was this? It was your dad's. Oh man, I'm more surprised that you were able to keep this from me for however long you've known about it. Cause I'm sitting here editing this video, and I see he called you about it like two weeks ago. Oof. <laughs> I got a prank. I got, I got, I don't have a prank. I will have a prank. <laughs> Come on. So. You can't top that. Maybe not. That's good. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Anyway, that aside, check out the video tomorrow. I'm going to put it up early. Grandpa has Ebola, the prank. Be proud of yourself. By the way, uh, Jim, the banana smoothie was repulsive. I did not, I don't like bananas. It was loaded with banana. I did not like it. Uh, for people asking, I did weigh myself this morning. I was too busy to rush out to see Dad. I was the same weight as last week, so I, I wasn't. Forgot. I totally forgot it was weigh Wednesday. Today is weigh in Wednesday, so Wednesday, whatever it is. Wednesday weigh in. I did weigh myself this morning. I was three thirty eight again, same as last week. So I didn't feel like filming it at the time. And then Dad pranked me, and I got pissed, and I ate some of the candy out of the Halloween box. I folded. So. I oh. ate a couple pieces of the candy, but so thanks for watching you guys. 338 is the weight for today. I bet I gotta lose weight next week. So Me too. They pranked me. Thanks for watching you guys. Like, subscribe. Favorite. Follow me on everything. Toot toot. Ah, she pranked me. <laughs> and that's it. What's going on you guys? Keep me on a camera here. <laughs> And it is officially No Shave November! And you're shaving. I can't shave, it's November. I'm shaving. Now, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm certainly in a funk. No Shave November, and it's November, and I promised that I would shave. So, I'm gonna shave. I'm gonna shave for the end of the vlog for you guys, because a promise is a promise. And then I won't shave for the rest of November, which... Ain't that hard, because I wasn't gonna anyway. So, no shave November. Halloween was last night. Today I'm gonna go over to Dad's house. So that's coming up. And that's pretty much it. Halloween, snake prank, shave November, then no shave November. And that's it. So let's get our, this is Saturday. Ooh, it's a good Saturday. So let's get our Saturday started. Let's go over to Dad's house. It's freezing outside right now. It is. 37, I have the heat on. The heat is on in the house. It's snowing in Columbia. Which, if you don't know Columbia, it's, that's absurd to hear. Here we go. Let's start our Saturday. So there's Felix sitting on his back again. All the dogs are walking over him. Look out, Clyde. Oh, Thank you. I'm going to sit on Felix. Oh. <laughs> hey, you guys. I think Clyde's feeling better. Lazy playing with his toys. There's, hey, wait a minute, Halloween no more. What are you dressed up so for? <laughs> I gotta find him a Thanksgiving sweater. <laughs> Bella. Hey. <laughs> hey, can't have that. <laughs> oh my god. So the other day I bought Bridget some flowers, and to show me how much she loved them, she left them in the trunk. Now, as you can see, they're dying. We got, we got to say flower. I love them. Mama no care about us very much because <coughs> she left us in the trunk. Now, oh. they look a lot better. For now. 
That looks like an asshole. Ew. And people are like, what's wrong with Pickleball's asshole? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> look at that dying little things. Who else is here I can talk to? Hey, this totally heals. That was like so droopy, it wasn't even funny. I'm doing I'm doing good, but look at all these guys. Whew. Yeah, the roses are shit. <laughs> there must be a bowl inside this jar. <laughs> no! Oh no, that thing is dead. I can't see or hear anything. <laughs> it's, it's going for me. Help! <laughs> right, guys? Oh. Got it back. I'll buy you some Halloween candy. A big sack of Halloween candy for death. Here, let me take it out for you. I'm just kidding. What are you doing? I'm just... <laughs> Hold on. It's Halloween candy, that's just me. Goddamn! Uh, Jesus Christ. Ah! 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 My knee! That's a snake's fake! Take it! Oh! What happened? I let out this pin! My knee! Oh God! They all broke it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Anyway, here's the real Halloween candy. What the hell now? Oh! The real oh, candy, not real, not real, not real! Get that out! Get out! Ah! <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> Take a hold. Take your toys home. Oh, I bet you felt really proud of yourself on that, didn't you? Ow! <laughs> so here we go. We're going to check out Dad's new couch that I got him. Uh. Couch, end tables, lamps, rug, table. Oh. Even though Dad knows they're fake. He's still scared of him. this thing. I'm serious. I have nightmares. Get up. Get up. You, why, why would you have... Look, I'm going to smack at that. Oh. <laughs> it's like the episode of The Simpsons. Ah, I almost hit my hand. That's what I aim for. You do your bath now, Bridget. No. Okay. Now, see, you don't clean. You're filthy. How are you even going to bathe? You probably stink. I don't want to bathe. We can tell. You're very right. I would have been fine and I didn't have to take a bath if you didn't frickin... Whoa, whoa, what's that supposed to be? You threatening me with that little bat? It's time to go home. Yeah, here you go. Okay! It's fake! Hey, it's not real! I don't like it anyway. I'll tell you the one that looks real good. Whoa! I'm just getting it. I'm gonna walk... I'm gonna walk away with it. Okay. Kick it to me then. You pick it up. It comes on me, this thing flies at you. This one looks real. You can't recognize it. That's the snake that I use for the Gaboon Viper. Remember that? Oh! Put it up. Ah! Well, when we got home today, we saw my arcade block was on the porch. I'm mad I didn't get horror block. I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know what the deal is. I'll check. So, here is arcade block for this month. So, there is a shirt, which we will press aside. I don't even want to take a look at it and flip it like that. Okay, first thing. It is a Mario plush toy. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> cool. Look at that. I like that. Mario when he flies. I want it. So, there's that. There is a Bowser Mario Kart toy. Hey, Bowser. What you think, Felix? All right. 
Notes from Hyrule. Oh, this is from Zelda. Looks like it's magnet we can put on the fridge. We can like write notes and stuff. <laughs> That's cool. It is, and it comes, of course, with the pen. So we will put that on the fridge. A little keychain from Portal 2. And this is a Street Fighter pixel. It's like a pixelated character, I think, or something like that. Oh my goodness, you got a building. No. I will not be building it. Oh my god. Look at all those pieces. Holy crap, fuck that. That's a lot of work. Should be assembled. So, last but not least is the shirt. Woo! My shirt, I'm, I'm claiming it now. Looks like it's from Afterlife, which I've never played before. Uh, Freeman's Crab Shack. Some, so, some sort of reference to Afterlife. After, I think it's called Afterlife. So, there's the shirt. Cool. Never played Afterlife, or is it Aftershock, or I don't know, Half-Life, maybe? I think it's Half-Life. So, whatever it is, I'm sure people in the comments, you stupid ass, it's Half-Life. <laughs> so, there's that. Next. Gotta cut my hair. Oh, yeah. What? We gave the Clippers a dad. That sucks. Uh, I left the head clippers over at Dad's house. So, I'm gonna have to cut my hair tomorrow. And as a penalty, click like if you want Grandpa to be the one that cuts my hair. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen, because last time he did, he was nicking at me and... Like. <laughs> click like if you want Grandpa to be the one to cut my hair. Um, Felix, yeah. how could we have forgotten? <laughs> Look at that. Okay. I don't know any other cats that do this. Aww. How sweet. Felix is so cute. Aww. Fifi, you're so cute. My knee is really killing me from that pen on the floor. Get bread. Get Fish oil pills. Grip hook. Oh. Fish oils. That's what diamonds are on? <laughs> no, let's just spell it. That's an O, right? That's D I A M O N D S. Okay, yeah, that's right. B epic. How's that? I'm gonna write something. But well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Uh, didn't get to shave my beard or my hair uh, because I left the clippers at Dad's house a month ago. But tomorrow I'm going over there, so click like if you wanna see Dad shave me. Uh, my head and my beard when I say shave me. So that's gonna be it for today, you guys. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Nothing for Bridget. Favor Favorite. I spoke too soon. And that's it. What's up, Pop? The hell are you doing, dude? I'm just... What the fuck is this? Zombie meat. What the fuck is this? That's how zombies eat. What the hell? You got a fridge full of what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, for real, what is this shit? Not gonna run any tomatoes. If I had to ask you a favor. What, Michael? Okay, the other day I told everybody to click like if they want you to, if they want uh, you to cut my hair. Hold on, yes. So I need you to cut my hair. Okay, no problem. I need you to be careful, no cutting me, like last time. No problem. What's that for? You want to cut your hair. Okay, you know, you, you're not using that thing. Come here, I want to try something, come here. Oh, you don't really cut me with it. I'm not. It's like Edward Scissorhands. What, you're really cutting? No. Cut it out! You told me to cut your hands, I did! God, man, you're not Edward Scissorhands! My God. Hair first. Hair first. Okay. So... Hey, these cut clean. Oh! Get your ass back.
Yes, yeah. it hurts. What do you Yeah, you got dandruff, motherfucker. So what? <laughs> Don't make fun of him. Are you I'm serious? You got dandruff. Are you surprised? Hang on. I don't want no dandruff. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want dandruff. There's like dog shit on that or something. Look at the other side of this. Did you pick up hand of shit with that thing? I damn sure did. Look! Ebola! <laughs> Ebola! Dad's hair. I'll be goddamn. Good dad. I'm done? <laughs> Flip it. Yeah, pretty. Oh, you, what the, you do nothing! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, done, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> You've literally cut nothing. I know. <laughs> oh, I'll cut it. I ain't lying, man. I really don't want to touch your fucking head. <laughs> You're making my goddamn head itch. Oh, God! Ow! I ain't lying, man. You got an ugly fucking head. He does not. You definitely get that from your mom. Oh! He's manhandling me. Darling, if I manhandle you, I'll be putting your head between my legs. What the hell? Me man no, <laughs> no thanks. Let me talk to Sally. You've been watching Oz? I like Oz. Holly, 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 hey! Jesus, man! Can I finish my job? Oh, God, that hurt. Hey, you ain't got my bill yet. He blew an eardrum. What are you saying? That's why you cut it, you here? I don't know, it's supposed to be No Shave November. Oh. Hey! God! I told you not to move! You did not say not to move! Oh, God, Jesus Christ! Did you have a dagger back here? This feels like the opening scene to Full Metal Jacket. Or the end scene. I don't know, but I've been told. I gotta finish up. Oh, I don't do it good enough for you. God, hey! Ah! Ah! You better look a fat right here, boy. I ain't lying. Look at that. Ah! Ow! Hey, stop it. It's your fault. You got one thing left to do. Which is what? Well, I'm shaved. No shave November turned to shave November real quick. And you don't shave. I ain't gonna. No shave November. I ain't gonna shave December either. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Probably not gonna shave in January either. I wanna see you grow a Santa Claus beard. <laughs> Can it happen? Good. So people have been writing me, asking me, uh, how to send grandpa something for Christmas. Christmas is coming up and people want to send it to him. So first of all, uh, dad doesn't know this yet. We are doing a Christmas video. Oh, you are? Yeah, so. We're, we can do a bunch of Christmas videos. Oh yeah, you, you want to do the uh, Skype thing. I want to do the side Skype with Santa. So that's some of the stuff we're going to talk about right now. First of all, uh, if you want to send grandpa something for Christmas, the hell, you know, nobody clicks click more. So here it is over my face. Now it's over Dad's face. The P.O. Box address is over your face. I'll see it. It's going to be in post-production. I'll see it. In post-production, it will be. Post what? When I edit it. Oh. So, that is the P.O. Box. If you want to send Grandpa something, make sure you write Christmas on it. That way we know it's a Christmas present. That way we don't open it on the Monday mailbag video. Also, when you send a letter, uh, this is how we're going to decide who Grandpa calls as Santa Claus on Christmas Eve for Skype. So if you send a letter, uh, put your Skype name on a little card uh, and give it to us like a little, just a little piece of paper or something with your Skype name, say for Santa Claus. If you're sending a package that you want opened on Christmas, 
uh, put it on the package so we can take it off. And we're going to put all the Skype names into like a jar. And Grandpa's going to draw them out. And we're going to call people on Skype. Angry Grandpa Skype calls. As Santa. Santa. You still got that thing, huh? Yeah. So you're going to do Santa calls on Skype to the people that send their Skype information. And then Christmas Eve, we still got to do Santa calls. Of course. How about 25 days until Christmas? Yeah, you, uh, we're planning on doing something for your channel. Yeah. You want to do video every day until Christmas. Yeah. That's on you. All right. So every day until Christmas on your channel. I'll tell Christmas stories. You got plenty of them. I hate Christmas. All right. Man, it's cold out here, ain't it? It's 41. Nippy out here. And that's not even tobacco. That's Mother Earth. You're high on Mother Earth. <coughs> yeah, right. You okay. choking on air on fake air? Whatever. Well, Dad, thanks for cutting my hair. You're more than welcome, Michael. Get out of home. You hurt me a lot. My face is hurt. I really don't care. You don't? No. Well, guess who ain't going in? Come on now, don't do that, man. Not that I'm cold. Where am I going? Bye, right. son. Give me hugs. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask fans a question real quick. What? So, Wendy's just put out these... Oh, my eyebrow looks bad. Wendy's just put out these barbecue sandwiches. Yeah. And I wanted to see the fans that click like if they want you to try them. Wendy's? Yes, have you seen it? I don't like Wendy's. Yeah, but this is barbecue sandwiches. I like barbecue. So, click pulled, like... Pulled pork. Yes. Ooh. And they got pulled pork french fries. Ooh. And it's like a barbecue sandwich with pulled pork and coleslaw. Well, I like coleslaw. Hell so, yeah. So, click... What are you doing? I'm done. I was talking mid-sentence. I'm done. Bye, Dad. Bye. Well, I'm leaving Dad's house right now. Bridget's changing the time in her car because it's been confusing us. It is. It is. It is now 9.30 at night. Or 9.40? 9.41. It's 9.41 at night. That time changes a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. And don't worry, I got a spotlight. So, leaving Dad's house right now. Cut my hair. Uh, it hurt. It hurt a lot. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? We're gonna be at Dad's. Gonna come to our house, and your family's coming. And oh, okay, I'll tell my mom they mac and cheese. Yes. So yeah, we're having Thanksgiving in my house this year. Grandpa's coming, of course. And that's pretty much it for right now. Uh. Going home. So we are actually still watching Tales from the Crypt, even though it is now November. Right, God? What you think, buddy? Oh, you're all blurry. They just got done eating some dinner. Oh. Well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. I've still gotta fix this. Hopefully I will before tomorrow's vlog. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. It's Monday. You look handsome. Grandpa cut my hair. No shave November. I feel like I betrayed November. November, I apologize. It's okay. I did too. The, uh, the reason I didn't do a Mailbag Monday video yet is because I was so sick yesterday. It's the reason I didn't do a vlog. I was so sick that I couldn't go over there and film it. And by the time I went over there to film it tonight, Dad told me, I ain't doing it. It's too goddamn late. So we're going to try to get the Mailbag video up, maybe around Thursday or something. So still going to do the Mailbag Monday video. Of course, it'll be Mailbag Thursday, and I got to hear that from Dad. Mailbag Saturday, Monday on a Thursday. He's going to say some shit. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe. It's really cold. Favorite. Bridget West. That was a little different. Yeah, that was a different one. That was a different one. When did you, you stop doing hashtags? Hashtag cold. Hashtag Keurig. What? You, you had to go with cold. Why don't you throw in Keurig? Hashtag Keurig. Because it goes together. Hashtag fail. Hashtag freezing. Hashtag oh, shut up. Hashtag fail, but no breath came out. <laughs> hashtag <sighs> fail. <laughs> now that time, I see dead people. I hear sirens. <sighs> Walking around like regular people. <sighs> so like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it. What's going on, you guys? Kibiana camera here. Kibiana camera here. Haircut here. 
followed through. I did my shaving through Angry Grandpa. And in a few minutes, we're going to go to Dad's house. We're going to drop off some old food. So, here's the beginning of our day. I'm going to get my hat on. Get my glasses did. Cover up that bald head. And let's begin our Tuesday. So, I'm sitting here with Dad, with Grandpa. Just got back from the store. I got him some stuff because Dad doesn't eat. Dad doesn't eat. Dad doesn't eat enough. He loses too much weight. He's got to gain some weight. So I got him some food. How you doing back there? Hey! I like Rudy Calla. Yes. Dad let it slip to me that the only thing he likes to eat are these Marie Calendar pot pies. They're, they're delicious. I, I eat two or three a day. You know, almost as like we're doing a commercial for them. <laughs> you know, the only thing Dad eats are Marie Calendar chicken pot pies. They're delicious. <laughs> 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 well, they are. Uh, I get them because... Bacon! Bacon! Ha ha! Bacon! Grandpa starts his day with Oscar Mayer bacon. Naturally, Never hardwood, start your day without Oscar Mayer. Naturally, hardwood smoked bacon from Oscar Mayer. <laughs> and then we got... Oh shit! Nana Nut! Remember, the final banana nut bread comes from the bakery. That's Walmart. Oh. Walmart. And of course... Dad told me he wanted a grand, so I got him that. Michael, give me my grand! That Michael, give me two grands! Ha 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 ha! I'm rich, I got two grand! Ah! I got a grand, I got a grand, I got a grand in each hand, hand! Ha 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 ha! How do you come up with these songs like that? I gotta give it to you. Ah, I love it. Well. Oh, goddamn pancakes! Yeah, you like breakfast. Blueberry! I know you like your breakfast, so. There you go home. What the hell? What about the chocolate chip pancakes? I like chocolate chip. Well, are you gonna eat them anyway? I like blueberry. Blueberry! I got a blue. I got my thrill. <laughs> on my blueberry pancake hill. So, Dad likes to eat. I'll make love to these, Mom. I'll make love to these. Oh, darling. I love you so much. Is that so? Oh, my God, darling. You do so much for me. The smell, all oh, the smell of your fresh berries. Gee whiz. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Oh shit, lemon. Lemon! Boy, I like goddamn lemon now. Eight, eight is 16. How much is eight more? 12. What? Eight oh, is 16. 17, 18. Here, do it this way. 21! Eight and eight is 16. So do 10 more, it is 26, 20, 24. Huh? It's 20, answer's 24. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I don't know that new math. It's, all I said is because it's eight, you can say 10 and then take two away from that. So say eight and eight is 16, plus 10 is 26, take away two from 26. But why not do it the old fashioned way? One, two, three, eight, eight, nine, 10. I lost count. Wait a one. Two, well, you're starting at one. You already know you got 16. Oh. So start at 16. Oh, come on. <laughs> I really don't know the answer. We're leaving now. And I'm going to eat now that you're leaving. What you gonna eat? You gonna eat some of the Shit. pot pies? Marie Calendar. What about some of you? I wanna make sure you eat some Marie Calendars and some cake. I'll eat a piece of cake. Lemon. Eat a burrito. You should eat the nut, the... Eat uh, the nuts. No, whoa, good lord. No, uh, the, the banana nut and get some butter on it. Today was election day in South Carolina. And they let, elected Nick Haley again. How do you feel about that? They should have took the whore and showed her to the door. But they didn't. So are you saying they made a big mistake? They made a big mistake. You know, here's my biggest problem with Nikki Haley. First is the whole fact that she made the comment that when Boeing came to South Carolina, not a single family was hurt. Right, but we were. Exactly. Do we, not, do we not count as people? No, we're not people. We're white trash. We live in a trailer park. So we don't count with Nikki Haley. To her and that WTMA radio station, we're nothing but trailer trash. We don't count. That sucks. Who's WTMA? That, they got that bitch on Tara, Tara something. And her and this, this her newsman, all they do is talk about. Oh, are they the ones that make fun of people who need to do like food stamps and stuff? Yeah, they make fun of people that use food stamps or. Did, they, didn't they do one thing where they were talking about like 
hurricane victims or something or there's no telling that they do so much but they, they think that unless you know you, unless you agree with them you're nothing in this day. and they talk about people living trailers trailer park trash uh, uh, there's some good people that live in these trailers. you're right parks. that's sad so you know the hell with them they'll get theirs one day so Nikki Haley's back in office what about Lindsey Graham we he made it he's making it back they're all making it back all the incumbents here went back Damn. Nikki Haley, oh, I am. Well, Graham, I hate Graham. You can call him Obama because he goes either way. I hate Graham. Well, Bob. Anyway, go home so I can eat. I'm going to leave you to eat. We had a shitty day with Nikki Haley back in office. I know, but. We have another shitty day with WTMA being able to make radio shows. You're right. Ter Terra Savacious. Is that her name? Yeah. Bimbo Bitch from Sh Charlotte, North Carolina. She knows I don't like her. Now get out of my yard, I want to eat now. Get out. Go. Bring your ticket home. Bye. Okay. Oh. Carmichael. Leave. I'm leaving. I just wanted to film you go in. Bye. Goodbye. Love you. Love you too. Well, that's the meanest love you two have ever heard. What? That's the meanest love you two have ever heard. Bye, Michael. I am leaving Grandpa's house right now. Man, I'm cold and I'm tired. I'm not cold. And I can't see. Because of the light? No. Well, leaving Grandpa's house, today was election day. I hope everybody got their votes cast, and and I hope whoever you wanted to win wins. We're stuck with Nikki Haley. So anyway, happy, well, it's not the end of the video. Yeah, it was almost like a closing there. I need to fix these eyebrows. I'm going to do that when I get home. But for now, leaving Grandpa's house, got him some food, going home, and it's dark out. Well, we're home, and when I get home, I'm greeted with shit Bridget bought from Yankee Candle. Well, that's the trash bag. Where are the candles at? In the closet. What? I put a couple here. Oh, these are them? Yeah. Oh, good, they're the hair clippers. I need those. Time to go in and fix up this little eyebrow mishap. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you say? <laughs> I said I can't believe you're using my wife either. Okay. <laughs> do do do. Oh hey, Bella. Hey, big girl. She can't recognize me without my unibrow. Oh. Hey, girl. Hey. Uh oh. Hello, old friend. Oh, where's she going? She's <laughs> <laughs> hungry. Me and old friend got a meeting tomorrow. Wednesday weigh-in. Tomorrow, the scale. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. That's going to be it for today. Went to Grandpa's house, got him some food. That was cool. He enjoyed it. I'm glad that I'm able to give him something that he eats because he hardly eats anything. So I know. Him. He was saying he only ate like a can of soup a day. And he, when he has the Marie calendars, he will eat them. Coffee? Ew! So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Tomorrow is weigh-in Wednesday. I'm going to weigh myself on camera, no matter what. I've been trying, man, so I better see results. So tomorrow, Wednesday weigh-in. Bridget's just in there drinking coffee. You got a hashtag? Hashtag science infection. What, do you have one? think so. Stay away from I'm me. I'm starting to get one. <clears throat> Either those, that or an earache or Are something. those contagious? I don't know. <gasps> I just sneeze, not really. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Had a fun day with Dad. Had a very unfun day with Nikki Haley being reelected. And Lindsey Graham. What is this shit? <laughs> wah, wah. So, thanks for watching you guys. Shaking my head. Like, subscribe. Let's move to the other Carolina. Favorite North. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite. favorite, and that's it. No, follow me on everything. Nope, follow me on everything. Follow at Lyrical Rap. Follow me on everything, and then block at Lyrical Rap on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. <laughs> no. Block, <laughs> block, pick a boy. <laughs> no.
<laughs> follow me on there. Follow me on Twitter. My link is below. Tweet me. Mine too. My link is there. It's too. not below though. That's the thing. But that's the thing. It is there though. Click it's read more. <laughs> Click read more, and you won't see it. <laughs> no, it's gonna be there. I'm nope. gonna. I'm gonna log Thanks in and put it there. No, you're not. That's yes, I am. <laughs> covering it means no. Stop. You know I'm going Stop to. Stop doing it. <laughs> put my link in. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Keep behind a camera here, and if you can't tell, there's probably wind blowing into the microphone for number one. And number two, there's a new camera I'm, be I'm using. Now I told you guys yesterday that today's vlog would start off with the old camera and kick into the new camera. But I forgot. I went ahead and opened it and I forgot I was supposed to open it. So I'll show you guys all about the camera in just a minute. But this is starting off with the old camera. Now I haven't put on wind reduction. I got Bridget holding it because I don't know how I'm supposed to hold it right now. But this is the new camera. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys decide which camera you want us to move forward. Now I'm probably gonna go back to the old camera tomorrow and next week and stuff because I want to play with this camera. I want to learn the settings and, and you know just visually, visually, visually how I want it. So Bridge is getting close from my backup now. Uh, so this is the new camera. I'm using it right now. I'll show you guys more about it inside. But Throwback Thursday, gonna tell a story on the new camera tonight. Woo! And the wind stopped, so that's pretty good. So, on um, the wind's coming back right now, actually. So anyway, this is Throwback Thursday. Got the new camera going. I'm going to let you guys decide which camera you want me to keep using going forward by tweeting me at LyricalRap on Twitter or at Bridget West. At Twitter. Bridget West. Our Twitters are below. Tweet us what you think. Tell us what camera you like more. Okay, I'm testing the camera vlog style right now. What's going on, you guys? KB on the camera here again. Just testing out the camera. I don't know render settings for this thing yet. And anyway, in just a few minutes, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna show you the camera, show you what kind of camera it is, what I'm dealing with now. Here we are inside the house. Bridges still got these damn pumpkins up. These things gotta go. It is not Halloween anymore. It's time to get rid of these pumpkins. So here's the camera right here. It is the CyberShot. RX100. So this is the camera that I'm using right now. Hope it looks good. I won't know until I edit the video up. There may be some shaking issues and, you know, just general effect problems that we're working with right now, but this is it in a whole. So while we were at Best Buy getting the camera, we got a couple of Blu-rays. Uh, let's see here. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Charlie Brown Christmas. Uh, a second copy of a Charlie Brown Christmas. Scrooged with Bill Murray. Ah! Damn it! I'm getting tired of that thing. Let's see how the how it looks on the new camera. Oh, it's terrible. I wanna look. Okay, dude. Okay, here we go. I'm in the bathroom right now, looking at the camera so you can see it. Hmm. Now I'm seeing me. Just getting used to using one of these types of cameras to film with. Which is why we'll probably switch back to the other camera pretty soon. Uh, and just until I can get used to this thing. But check it out. See what you guys think. Oh. I'm doing a lot of testing today as I use this camera. Just seeing what some stuff looks like in the lighting and how stuff looks when I edit it and what kind of saving render setting should I do, which I already have issues with, you know, render qualities and stuff, but just checking it all out. Blurry. So I'm about to show you something Bella does. She will save me from Claude. Watch this. Bella! Bella! Bella, I need you! Clyde's attacking me! Uh, Bella! Bella! Epic fail. Oh! Oh, Bella! Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Thank you, Bella! Oh, give me that paw. Mwah. Thanks for saving my life, Bella. Hey, Lazy! Alright, you can have the hat. I'm going to tell the story tonight of our craziest Thanksgiving. I've told it before on video, 
but I gotta tell it again. It is the story of the time we almost set the porch on fire on Thanksgiving and we let emus loose. It was crazy. <laughs> That's a good life. Ooh. <laughs> I hate daddy so much! <laughs> I hate daddy! <laughs> so, we're almost done for the day, you guys. But first, I wanted to tell my Throwback Thursday story. Now, I'm not sure how I'm positioned in this thing right now because I can't see. Usually I have the viewfinder flipped and I can see myself. But I don't have that luxury with this camera. However, I'm going to try to tell the story and hopefully I'm fully in frame by the time I start editing it. So, I wanted to tell the story of the time that we had the worst Thanksgiving in the history of Thanksgiving. Uh, it was an absolutely horrible Thanksgiving. And it's a story that I know we've told before. I, I know we've told it before because I've been with Dad and we told it. But I gotta tell it again because I don't know if all the details of the story were told. So to start off the story, one Thanksgiving, Grandpa decided he wanted to get some emus. And if you don't know what an emu is, it's like... It's a large bird with claws and check this out so that's an emu and grandpa decided he wanted to have some and when grandpa wants something grandpa gets it so grandpa wanted an emu and he decided we were going to have the emu so we got an emu one year for thanksgiving two of them two emus and they were evil those come into play later. Now then, at the same Thanksgiving, Grandpa decided he wanted to try his first fried turkey. So we're on the front porch, and we got the pot, and we got a burner at the bottom with a gas tank connected to it, and the flames going, and the grease is boiling. The only problem is, there's too much grease. But Grandpa didn't care. Oh, that's, that's plenty of grease. The grease was filled to the very top of the pot. Now, I'm not an expert on frying turkeys, but I think it should be probably halfway or, you know, I don't know. But when you put the turkey in, it gets submerged by the grease and it lifts and the grease will overflow if it's too high. So Grandpa has this pot filled to the top with grease. Now, we had a guy living with us at the time who was going to help us fry the turkey because he was an expert. I know what, that ain't how he talks, I'm doing the dad voice. Cause he was an expert. He knows all about frying turkeys, I've been doing it all my life. So he decides he's gonna help us fry the turkey. It was his idea to lower it, to, to put it to the top. It was also his idea to wait till the grease is smoking and turning black before it's time to test it and see if we should put something in. So the grease is smoking, it had been going on for about an hour. And dad, well we're like, maybe it's hot enough with this guy. No, it needs to go a little bit longer. So this guy takes something puts it in the grease and all of a sudden boom not an explosion as much as an overflowing an eruption the grease just starts going all over the place and it's overflowing over the pot and it's touching the burner at the bottom and it catches fire and the porch is on fire and my sister's under the porch trying to put the fire out and she's getting burned by the little drips of grease falling onto her and she's got little fires going on her shoulder and the fire department comes and needless to say we did not have that turkey to cook because Thanksgiving was almost here and the fire burned and overflowed and ruined everything and the fire department came and the porch caught on fire. And when I say it lit the porch on fire, I mean we didn't have a porch anymore. We had to detach the porch from the trailer uh, and we had to make sure that the fire department put it out because we lived in the woods and it was going to light all the leaves on fire. So we go inside. We got turkey cooking in the oven. We're going to be fine. Nope. Dad forgot about the turkey cooking in the oven and now it was burned. So now we had no turkey for Thanksgiving. Dad pulls out a banquet meal. Uh, the banquet turkey dinners cooks it and serves it with our Thanksgiving dinner for Thanksgiving that year we had banquet turkey because both turkeys were ruined and we didn't have time to cook the second turkey that was meant to be fried so we had no turkey which we ended up eating for like dinner the next night or something dad cooked it the next day but for the main Thanksgiving dinner we had banquet however that's not the worst of it now comes the emus that's right I told you about emus now after dinner, Dad says, let's go check on these emus. So we go outside and we have the two emus. Dad opens up the gate and they take off. One is going up the street, the other one's going around the yard. Dad's chasing the one up the street. Oh shit! Oh my god, emus! 
the emus had some sort of collar on them. And I know you don't give collars to emus, or maybe you do, and I just don't know. I'm not an emu expert. But these emus had collars on them, and there was a rope tied to one of the collars. So we were holding the rope, and one of the emus was like, oh god, it's gonna get away! And this emu's jerking, and it's got claws, and it's clawing, and my brother-in-law at the time, his arms bleeding, dad screaming, uh, the other emu's fucking gone. <laughs> you know, we lost that emu. Now it's just a matter of getting the other one back into its cage. I don't know what dad was even going to take him out for anyway. I don't know if dad didn't know these things were fast. Regardless, now it's come time to put it back in. And so we're holding it. Oh, shit. It's trying to climb the fence and get away. All of us are holding it. My mom's got it around the waist. I'm trying to hold onto the rope. Dad's trying to, oh, shit. Finally, we get it into the cage. We got blood on us because the thing cut us open. Dad's pissed off. Thanksgiving was totally ruined. We had one emu running up the street. We had one emu running around our yard. Our porch caught on fire. We had no turkey. Dad was pissed off. And the funny thing is, the next day on the news, we were watching TV, and the news announced that there was an emu running up the street on the highway. That, that The highway is far away from our house. I don't know if it was our emu, but what are the odds? So that's the story of the time we had our horrible horrible Thanksgiving. We had emus running around the yard, our porch caught on fire, we had no turkey, dad was pissed off, everybody was pissed off, and it was generally just a horrible day. Of course, we were thankful that we had each other. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you like the story. Hope you like the new camera. Uh, like I said, send us a tweet if you like it or you don't like it. Let us know what you think. That I'm gonna, it was. I'm gonna try switching, holding it like this now. Uh, the audio might sound a little different right now. I don't know. If it does, my apologies. I'm just trying new ways to hold it because my arm is tired. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try holding it this way. The audio might sound different. However, Send us a tweet if you like the camera. Let us know what you think. Also, Grandpa wanted me to ask you guys uh, to click like if you want him to do the Skype calls. Uh, the Skype calls, as I was telling you guys, you send it through the money mailbag, and we get your calls, and we get your Skype names, and he's going to call on Christmas Eve as Santa Claus. Uh, you know, we just sort of said we were doing it. We didn't even get if you guys wanted us to do it or not. So click like if you want Grandpa to do the Skype calls at Santa Claus on Christmas Eve, and we'll do it. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite. favorite. That's Bridget. And that's it. No. How did that look? What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Bridget was here. And I'm sitting in Dad's house, and if you can't tell, he's destroyed it. I did not. You did. Oh, come on. Prove it. Come on, dude. Heat so. Let's have a look at all this. Oh. Oh. All this because you fucked up on your pies. You fucked up on the pies. You cooked them. You ate them. Yes, and they were nasty. They were not. You know they were nasty. But when it's said three hours, they're going to get nasty. Oh, come on. That is not true. Is that is that what you're hanging your hat on? Yeah. It was salty. It's not a lie. I'm sticking to it. So at least you know it's a lie. I don't know how you're going to fix your drawers, dude. Pay to get them fixed. So, oh god, I'm gonna slip. I'll pay it with your money. Look at this. And what the hell is in this trash can? And let me tell you something, if you're gonna come over to Thanksgiving, those can't be the pies you bring. I'm bringing my old turkey. I bet I'm bringing the turkey this year. Okay, bring it, it's fine. But you better cook it right. So if nobody else bring a turkey, I'm bringing the only turkey. You have a historical problem with salting food. You I'm always add the turkey, nobody else bring one. Okay, I didn't plan on bringing a turkey. What the fuck? Get out of my house now, go home. Why? Because I got cleaning to do. See, if I made those pies, they wouldn't have tasted like that. No, they'd have been like shit. They would have been way better, because I cook better than I got you way better dangling. I cook better than you. You don't do shit. Do you have like a drawer filled with Chinese sauce? That's a good question, ain't it? Or could I save it all? 
And there was a lot in there. Soy sauce, duck sauce, spicy mustard, <laughs> Arby's horseradish sauce, <laughs> glue. You got free. Is that's not the glue you're gonna fix your drawers with, is it? Yeah, I got my carpenter's glue. Jesus, Dad. Why did you do this? Why'd you fuck up my pies? They were good. Okay, you don't believe I messed with your pies, do you? Yeah, I do. You fully believe that I, I messed with your pies? I think you came in here while I was asleep and messed with my pies. They, they seemed a little raw, too. You made them today. Yeah, but I took a nap. <laughs> you believe this, don't you? I do believe this. I'm a conspiracy theorist. So you think I came in here and messed with your pies and added salt? Yep, and blame me. How would I have added the salt in the pie mixture? You could have sliced it, pulled them up, and then put it back down. See, what I could have done is you, I heard, I, I was outside watching you in the windows, saw you go down for a nap. Is that your people time? Listen to me. This is what I could have done. I saw you take a nap, I come inside, I remix all the pie together, add more salt, and rebake it on broil for 10 minutes. You son of a bitch, you did do it. I didn't do it! That's why, the, that's why they come out salty. You added You need to be... So, did you cook yourself, did you film yourself making the pies? Yes, I did. So if I, Bridget, hit me, where's Dad's camera? Corner. Where is your camera? I have no idea. Oh my, I don't know. Let's find Dad's camera, and I'm gonna watch him make the damn pies. And I'll see when he adds the salt. Oh, fuck. Okay. I just watched you. Look at this! You dropped an entire salt shaker of salt in it. I did not. I just watched it on your video. I'm telling you I didn't. Bridget, he dumped an entire salt shaker on the, inside the thing. What? Why? I didn't. So how are you gonna fix this? Proud of yourself? Hell yeah. I'm always proud of myself. Now what are you proud of yourself for? For fucking the house up or for fucking up the pies? Who cares? I did it. Can you go home now? I'll go home when I'm ready to go home, actually. It's gonna get deep, Dad. Come on, you bring me to you. Come Fung Young. This is the place we sleep by, by Trailwood. It's called Now Open? You love it. They've had the Now Open sign up for like three years. I know. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Charlie Chan cooked some good groceries tonight. You are pure red right now. The big angry machine, Grandpa. I guess that's the way you treated my pies tonight. You wanna go to McDonald's? Do you owe me supper? You had me like this, man. I was shaking so goddamn bad I couldn't even cook. So you had to take me supper. Yeah. Well, that was good, though. <laughs> that was a lot of goddamn food. It definitely was. You can go to uh, Boiling Gardens and get all, all you can eat pasta. Pasta. Boiling Garden. Yeah. You mean Olive Garden? That's what I said. You said Boiling Garden. Well, I meant, I meant, yeah. Olive Garden? Uh, yes! Okay, yeah, that's never ending pasta bowl. Yeah. Only well, because I don't like pastas. What's going on here? Is this the fair? Well, we are back at Dad's house. I did, what? Ain't you going home? I'm gonna come in and talk to you for a few minutes. Go home, man, I'm tired. I took you out to dinner and you're gonna repay me by telling me to just go home? Yeah. Ew, someone's farting. It was Dad, I saw him do it. I didn't fart, I gotta go poo-poo. He farted. I inhaled it. Right back. I got the bathroom all day. Ooh. No, I gotta go. What the? How long has that sticker been there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I'm leaving you. I saw, I saw number one son. So very soon, we're gonna go to Wendy's. Yes, I want to try that. Yeah, the Wendy's uh, barbecue pulled pork sandwich. You'll get my honest reaction. Oh, <laughs> we learned about that with Taco Bell. Oh yeah, I'm an angry grandpa guy. With Chinese rice on it. Well, it was fun, Pop. It was a good dinner too, but I appreciate it. Well, thanks for having us. I'll make the, and remember, I will make the pies for... I mean, you gonna make them right, please. I'll try, okay. I watched that video, you added the salt. Okay, Michael. You added way too much salt. No, I didn't, but if you said it, I did. You know you did. You God damn, you get out of here. Okay, Dad, give me hugs. Goodbye, son. Salty ass pies. Love you. Get out of here now. What's going on, you guys? 
Kid behind the camera here. Vigilized here. Vigilized here. And today we're putting up our Christmas tree. Uh, Bridget and her mom just went to pick up the tree, and her mom is now saying she's leaving. She doesn't want to help us put up the tree. It's, it's a whole big fuck us. Oh, the pumpkins are gone. Yeah. When it, did that happen? I did this today. It looks better when it's dark. So I'll have to show them at night. Well, we got little trees up. Cool. Well, in a little bit we're going to put up our Christmas tree. Uh, Dad's yeah. on his way over. I'm going to show him the tree, see what he thinks about it. We're going to have us a good little, what day is it today? Sunday. Good little Sunday. Sunday fun day. No. Yeah. Snowman Sunday. Snowman Sunday. Getting to the Christmas spirit. Sunday. Don't you put up Christmas Eve? I'm Thanksgiving out there. Thanksgiving. We're putting it up today, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? Look. Oh my God. Which dog is that gonna fit? Um, Clyde. Oh God. What do you think about the tree, Dad? We're putting it up today. I think I'm going home. You just got here. I think I'm going home. <laughs> you don't want to be here when we put up the tree? You I'm going home. Us? I'm going home, huh? What, you mad, bro? You mad, bro? <laughs> see, they don't, they don't even think you're stupid. Look at them. They want to see you. No, don't bring them dogs. That dog claw me to death. See, look at the claw. <laughs> Good <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mike. Oh, no, 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 please. Are you what the hell's on that dog? A sweater. It's cold out. I give up. <laughs> it's cold out. Little buddy needs to warm up. I give up. I give You're no son of mine. <laughs> uh, dude, why? You're no son of mine. Because we're putting up a tree early? No son of mine. You could have bought the one with the lights already on it. Ew. Oh, man. Are you high? I gotta go. Stay, stay, stay. I've been.